I am. Yo, 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 yo. Do we have room for one more? No. Why? I have to leave. No more. Hello? Don't. No. <laughs> who's, who's the one more? <laughs> Snaggy, bro. We're we're like a we're like a trio. We need that. Yeah, I need Snaggy in here. He's a big ass dick. Who, who is Snaggy? Who's Snaggy? Oh, no, Snaggy. He's a, he's sixteen and sexy. Oh well, it, it's good that he's sixteen because uh, this show is eighteen plus. Yeah. Oh, really? Is it? <laughs> so he literally he literally can't. But is that okay? Uh, uh, stream, let me ask this question. Thank you, Mo. Thank you. Thank you, Mo. You're a fucking legend. You Wait, what did Mo say? So long. It's hilarious. Wait a minute. What did you say, Ma? When, when, when your chat was asking about the rules, you you completely forgot. Oh, I was drunk. Were... Bro, I was drunk. I don't know what the fuck I'm dude. doing. You, you started by like, let me tell you guys all the rules. <laughs> oh, then, 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 then the stream crashed. The no, the stream, the stream crashed. The stream crashed. Yeah. I mean, rules. You're like, what? You guys want me to play on rules? Okay, let's do it. Hold dice. on. Yo, let's do it. yo, Mo. Mo, <laughs> I got to say something real quick. Yo, Banks, listen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it a buck 75 with you two, okay? You look, you and Aiden together, you look like Aiden just came into prison today and he's literally the guy. Like, <laughs> he's like, holding my pocket? Yes. Yeah, yes. Hold my pocket. Hold my pocket. That's what it looks like right fucking. You always fucking pinch me and shit. Yo, this, fool, this fool's been drunk the whole trip. We're in Cabo right now play, yeah. playing on the site. All full compliance, I, making sure I, that we're doing all everything yeah. completely legally. And he's that. he's been drinking the whole fucking time. How you yeah, like it's day 18. Cabo's awesome. Cabo's always fun, but honestly, we came here strictly to work. We're hopping on the jet to Miami Wait, tomorrow. Wait, is that Apex? Who? Shut up. Yeah. No, God, I thought it was. Stop. No, man. I swear. I swear. Nice to meet no, you. You guys, gotta, you guys gotta do look away. Wait, do you have food? Todd, you wanna say hi? I was over there. So... Alright, let's get started. Let's no, do it. Snaggy, so bad. Honestly, listen, hold on. Let me close out the stream and we'll just I'll just have Judd host you guys. Host you train. Oh, Just do that. Yeah, Let me mute. My, my hair is getting too long. Look, it's thick. Oh, that's nice. Wait, what did they say? They told He's uh, turning talking? off his stream to host you. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, are we ready to go? Let's let's start yeah. introductions here, and then I think we're good to go. Okay, let me move this over here. Let's put this over here. Ooh. Let's put this underneath there. Let's put this over here. Fantastic. Put this over here. Save this. Okay. Thing. Do this. Sweet. There's my gambling. Nice. Okay. All right. We're ready? Yep. Okay. Yes, train. <clears throat> Wait, what was that? I said yes, train. That's a good woman. Top left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Fandy, how have you been? I've been good. Good, good. Is it public that you're, uh, you know, that, that, you're, um, that you're getting married? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, nice. Fandy's getting married, guys. <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> Fandy. Thank oh, you. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, congrats. congrats Sandy. It wasn't congrats. public. It is now. <laughs> Uh, oh. He made it seem like it was gonna be. I thought it was like it was either like a pregnancy or yeah. yeah I thought it was a pregnancy. Or a, or a BBL or something. Oh, he was it like, wasn't public. <laughs> yeah. He just leaked that shit. Like, Are you gonna get that? No, he didn't. We talked about. Yo, Trey, yeah. you out here leaking people? No, let me stop. God damn right. That's a goddamn right. Fan is getting married, guys. So, uh, you know, it's your last chance before she gets married to, uh, you know, get your your chance in. So go over there and subscribe. Show her what you're truly <laughs> about before she gets married to another man. <laughs> Get in there ASAP, guys. Dude, she, she just lost so many fans because of the. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bose, how's life? Life is Introducing. good. Introducing. Life okay. is really good. Top left corner. How am I going to do this? Because I need them in the call for the uh, thing to work, right? This. Uh... Wait, they left? No, they left so he could host and come back. Uh... Yeah, yeah. There they are. Why don't I just? Whatever. I'm just gonna introduce you guys without showing the camera. Ah, oh, fuck. How can I do this? Yeah, fuck it. Here, this is what I'll do. It's just such a simple fix. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. It's, it's not a simple, a simple fix. fix. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's not a simple <laughs> fix. Give me a sec here, boys. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, it's all good. <laughs> I'll just have this. I'm just gonna introduce. Here, here's what I'll do. Okay, you guys, talk amongst your talk amongst yourselves. I'm, I'm gonna fix the nameplates right now. 
Wait, no, I can't fix the nameplates because, oh, shit. Actually, yeah, we can. Okay. So, Stewie. Hey, Stewie, how are you, bro? No. How's Hi, life? Stewie. Good, yeah, bro. Train, I think you've been trying to invite me here for a while. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for being here, man. I appreciate that. So, it's, what's the story I mean, behind your name, dude? You know, I thought I, I thought it was just Stewie Two K, but it's Stewie Two KK. What is that? Uh, we don't talk about that. Honestly, it was just made with a bunch of friends who were. Yeah, he actually had a third K, but I had to have him delete it because of you know. It came to be honestly. Yeah, you told us that last time, uh, Mo. Yeah, I think uh, Stu, I think Mo already told <laughs> told us the real story uh, last podcast. Don't mm -hmm. worry. Cool. My yeah. name is being brought up without even being on the podcast, so. <laughs> That's exactly right. I'm bearing my name out of your fucking mouth, is what he's trying to say. <laughs> That's exactly right. So, uh, Harley, how's life, man? Good. Good. How about you? Good, man. I, I did some research on the uh, the uh, Jewish. Or, I shouldn't say that. The Jewish Whoa. summer camps. Say Jewish. Jewish. Oh yeah. It's just, it's okay. The Jewish summer camps. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a little bit of uh, history lessons after your stories last podcast. Yeah, what you discover? I discovered particularly interesting. Yeah, I discovered it's uh, you know, it's kind of like that one movie. Uh, what's the movie with Lindsay Lohan plays her own self? Parent Trap. Parent Trap. Yeah, oh, it's a little like I that. Love that movie. It's like that, except everyone's fingering each other. <laughs> okay. Also, That's... it's like American Pie. Yeah, it's like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, American Pie movie. mixed with parents. That was a classic movie, dude. You that guys was. think they had Lindsay Lohan play herself to save budget? Would that save a lot of money? She played herself because there's there's no other twin to play her. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but I mean, like, you could get some twins, but you would have to pay both of them. Or you oh. could just... You but they probably had to pay her so much money in the first place, so it's yeah. like... But no, how big was, was she at the her, time? Yeah, this was her first one, little, I think. Yeah, she was a little oh, bit yeah, bit they got to steal. They yeah, steal. So, so then it's just yeah. special effects and then a kid that doesn't know how much to charge. Yeah. No, I think I think you uh, like you have a bad agent if you're not even like I think you get fifty yeah. percent of I'm another bad. role. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. they're oh. fucking they're fucking up if they don't they, do they, that. They couldn't afford the Olsen twins, so they went for her. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> wait. Well, no, I feel like they were like twenty one. Harley plays. Harley plays. How big is your dick? Whoa. Uh, how old are you? <laughs> he's, he, he's, 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 he's 20 years old. I'm talking to a shirtless little boy about my dick right now. <laughs> <laughs> hold, your ID, hold your ID up to the screen. I want to confirm your age, and then I'll send you. I will add each other on Snapchat. Give me some fucking details. And then I'm gonna, no, no, I'm going to send you a video of me beating off and busting into my own belly button. Let's take a shot for Sam. <laughs> Well, technically, what? I'm just kidding. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, guys. I'm, I'm gonna introduce. Many one. Look at this fool's beard. Look at his. his you shaved your chest here. Look at this fool's beard. Mm, I'm breaking out my. She doesn't have shit on you, Harley. But. Cheers. Hold on, Harley. Hold on. I, I, Cheers I, I to you, Tra Train. I fucking miss you. I know on? What is going on over there? Yeah, I, I miss you too, bro. Call, let's uh, you know, <laughs> let's get it going. If you know what I mean. <laughs> what is that guy? She's gonna go to bed. He's gonna go to bed soon. We'll get here. Oh! Go to bed. Go to bed. What is going on over there? Yeah, he's going crazy. to bed. He's going to bed. He's going to bed. The baby's going to bed, finally. It really hurt. Carry him to bed. What, are you going to disrupt the whole fucking show, or are you just... <laughs> what are you going to do? What's your plan? All right. Train. Let me talk to Train. Okay. Train. Train. I promise you when I'm back, I'll be on the next week episode. I really have to pack and yeah. I have to go to yeah, yeah, hey. we, we gotta leave. We gotta leave on a... We gotta leave on a fucking... Is that okay, babe? Yeah, you're good, bro. Go, you know, go beat some cheeks and have a good sleep. He's been doing it all weekend. Yeah. All right. He's in love, baby. Nice Shout meeting out. all of you. Shout out, Penny. Right. Later, bro. I love you. Peace. Thanks. Aiden, thank you for everything. I love you so much. Love you too, bro. Thanks. Listen, what bro. Up? Uh, you know, I can't say too much. I'm going to speak code, bro. Hey, you know, let's get the ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's get started, guys. We're, get, we're getting the ball rolling. You coming to Cabo next time we come? We're coming yeah, back yeah, in two yeah, weeks. Yeah. Train, you should actually come. No, no, I cannot imagine Train going to, to Cabo. Go for the past, what do you mean? Uh, I can't, uh, He's afraid of Mexico. That's what I can see. It, that oh, we have we have we have twenty four we have twenty four seven security triple gated community. We did this shit completely the right way. Flew in private. We're flying out private. We got the whole fucking thing covered. Everything's good. Good. Coming too. All right. Well then, can I bring the fam? We got there's there's twelve spots on the jet and there's ten of us, so we can bring two two guests every time. Me and train. Let's go. Oh, the jet! I saw that. No, Ma, you spent time with your kids, okay? Okay, let's I'll get started here, guys. Seriously, yeah, okay. let's introduce so we can see your pretty faces on the stream. Jet, pack me up and put me in the cargo. I'm poor. I want to go to Mexico. Hey, <laughs> thanks. Bose is, wild. Yeah. Bose is wild. She's 4'10". She's fun size. She's crazy. <laughs> Newly single. I'm telling Yo, you. Yo, Bo Bose and I know each other. We've been on the show before together. 
Yeah, like one time. I know everybody in the, I know everybody in here right now. Yeah, yeah, but Bo's. We got, we got Fellow. Fellow's got that big Yo. Call of Duty dick. Bo's been here on your podcast before. Yeah. Harley, me and Harley go back. I mean, we follow each other on Twitter. Like yeah. you, you are a fucking absolute triple OG legend in the space. Uh, Devin, Devin, I think you used to hate my guts, but we sat on a podcast a couple times and we kind of yeah, sort of like each other now, right? Yeah, that's how. Yeah, we're right? good. We're hundred percent good. Mo yeah. have been, me and Mo have been friends for fucking years. Stewie Two K. I don't know if we've ever good, really formally met, but you're no, a fucking, have... you're a fucking absolute legend. I think we might follow each other too, right? Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Sandy, I think you're on that podcast in uh, mm -hmm. Beastie too. Yeah, I know everybody in here. We're chill. We're all family. Let's go. Good yep. stuff. That's good vibes. That's really good vibes. <clears throat> Such that was the vibes. intro, by the way. Uh, he introed everyone. Yeah, you know what? You're yeah, right. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's get Yo, started. <laughs> that was a good intro. Actually, that was really good. Let's get started. Fuck it. I like that. Let me, let me open the these intro. up. It's fucking yeah. midnight train. That was, hold on, wait. How do I do this? Perfect. Oh, yeah, and there's Batman. Fandy. Oh, 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 yeah, Banks, Demi, and Fandy. Fandy, this is Banks. Right. Banks, Fandy. There you go. Hi, Fandy. Uh, what's All up? Right. Wait. Fuck, man. I'm so bad at... Wait. Oh, <laughs> bro, I'm so sorry. I still have that picture of... of <laughs> Remember last stream we used a chat blocker for you, and it keep, I keep turning it on an accident. I don't want to cause. Was it Tifu? Was it me yeah. and Tifu? Yeah, it's this picture. No, we're cool. That, we're cool. Yeah, we used last time, and it keeps popping up. So I'm trying to figure out what this last one is. Oh, and now it's just permanently up. Give me a second. Wait, no, it's all on. We're good to go. <laughs> okay, my bad, bro. Okay. I so, it. listen, I think we're good to go, right? That's everybody. Yeah. Uh, Harley, mm -hmm. meet Banks. Banks, meet Harley. I think we're good to go. Yeah, is that it? Yes, sir. Bro, my contacts need to come in ASAP. Like, this is, like, glasses are so fucking annoying. You understand? I can't sleep on my side and watch Netflix. I have to do this weird thing where I have to, like, put them on my, just some crazy shit. My headphone. Anyways, let's get started. Abdu, how's life, man? Wait, how blind are you without your glasses? Yeah. Chilling, bro. Let's just say, uh. Hold your glasses up to the camera. Oh, does that work? No, yeah. but, I mean, we, I mean, kind of. <laughs> try. Try to make it work. Like, yeah. Like context? Yeah, you might be on, you might be onto something though, like uh, creating like a screen that's like oh. like has your prescription <laughs> eyewear, like frame, yeah, like some weird shit like that. Wow, that's trippy. Hold on, I don't know what the yeah. science is behind that. Man, you should do the whole podcast thing. like this. You look more clear through your glasses. Yeah. Am I? Do yeah, you I should just tape them. Glasses? Maybe we need glasses. <laughs> oh, <maybe we> <laughs> I got laced about ten years ago. And it started to wear off. Oh, it wears off. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna I be think it wears off every ten years. You don't like contacts? Wait, oh, no, what'd you say? No, 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 I ran out of contacts because the uh, delivery like got backed up because of COVID, and, like because of the company has like delivered whatever, some shit like that. But yes, yeah, so, you ever but, heard of CRT lenses? What's a CRT lens? The uh, where you wear it at night and you sleep with it, and then you take them out during the day, but you can see clearly without them. What? Wow. That's wait, wait, what I do you use. mean you wear them at night? I sleep with them at night, and then if I sleep a good amount. I guess she's 2020 at, during the day. What? No How does that shit in? work? What is this magic? What? You sleep with them at night, really? but it's one pair. It's it's hard lenses. It's not it's not soft. Wait, and you're telling me that, dude, this is like some futuristic altered carbon. Yeah, that's shit. Insane. Why have I never heard of this? Yeah. I've been using them for like eight years. Wait, wait eight wait, years? What? what? Eight years, about 13. Never heard of that either. So you're telling me that if I put contacts in during night and I sleep with them, I wake up, take them out, and I see the same as the contacts would have done for me but without them yeah exactly yeah i Bro, mean he's the... a pro cs player so he eyesight matters uh, yeah. what the fuck i'll take this crazy shit, though. Me, worth it. i've never I'm heard of that I just get lasik dude what's wrong with all of you i don't understand because my this. eyes are still better. rapidly Bro, changing that's hey, why what's the problem my eyes are still better. rapidly changing did a doctor changing. tell you that who they says that me, my eyes are still rapidly changing that's what the doctor told me i went to the middle east and got it done right away that same fucking month Fuck yeah, it, dude. and you're probably they, they gonna don't need to do it again. Here in America. So what? Every ten years, I'll do it. Were you awake when you got it done? That they literally cut your fucking eye awake. open and they slide a shit in there. Like what the no, fuck? Yeah, yeah, but it's no, like it's no, super it's very, reliable very, at this yeah. point. Like it used to be kind of well, sketchy, but it's super have it good way now. Better. Other countries have it way better. Even in America, though, you can get it done, no problem. Yeah, like, but here it's like I feel like it's overpriced. Yeah. Yo, Banks. By the way, I hope. Listen, getting that shit tattooed on you. I hope they paid you at least 10 million minimum okay 10 million tattoo? minimum for no no listen 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 we're in a long-term contract with rubet obviously we have a fucking Wait. deal with rubet a group yeah. deal with rubet. so do um, i do what's up bro rubet brother what's up, 
Yes, sir. You already know Steak Howie's the fucking baby. Howie, Howie's family. <laughs> Steak, sorry, yeah. sorry. I know, I know you got other sponsors, but no, nah, you're good. Don't worry about the, it. That's the real deal. No, Ooh. we, we kind of just to kick it off. I want to do something weird. So they said they give me a hundred thousand dollar fill if I uh, if I got if I got the tattoo. It was kind of my idea. I don't really bro for a game. tattoo it should be a hundred thousand yours. Fuck the fill. Yeah, but like. It's not like it's my first tattoo. It's not like it's on my fucking face or my neck. Wait, like it's, fill or I'm only gonna ever. I'm only gonna ever. To keep it. I'm only gonna ever see this. You got a tic tac toe tattoo? Tic tac toe. Did you let somebody actually play that game? Oh, yeah, yo, two, banks, bro. bro. Like, that's good. Did, did you that win? Is the is best, is there a winner? That is the best know, icebreaker. Right. Imagine asking like, you know, a chick that's down, right? But you know, you, you don't, neither of you knows how to start the conversation, right? Like, hey, you want to play tic tac toe? Right? Take the pants off. Dick flops she might on the right. You're fucking weird for that. Man. Yeah, maybe you're right. All right, let's get started. Uh, <laughs> up in no, 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 no listen, listen, I will say this: in. the deal, the deal is long term, and it's a big fucking deal. Obviously, we're coming to Mexico every fucking two weeks for it. It's a big fucking deal. So oh, those shit. guys are families, and we're we're in it for life. It's Ruba for life at this point. Train, train, um, train. What's up? I lost the hundred k that I got. I that I got from that tattoo. The though. deals are train. He doesn't yet. Yeah, uh, doesn't yet. I'm gonna get we'll into a private call with you, bro. Listen, trust me. Y'all don't even know. Do you understand? Yeah, but you, don't you live in Texas? Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey he, listen, we don't know where he lives. I hop in the private plane and I fly over to Canada every so often. Relax, you know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. Every facts, stream facts. I fly, in, you know, I hop in the PJ stream, knows that. I'm in the PJ, I go over to Canada, do a stream, and I come he's back. Right, he, ben, he's right next to Mexico, but he goes all the way to Canada. Funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 actually. He's a drive away. No, well, the crazy part is uh, in Texas, it's actually legal. You know that? <laughs> No, no, no I didn't get into it right now, but listen. Um, yeah, yeah. Guys, <laughs> yeah, but I was like, yo, chill, chill. Yeah. chill. Don't fuck this up. Oh, no, we'll talk about it later. Uh, but I was going to say, I am buying property down in Cabo. So if you guys want to ever go, I doubt, I, doubt, I doubt somewhere nice to go. Fire. Yeah, fuck Good yeah. Good stuff. The house we stayed at this time around was fucking awesome, bro. Yeah, yeah they're like... really awesome over there. The Some of the houses are amazing. Yeah, it was, it was tight. Right, let's move on, guys. What's what, what's next on the uh, list? I forgot totally to do this. Speaking of sponsors, uh, guys, uh, let me do a quick little <laughs> ad read here. Um, <laughs> guys, <laughs> holy shit. The craziest thing happened the other day. I was literally watching Wolf of Wall Street. I'm like, fuck. What on fucking earth? It looks so easy, but it's so fucking hard. How the fuck can I trade stocks? How the fuck can I become them? Then suddenly out of nowhere, on my app store, I saw Cash App. Insane. Yeah crazy i fucking installed the motherfucker in one simple click of a button i became the wolf of fucking wall street cock hard cock big just like that one stock traded two stock traded three stock traded six options done finished simple as that bitcoin done bitcoin easy send withdraw done you understand can you send bitcoin with cash app now you can you, you can, can yeah. literally like wow train can... that's amazing train do you have a, do you have a referral code for me I, I do. Code app. Twitch TV for ten dollars if you download Cash App. Code Train, Twitch Train, TV. I'm gonna, I'm gonna download, I'm gonna download Cash App. Train, I'm gonna download Cash App right now and use that code. What was the code again? It was code Twitch TV. Twitch TV. Fuck yeah! All right. Wait, like, y'all yeah. are being sarcastic as shit right now, but real shit. I feel like they come in here all the time and give out free money. So if you don't yeah. have the app, you don't get the money. Like it happens yeah. fast. Like you may as well download ad. it. What, yeah, what a great what, ad. I'm serious. <laughs> Listen, we weren't being sarcastic. That was the read. Do you understand? Like, Cash App be giving away money? Huh? Well, I'm just saying. They come they in here, they away give money? money. Download the app. Download the Cash app. app. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 All you got to do is have the app? Yep. Like, you go to the app store and type in Cash App and you download it? No. Dude, I know yeah. you have the like, app because you money? won a couple hundred dollars in here before. App dude, or no app, app you'll be dude. fine. Wins like every time. He's like a I god at this. I won like 600 actually. It's yes. crazy. I, I was helping I, the app. I, I was helping the app. Yeah. <laughs> there was one time I just complained about it and then Cash App just sent me like $400. I was like, that's sick. <laughs> You know, but, <laughs> yeah, guys, but I don't, you don't, don't know. It's you don't have it. You don't have it. You don't have it. Yes, I'll give you a whole, a whole video, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> real quick, one sec. Yo, but on a real note, guys, make sure to download Cash App. Stocks are easy as hell to, you know, buy, sell. Very simple. <laughs> Excuse me. Also, check that. <laughs> also, check. Okay. let me start that up real quick. <laughs> on a serious <laughs> note, guys. No, just <laughs> <stop>. <laughs> guys, seriously, okay? Check out Cash App. Download it.
Stocks are as easy as one, two, three. Bitcoin, easy as one, two, three. It is simple. What about AMC? Do they have that? Simply, I mean, I bought AMC on it back when I was going on it, but I sold it immediately. Fucking because, AMC. Yeah, I sold it <laughs> immediately. I did I on Cash App too. It's not too simple. Chat. Yeah. But anyways, guys, seriously, check out Cash App. Stocks, Bitcoin, all your needs as easy as one, two, three. You can go from, you know, being an uh, average Joe Schmo to becoming literally Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, Whoa, Wolf of Leonardo. Wall Street. Just like that. It's done. Check it out. Cash App. Coach Witchy for $10. Anyways, let's get started here. Holy shit. All right, boys. Come take over. I have no content. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some gambling on this side here. Let me remember when we remember when the last podcast we did with Hassan. I think Devin. I think you were there, maybe. Yeah. And we talked about dicks the whole time and like weird that, shit. That happens every That's, time, though. Yeah, was fun. Fun. Every podcast. Podcast. I was on. Also, they it was we all talk, we all spoke about dicks. It might have been a different one though, because Mo, no. Mo you, you were there. Mo, I know you were there too. For sure. Bro, they all blend There's together. So many the dicks, dicks that I don't yeah. even know whose dick we're talking about anymore. I've been on this podcast twice, and I've spoke about dicks with Mo twice on this podcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that wasn't a segue to talk about dicks. That was. You know I was just saying. That's is? what we're doing. I think it I'm was. Usually I think the one it was. Who brings up the dicks too. So it's like, are you? I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll say it like I like to hear about dicks. I don't know why. Is that weird? Is that? that I feel weird. like yeah, it's that's, that's a little odd to say. I live. I live with Aiden Ross. Yo. <laughs> Wait, who lives with who? All that, all that fool talks about his dick. What? He spoke. Uh, that's the first thing he said to me. Character bang. Stop. Oh, that was the first thing he said to me. You, yo, like, yo, yo. Do you really dick. think that? You really think that's no, just, just the no, character, no, just... bro? He runs around all day. Yo, we're playing hangman in my fucking in my kitchen the other day, and he pulled his dick out straight up, like pulled his actual <laughs> dick out. No that's... cameras, like nobody there. That's how he's done, though. Out. Bro. Do the cameras incentivize people to get the dicks no, out in concentration? I no, no. There's definitely a lot of people who think he's just being funny or like being extra. Like that is Aiden. What you get, what you see, is what you get. That's Aiden. I mean, was I it, was it was it hard? I, I, no, it's What's flaccid that? dick you pull out. <laughs> no, it was soft. It was soft. <laughs> yeah, wait, he was wiggling around, around, trolling around. I was trying to answer him like he knows. Because I've say? I've done it multiple times, dude. There's this time where one of my old roommates still thinks I'm crazy as fuck for it. But I just, I mean, first of all, I mean, wait, what's the statute of limitations for ordering <laughs> drugs from the black market? Seven years. Okay, we're not there yet. Uh, never mind, I'll tell okay. the story in like two years. Mm -hmm. You know how to make a hot dog? <laughs> no, here's the point. Uh, you don't no. even know how to make a hot dog with I'm going to wait dick? two years for it, actually. Never mind. Uh, continue. <laughs> wait, no, how do you, how do you do it? Do you take you take your nuts, your balls, right, and put like on the side. left side and the right side, it looks like a little hot dog bun. Or you just wrap it up. I usually do so, the smell. Some long ass nuts, God damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's like big hot dog, little little big hot dog, little bun. Do you ever? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'll turn my camera on for you guys to see me. I do Gonzo. Is that Sesame Gonzo, Street yeah. or the puppets? Gonzo, the bat wing. Uh, What's well, Gonzo? You Gonzo's tuck when you balls, tuck, tuck your, your dick. balls between your ass or. Uh, with tuck your balls uh, between your legs and then bend over from the back. It looks like the two eyes and the nose. It I, thought looks that like the, the, I thought that was the brain, no? No, no, no brain, the brain is just lock it up. Yeah, you just lock it up. Holy shit, you guys way. are making like like fucking art with your dicks. Wait, yeah, are these a real thing or is it just yeah. from the movie yeah. Waiting? No, I, I remember that snail. movie. I actually do the snail all the time. It's a great way to clean down there. You know, you know about the testicle surprise? You know about testicle surprise? <laughs> testicle surprise. Wait, imagine this for a second, okay? So you make a hot dog. So you make a hot dog. You put your left nut and your right nut on either side of your penis. And then you have to somehow make like the mangina with your penis, but still keep your nuts out. So it's going to look weird. You're going to have like these two so nuts. So just your nuts. Just there. two nuts. Just your nuts. And then actually what you don't know is every man has a secret compartment for both nuts. You push them in. They will go like into your like like up into your uh, like upper true. body this area, and then you're gonna have these two like lips hanging. It'll almost look like lips, and then you can put your two fingers where the nuts are hidden in your body and push them, and like nuts will pop out. And when yeah, you, do, like, you gotta go. You're hey, a fucking no. expert, bro. You're this an is expert. Like, like how <laughs> bold was you when you figured this shit out? This is, yo, yeah, yeah, like, I'm learning basic, so much. <laughs> this is basic <laughs> boot camp shit. I mean, like, listen. Is this something now. where, like, as a nothing. I'll tell as you, a woman, listen, if you it, can do this for a man, does it assist? No, 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 no. Or do they not? The hot dog sounds like it would make them feel safe. You like, know what a strawberry step, shortcake is? Step by step. Yeah, when you punch this. him in the face and you, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl sucking right. your dick right before, right before you nut, you fucking rock her in the nose, bleeds <laughs> no. all over the place, and then you nut on her face. It looks like a strawberry shortcake. How about a peppermint yeah. swirl? Oh, man. How about a yeah, peppermint wow. swirl? Y'all know what peppermint swirl is? 
That was that. Peppermint Swirl is when, uh, okay, guys, don't ever show that at home. But Peppermint Swirl is when, you know, okay, we have to be careful here. It's when she has your, you know, load in her mouth and you, she, you know, she's on her period and you eat her out on her period and then you guys make out. So oh, gross. No, <laughs> okay, so we were so all on an urban dictionary as kids, apparently. Yeah. Do you guys remember uh, the Angry the Pirate? You know yes. the Houdini, yes. right? What's the Houdini? The Angry Pirate. The Houdini's my favorite one. It's Houdini's where, fucked up. Yeah. It's fucked up. Obviously, oh, no, guys, we're no, all no, joking. I have different Houdinis. But the I should Houdinis say, me, you, me and Mo uh, were kicking it. You're, me and Mo were kicking it one night. Me and Mo were kicking it one night. Me and Mo were kicking it one night. We bring a girl over. Mo and her are vibing, right? Oh, that's the Houdini, too. There's two fucks, Houdinis. I like that one. Fucks her doggy. They get shit, whatever. Fucks her doggy. I'm hiding in the closet in the room. He slips it out. I run up, slip it behind her, and it's Houdini. She turns around. It's a different person. Houdini. I thought, that was, I thought that was the switcheroo. The Raging what? Bull. That's what I was thinking. Raging Bull. The Raging Bull. You're, no, you're, that, you're, you're that, piping her doggy. You're piping her doggy. You grab her as hard as you can and whisper in her ear, I have AIDS. And just see how long <laughs> you hold on for Oh, that. Do, okay, so all of you guys were on Urban Dictionary as kids. Wait, Mo, Facts. do you know what the Angry no. Pirate is? No, what's that? Wait, Banks, can you tell me what the Angry Pirate is? It's do you something. remember? No, you tell it, you tell it, you tell it. Okay, that. it's supposed to, supposedly when you finish in somebody's eye and then you kick them in the leg oh and they God. can't see and then they have one leg. Yeah. This is some Urban <laughs> Dictionary <laughs> shit, okay? We were kids. Dude, the, the Houdini I was referring to is where you're doing it dodgy. And then you spit on her bat, so she thinks you came. She turns around and you come on her face. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I knew that as the Houdini, Houdini also, and the other one is the switcheroo. Yeah. Real quick, have you guys have you guys ever have you guys ever busted a fake nut? Because I have done that. Many I mean, times. I, I have two kids. Uh, how? So what do you, what, let, uh, let me answer that. No. Oh, so I'm saying night. like late night, you're drunk. You you find yourself in a situation with a girl that you're really not like super stoked to I know be what you're with. Saying, yeah. You're fucking it's her. It's hard you, though because it, usually it, girls look for the nut. Listen, the guys, the, the the real ones, they'll understand what I mean when I say this. Sometimes you're fucking a girl and you just come to the conclusion that you're not going to bust a nut. It's just not happening for you. You don't want to be awkward. You don't want to make the girl feel like shit. So you just make a sound, spit on her, you pull your dick out. Fucking, what's your sound? Oh, what's, your, oh, what's your sound? Oh, oh, there. Oh, and then spit on her back and she thinks that? you came on her back. And you're like, oh, fuck. God, are you serious? There's, there's a good so move for that. There's actually a good move for that. So when that's going to happen, what you could do is when you know you're going to do it, <laughs> Count your pumps down. Just be like seven, six, five, four. You three, actually say this two, out loud. One. Yes, you say it out loud. You pull it out, and then you're like, "That was just reps. This one was for sport. Next one's for pleasure. <laughs> Don't even sweat about it. Don't even sweat." I'm just trying to get my stamina. <laughs> you ever do it for workout? Like sometimes I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pump one thousand times before I even oh think God. about busting a nut. And in my head, I'm like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm like, I'm going to get to a 1,000. I've, I've collapsed doing that. I've been holding myself up, and I've collapsed. Like, I've been like, and just fallen. This guy's a wedding. fucking David dude. Blaine of fucking dude. Like, what the fuck? Dude's just like, like, counting, <laughs> make, doing math in his head. <laughs> you guys are reading Urban Dictionary. Like a... I'm the one writing the definitions on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So... Yeah, yeah. I feel like we're all gonna, you know, one of these days. I feel like we only bond over dits. No, that I mean, was less dick leaning though, because I felt involved. Yeah, yeah. but one of these mm. days, this is gonna be brought up in like one of our court cases or some shit, and it's gonna be taken out of context, and we're just fucked. Do you understand? I always think about that. I do you think about the, that a lot. The class action lawsuit when a bunch of parents Dude. sue us for no, 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 not, no. That's in. irrelevant. That's irrelevant. That's no, absolutely no, that, irrelevant. They, they would, it would do that because remember that Phantom Lord lawsuit. In the thing, he talked about, like, the lawyer's like, so uh, here it shows uh, you had a stream where you you talked about fucking a girl with a dildo in the ass. And he's like, yeah, that was just a joke or something. And it's like, they're asking him about shit he said on stream and, like, to that's justify crazy. his ban. And it's so funny. <sighs> all the shit he's done, that's like, as it, like, shit, like, it's, imagine if they just take one stuffed podcast episode and yeah. just grill train on it. No, yeah. Hey, you guys feel say some foul jail. shit. Feel what, Dota jail. What I'm referring to, no, no, it's not, that's irrelevant to me. What I'm referring to is like if, for example, right, all the shit that we talk about, so like back when the, my, the false allegation thing happened and the false accusation thing happened, unfortunately the community, fortunately I was a large enough creator where the community like, you know, dug deeper and found all the inconsistencies and the lies. And it, like, 
I imagine if I didn't have that and like like contact like these conversations come out of context and start sh like news uh, outlets start showing them right. You can easily take these conversations of peppermint swirl and the uh, strawberry shortcake and twist it into oh disrespect of this and no right right like and then suddenly the narrative yeah, is fully time. built and you're fucked no matter what even if you're innocent you are fucked. I because, feel I right? feel. I feel like the audience, though, generally is becoming more and more aware of this and smarter to it. To be honest, yeah. like people people are less and less just taking people's words for it or seeing a little clip and like train. You stream how many hours a week? Hundreds, uh, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't, like you just you stream a fucking lot. So for you, for there to be a three second clip, like it happens all the fucking time. All these like commentary YouTube channels specifically, they'll take a ten minute conversation, take fucking five seconds of it, and. You know what I mean, it's I also I think it, it's, it's like trash. who you are like I think, uh, you know, I always thought that if, if something ever came up allegations or something, people would like click like type my name in and look at my picture and be like, oh, yeah, he for sure did everything this person said. And all people you would need is a picture too. of me and be like, yeah, look at this guy. And I feel like you you like the same thing with you train, 100%. maybe your content and stuff. People would look you up and be like, talk oh, of, no, for yes. sure, bro. Look at yes. this guy. Listen to what he says. I feel like that, too. Like I've had people say 100%. like, oh, man. I'm surprised you didn't get canceled yet. And I'm like, why would you be surprised about that? Like, what did I That's ever fun. do or anything? Like, why would that ever happen to me? But yeah, it is, uh, it's a thought, you know? Charlie's it's literally the well, nicest person ever in person. You have like big Canada vibes. I'm like, this man could never hurt a fly. That's literally, but, but that's how it works yeah. too, right? It's like, just be, so like I talk, the way I talk, it's very raunchy, right? It's whether it's a man or a woman. I'm, I'm very like you just raunchy. have dark humor. Yeah, I'm very raunchy, and like I say shit that like would be classified as like some perverted sick shit, right? But it's like I don't mean any of it. It's more like a, of a shock factor where it's like you know you just kind of laugh it off and, and you get. Well, we're obviously it. joking. Yeah, nobody but, in this but when you hang out, right? Room. Like we're fucking teddy bears, like Harley, right? Like that. That's how it is. And our, our nobody in here has ever strawberry shortcake to fucking girl punched her girl never, in the fucking face. It's just never, it's funny. It's yourself, just. Yes. I never Call made it. a hot dog. I never Here's made a hot point. dog with my dick. I think the point is that actions should speak louder than words, and actions should be looked at more than that. Without that, we shouldn't disregard words uh, all the way through. But actions should be looked at at the very least. I don't know why no one does that on the internet these days, right? Like, well, it's super fucking weird. Counter argument is, and I'm just playing devil's advocate for it. The counter argument is like you're setting an example for the people listening that they might think that's okay, right? That's what what all the SJWs will bring up. But it oh. is okay, isn't it? But it should also, be. At least. Also, like you should it's... be able to just joke with your fucking homies. At the end of the day, we're yeah, in I... here. We're, we're broadcasting it to a bunch of people. We're doing it for entertainment. We're entertaining and each it's a other. Which... Podcast, like yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like it's mm -hmm. it's it's all for fun. We're just having fun. We're cracking humor. Yeah, like, but also take like that you guys are. Were... Yeah, people did they they're not going to dig deep enough. Like Train was saying, um, they, they don't look at your actions or know who you are. If people want to hate you, especially if you represent something from their past or something that they think they know, they're just going to hate you. They're not going to look at your mm -hmm. actions. They're not going to look at what you stand for. They're not going to look at your twit longer and they're not going to look at what's really going on, period. And like, it's a thing mm -hmm. that sucks with content creation. You just have to accept That's it. That's actually an interesting point because what you're like, I resonate like, if you want to fucking hate somebody, if you want to pin a bunch of magic, yeah. like anybody, anybody in here, we could go and find the worst shit you've ever said, done, and just put that into a compilation and mm -hmm. broadcast that, show people that, and anybody would be like, okay, this is a shitty person. Yeah. Oh, Humans well, at the end of the day, there's evil and good, and most of us live somewhere in between, right? Mm -hmm. It's all a spectrum. It's most of us are fucking good there. people at the end of the day. There, there aren't very many perfect humans, just like there's not very many like hardcore evil humans. And if you want to go and you could go and look at all the great shit I've ever done, put it together, and anybody would be like, oh shit, Banks is a fucking great person. You could do the same in reverse and make me look like a piece of shit. And that's what people do. They take advantage yeah. of that shit. You, and it's you like, Banks, you could get especially fucked just because the, the way that you even like look, if you date a girl that has a heavy female audience and it ends badly, and then afterwards she says, he's the worst person ever, then all the girls that are in her fan base that don't know you are going to look at you. And if they rem if you remind them of a guy they dated or pursued that it didn't work out, they hate you. Period. It's kind of happened. It's kind of no happened. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe it. It's, it's, it's actually no happening. Fans but. And listen, and listen, listen. Nothing but love to everybody in my past, whatever. But I, ha I did. I was in a very public relationship, 
It didn't end so great. Everything's okay now. Everything's great. I have a new person in my life. She has a new person in her life. It's been a, a lot of time. Obviously, breakups are not fun for anybody. Um, and that's kind of exactly what happened. I mean, it's just generalizing mm. in general. Like, if any, if people should have learned anything from 2020, it was that generalizing people by how they look, sound, where they're from, anything like that is just bad. It's bad for for. In every, you know what I mean? People, you should take people as individuals and really, before you make a judgment on somebody, you should get your fucking facts straight and really know somebody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't listen to a tweet. A single tweet shouldn't fucking, you know what I mean? You shouldn't Isn't develop that... an opinion about somebody. Yeah, off yeah. yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> make, somebody make your own judgment, an entire for sure. opinion off of 140 characters and they're like, oh, this is mm -hmm. it. I, I didn't. What was that thing that just happened in Ludwig, where like somebody said some shit about him, and then he fucking like contacted their school or was about to? Did anyone read about that? Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, that, I, I try to remember. Fan, do you know what happened? Uh, Denise tell him like kill himself or something like that, and he found yeah. the kid's but high was, school, and he was like, "I'm about to email your principal or your something principal. like that." But, was, yeah, but he didn't yeah. actually do it. Yeah, he he. Well, he posted. He's like, um. Okay, so my understanding of what happened was, like, he posted... Someone sent him, like, a go-kill-yourself message or whatever. It was over some fucking dumbass drama, too. Like, some, like, you know, bullshit livestream fail shit. And then he literally, like, like copied and pasted their screen name into Google and then said, like, go Hawks or whatever the school, uh, like, mascot <laughs> yeah. was. And the guy's like, oh, I'm so fucking sorry, dude. Like, but yeah, he did exactly that same thing that Banks is talking about. He just yeah, he was like, of, like didn't think drama. he'd ever see yeah. it. Tyler, do you yeah. know that the only nameplates that you don't have honor for the women... Holy yeah, it's kind of kind of weird. It's kind of weird, weird train. Yeah. Oh What's my god, on? I forgot them. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> holy <laughs> shit! What's <laughs> fucking new? <laughs> you know what? I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the <laughs> yeah, that's right. Fucking scum. Dash it. Well, I have figured, donated 100 to apologize to her. Yeah, I, I figured Fandy is married, so that's so I don't need to put her name up. Bose is in another state. <laughs> I can't get anything there, so who cares, right? Ah, uh, fuck it. Leave him nameless. Okay. Let's you know, just uh, uh, play devil's advocate to what we were just talking about. And on the other end, I hate when people say like something really fucked up or like really messed up or like super like actually racist or whatever. And it's not funny. And then they're like, yo, I'm joking. Yeah, See, no, that's, I See, don't people like take that. advantage that, of that. Yes. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. listen. Name, and I'm always that, like, no, if you're going to go. Go, go. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you, you have to go now. Now, now look like a... No, no, I want to. I want to hear it. I actually said yeah, go because I want to hear it. No. The, so those people you just pointed out are actually why we're even talking about what we're talking about. The, like mm -hmm. it all. Started, they wrote it for everybody else. Yeah. It all start exactly. It all started back in fucking first grade, where after every fucking uh, pop quiz, our teacher would give us a Jolly Rancher, and then that one fucking kid decided to do something that made the Jolly Ranchers go away. And all fucking hundred students of every class of every fucking hour got fucked and lost their Jolly Ranchers because of one dickhead that took it too Bradley's far. Bradley's fucking right? shoved it up his ass. Some dumb yeah. mother. Exactly, yeah. right? It's Bradley. the same thing here, right? Bradley. It sucks Bradley. that we have to like go about it that way, but yeah. that's what it is, right? It, so us joking about that, I think the way Twitch sees it, right? I know this is how they see it because that's why I've received one of my bands. If I make a joke and even one person in chat is truly a sexist or a racist, then they'll take what I'm saying as something that's going to perpetuate their reality and perpetuate mm. everything that they do. And it's going to fuel them because they think that they're taking me seriously. Right. And because of that, we have the responsibility to, to always clarify, to not make the jokes. Whereas the 99.9% .9 understand that they laugh and then they drop it at the next second. So it is always that one motherfucker that is actually a racist or is actually a sexist or is actually an abuser or is actually a fucking st stalker that ruins it for everybody that we have to be, be be careful of does that make sense so it's actually a good yeah. point you brought up yeah and you know can i say something i think that uh like i think something can be racist and i think it can be funny i have laughed at racist humor before and Dave i've also been exactly and i've been offended yeah. by racist humor before but the biggest thing is when you're uh when you don't acknowledge that it's racist that's like well, when I, things change. I, think, I, I, think, want to say I want to say something real quick. I, I just want to continue this train of thought. I, I know of a, of, of a streamer who had, he was doing like a fake accent and it was very racist and it was Wrong. a fake accent. And I would watch it and the fake accent to me was funny, 
However, it was 1,000% racist, but I thought it was funny. And then I remember one time he got shit for it, and I was like, oh, it took everyone long enough. And then he was like, it's not racist. He was mm. like, my girlfriend, my girlfriend is whatever, so I could, and that's when I was like, no, 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 no. Because let me explain something. I was, not, I was having a good time laughing at your racism, thinking that you were, but now with all your like 14 year old viewers, you're gonna be like, nah, it wasn't even racist. And that's where I'm like, no, hold up. You have to let your audience know that they can get their ass kicked for what you're doing right now. That's and you true. can't say it's not racist because now you made it fucking weird. I was having a good time laughing at some, some quality racist content here until you said it wasn't racist. Now I think you're racist and I no longer find the bit funny. Does that make sense, or do uh, I now sound you know, like I'm does. racist? It makes a lot of sense to me. It does. <laughs> I, I definitely I raised her an eyebrow at cause... first, because Harley was like, now listen, I find some good racist content funny. But we, we I think, continued, I think a better, I like, I think okay. a better, you, you explained it well. I think a better, like, I think a way to change that in the future is, like, race humor as opposed to racist humor. Because yeah. racist yeah. shit means, like, being hateful and, di like, uh, right? It means being I know, hateful I know, exactly. or... Or targeting somebody specifically, I don't know. I think. Yeah, like, I think of like people. people Dave make Chappelle jokes. is the greatest comedian of all time. My opinion. The entire Chappelle, Chappelle show is race. The Chappelle show. Whole thing. Ten out of ten. It is genius. That motherfucker is the the absolute goat. And all the Chappelle show was about race. Do you remember the race? Fucking what was it? The race. Uh, the race draft. The racial draft. The, the racial draft. The racial draft. He, the whole he's show. done. Like, dude, race everything race about before. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. I, I, as a Jew, people could make Jewish shit, and I'll be like, oh my god, that's offensive as hell. I'm cracking up. And the same joke can literally like make my mom like just be like, oh, oh what's happening to the world? But like, I can find that funny. I like fucked up stuff. But if you say it or you're like, that's not even racist, that's how it is, I'm like, now that's fucked up. You, you just made it. Now you changed my perspective on it. The context, where it's coming from, there's so many aspects of it that are important. And like I said, I used to watch his streamer and he would do this like bit and I'd be like, oh, that's fucked up, but it's, it's funny. Um, until he started to defend it and I was like, no, you don't get to defend this. You know I don't think, but, by the way, I want to clarify here. Uh, uh, I think Mo made a joke and said uh, Raj no, or Austin. I, I was, when he said girlfriend, but, I knew it wasn't him. Yeah, but well, well, then in my opinion, we should clarify after you say that since yeah. said girlfriend, well, it's if, not if, To him. be fair, yeah. uh, Austin did do the Indian accent for Yeah, but years. he changed his name. He, he never claimed yeah, it was yeah. Austin. I, I don't yeah, think yeah, it's that yeah, crazy. I, the ref, well, the well, reference point I was... was though? Who's Austin? Austin who? Uh, Raj Patel, Austin show. I've never heard that before. Uh, yeah, but he wasn't talking about him. I just wanted to clarify because uh, yeah, Mo made a joke. Was, I'm yeah. just saying it's a big streamer, a white dude. He did an Asian accent, like a stereotypical okay. Asian accent. I don't know who that is. See, but yeah. also there's there's Actually, a there's well, a scale of it. Bose, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Okay. Uh, it's not because you're a woman. Uh, one second, <laughs> Har no, Mo Bose, go ahead. Now I have to because you made a sad no. face. No, 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 no. Go I ahead. actually wanted to hear what you what you were gonna say. Yeah, me too. Um, Bose. okay. Uh, I was gonna say that there, there's almost like a sliding scale of like lazy racist humor and then like oh we put some, for example like in the Chappelle show in the racial draft at the end of it i think they end it with the they say like the asian community drafts like the wu-tang clan and we were like yeah, yeah, wait yeah, yeah, are we allowed yeah, yeah. to laugh at this like it's not yeah, really yeah. offensive it's kind of funny and ironic <laughs> It is yeah, race that's humor. That's hilarious. You, it, that is like, fucking hilarious. Exactly. Yes. So it's in that category, but it's like well thought out. And then we just have like the lazy fucked up shit. So that's what I mean. Like the There's white delegate, the white delegate and the Asian delegate were fighting over Tiger Woods and shit. <laughs> like it's just like. It was like they thought or, about or, or, it. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. So, yeah. Like that. Well, Chappelle, Chappelle, Chappelle talks talk shit. Like, like, so, like so, yeah. to some extent, the point of comedy, right, is like to bring hilarious. out Ease issues. the tension. Yeah, yeah that, that like yeah. that can't be discussed on any other forum, especially now. Like, like we we can't talk about this kind of well, shit anywhere else. Yeah, I I wanted to ask this question, uh, uh, and Devin, I think you're completely right. That's why that's what a value I think this podcast brings. It's you know, 100 percent same we, thing. You know, I kind of, you know, because of who I am and the brand, and I think everyone else can come on here. They feel like I'm the, because I, I have a lot of people that their streams personally are very PG, but they reach out to me because that. There's things they want to talk about, but they can't do it on their channel. So they come on the podcast because they could blame it on me and the podcast. So it creates I'm a safe dude. haven. Yes. Yeah, it creates a safe haven <laughs> for them to talk about real shit that they think they get canceled for when, we, when in reality they wouldn't. But I, I want to bring this point up real quick. Um, here's one thing I never understood. Okay, now I don't want to point fingers or, you know, this isn't an accusation or anything, or I'm not saying that people are doing this, but here's, an, here's what I've never understood. Okay, 
So if someone is doing a an accent or a bit for a show, right? Yeah. There's one thing I noticed that I think is f that that if people see that as racist, I think that there's something that goes way farther than that. And it's this new role playing stuff in video games. Have you like we're not only talking about just we're not talking about uh, uh, voice changes. We're not talking about uh, uh, tone change or, uh, uh, you know, accent changes. We're talking about full on like ideologies, like, yeah. behaviors, that's, that's uh, uh, you know, idea. white dudes uh, uh, playing black dudes and, and assuming what the black dude would do when he's talking a certain way. And it's completely accepted and laughed at by everybody and loved and enjoyed. But then as soon as someone's running a show and doing nothing else besides an accent, they want to cancel that person. Yet in the RP, you have some white dude playing, you know, something else, and no one gives a fuck. And I'm confused. I, so what is what is differentiation, think, and why? They I could I that? could be I could be I could be wrong, but I think humans as a whole, especially in America, I think we're all kind of just figuring out what the lines are and what actually bothers people, offends people, fucks with people, shit. I think we're just figuring it out. You know what I mean? I think people. Yeah. Oh, too far on both ends. I, I don't know. I just think we're figuring it out, and that's that's so interesting because I never I've never thought about that. But the yeah. role playing yeah. shit, it's a it's, yeah, a, it's right. actually a legit point. Yeah, it's it's because I was I, I was I was on the NoPixel server, and like I would run into people that would have like you know Indian accents and and drive a taxi, right? And then like you know like we're talking every stereotype possible fits in, right? Or like you know a black dude and you know the way he's talking and you know things like that. Like it's not just an accent change. We're talking the entire cookie cutter thing that would have canceled you in 2020 is totally accepted in 20 in, in, in RP, well, but then in every other aspect of life, you're fucked for it. So I'm just wondering why the general masses find one okay and the other not. That's my question well, to them. You know what's crazy is they might find it okay now and then go back on it like like blackface. Oh yeah, the line right? changes like, constantly. Yeah, though no, that's the exactly right. Changes. The that's line true. fucking we're changes. Also, we're also talking about like GTA role playing. So even if there's a lot of numbers, it seems like the viewers are a specific demographic yeah. that are cool with that. Yeah, stuff. maybe, maybe. Like yeah. if like you know like uh, maybe if if a different group of people were to witness it, they might get very offended by it. You know. Yeah. But the line always changes. It does. The I mean, the prime, the prime changing, minister, yeah. the prime minister did blackface. Prime minister of Canada. Yeah. And I, I, I have to tell you that growing up in Canada, I was born in 1985. Wait, I is that a real never, thing? I had never heard. Is what a real thing? Yeah, it's a real thing. Canada. I'd, Trudeau did it. I'd yeah. never <laughs> heard. I'd never heard the term blackface or anything about it until like <clears throat> until like 2010, and it was like some Bro, school did have, something. Cause it's just Canada. It wasn't like it's not. It was never a thing. Like I just, I don't know how to explain it. You but were I Canadian for a minute. Man. I thought you were just walking around with Have hands you guys ever? Yeah, no, no. The funny like, thing shit. is, a lot of people didn't know like where 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 that became offensive. Like I know train train. Like I I told train like where, uh, like why it was so offensive. A lot of people may know about it, but a lot of people don't even know like the roots about it. Uh, well, I, I isn't, it, isn't it old? Isn't it old film? Like an old film. Essentially, White an old film, it was play. that they wouldn't cast black people for roles because they yeah. didn't want to. So then they would have white people play the roles because black people couldn't have those roles. So, like, there's like a, I don't, there's, no, there's a lot of like energy there, there's I like guess. Legit. Have you guys ever, dude, yeah. there, 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 there's been times where well, we talked about that, and I think we came to a general consensus of why that was different, I think, right on the podcast. But, anyways, real quick, dude, there's been times where I am so happy that. Have you guys ever seen those ma those masks that you wear for your face and they pe you peel them off yourself? They're, 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 yeah. they're, they're, like they're the all, charcoal like, ones? Like for, like yeah, the charcoal pores. ones. Like yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah. I had that yeah. on a couple yeah, of but times. I don't think that's... Yeah, I know, but I looked at them and I'm like, what? yeah, but what if someone caught a picture of you with that and posted it out of context? <laughs> How would you explain yourself out of that? I mean, right? but then you just you go and say, I was trying to get rid of it's my... It's, it's a face mask. I think fucked. you're all right no, there. Okay, yeah. wait. No, I think, you, I think you're all right. I think you're I think you're all right. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not that many people take photos in charcoal in masks, masks, but yeah. I have literally seen there was a Facebook post from a couple years ago where these two girls got expelled after they took a picture in a charcoal mask. But the problem was they made the caption gonna go rob some people. Oh, like, some yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's so, like, that's, like that's, I mean, that's, that's straight that's up. Where, that's where that's it's bad. Like, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's no caption for good, bad. but yeah. Yeah. oh my god, that's bad.
Well, oh, this is awkward, guys. Why, why, why do we go silent? Uh, <laughs> I, I, think, I think we're all just. We had to process that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. No, I, 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 I think, I think one of you laughed at that caption, though. That's what I'm I want to know. <laughs> No, that's like that's what I'm saying. It's stuff like that. If like as a Jew, like if someone's like you know like a like a penny joke or something, I'm like, no, bro, you don't come with the same joke we we heard like in grade two, literally, or grade three. You don't come with like that stuff. You have to come with like the heavy that's what hitters. Moses saying about that are really shit. gonna. Like yeah, you gotta shit. like you gotta like with fire. You gotta make me think and like and and mm. be sad for the human race a little bit and also like laugh. Like it's gotta be like multi layered. You can't come with like the bobo shit. You're gonna be racist. Like you better fucking you better swing Layer big and hit up. big because like if this isn't funny, you fucked up. It's... Like it's gotta be good. That's the first thing about any of this humor. Is it better be funny if it's funny? Everything changes. You know what? That's uh, true. I, don't, that I don't find the low hanging fruit funny ever. It's true for all offensive humor. I feel like if it's funny enough, we're like, that's okay. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I think this. that's why. Like, like I think Dave Chappelle has always like nailed it. Like, I remember like one of the last yeah, things you know, he spoke ever about. Did. He spoke about uh, like trans people and stuff like that. And even just saying that, I felt like I said something wrong. Yeah, so did um, I. I feel like I said something he, wrong too, but you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. He said he put like this. I like just looked at the description. I was like, I can't wait to hear what he has to say because he's gonna hold no punches. It's gonna be funny, and he's gonna make some. He's gonna have some perspective. And I'm like, damn, this guy's always right. And literally, I don't think Chappelle ever misses. In my lifetime, <laughs> I've never seen Chappelle miss. Uh even even in sticks and stones though when he like talked about that he got so much fucking hate like uh, that, that, well, that actually, thing is actually like... actually that's not entirely true this this really? goes to like the whole idea of like uh, the vocal mi minority versus like the silent majority mm -hmm. rotten tomatoes tried to post his fucking special with like a zero percent or whatever mm -hmm. and they got a shit ton of they, they had like critics do the do the ratings for it like official hollywood critics super like you know what i mean like industry people who have their jobs on the line mind you they they, they might feel like they have to have a certain opinion about something obviously in this this political climate they went out they put like kind of a fabricated uh rating on the rotten tomatoes gave them like zero percent Everyone mm -hmm. fucking freaked out about it. The masses said, fuck that, fuck that. They switched it over to a public rating, and he got like a 99% on that. Mm -hmm. oh, if, you his, if you go look at his recent special, he like people were like, yo, fuck that. that, that, that that's Dave Chappelle. We got to protect Dave Chappelle yeah, at all people costs. People like, love yeah, Dave. Yeah. For Dave. Sticks and Stones, I remember him talking about like how bad it was, right? Like in the show. He, he was, Actually, he was maybe, talking. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm talking shit then. I'm, I'm referring to I'm not to, like, sure. His most, oh, you're referring to his know. latest special, right? I don't I, honestly. I don't no, know. No, I just no. know that. There yeah, was I know what you're talking about because I saw that that it was the yeah, critics. Was, thing. I saw that he had a zero on Ryan months. Tomatoes that they switched it because now, that's fucking cra crazy. Did you guys see that um, they finally paid him back for a fucking Chappelle yeah, show that's even just crazy. because he he went out with it? Like, well, yeah, you guys are right. Like, people said, love Chappelle. Did he talk about that on Joe Rogan? Was that on Joe Rogan? Was it? He had um he had a show called. He did like. Well, he did like a short um, that was just talking about the industry. Chad will figure out what it was called. I, I watched yeah, it on YouTube. It's on, his, it's on his page. It's on his Instagram. It was like 10 minutes long. Isn't that yeah. like he like for a while? Because they were fucking like him over? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. he, yeah. He, no, no, so, yeah, no, because he was getting no the, money from it. And, and the, Chappelle, That's no, the Chappelle crazy. show now for how long? was airing on Netflix forever. Forever. He never got forever. money really? from it. Really? He owned it. Yeah, but he, yeah. he, he called Netflix and asked them to remove it. Because it. Uh, it made him feel bad, and they did it. Yeah, but I'll HBO Netflix, bro, that's it. fire. That's sick. That yeah, that's why he Netflix fucks with them. They said, I bet. Yeah, that's sick. Yep. As fuck. Yeah, that's why he fucks that's with so them. Fun. But HBO kept playing it, so he said, yeah, like he told everybody, he's like, yo, don't watch my show. And then the fee the feedback to HBO was so bad they had to pay him. Well, and apparently was, he got well, a whole contract. I think it was mostly Comedy Central. Central. But there's also a very personal mm. wound there for him because after he basically, well, Comedy Central signed him at a really shitty salary. He comes in, he does a season, then the second season they're like, we want to take more creative control. Let's do more racist stuff. He doesn't really like it. He's losing his creative control slowly. He's just on salary. He fights back. And then afterwards, when he leaves, Comedy Central tries to blacklist him because they see him as essentially a nobody. Um, mm -hmm. They spread the rumor that he went to Africa, he went crazy, he did all this stuff, and they try to bury his career. So oh, he has a shit. very personal wound with Comedy Central. The only reason that he came out of it was because there was a guy named Jeff Wills that gave him an opportunity to go on tour because he knew that he could sell tickets. 
So he sold out his entire first tour, and then people started paying attention to Chappelle again. But Comedy Central yeah. almost successfully, well, it, completely blacklisted him. You're 100% so, right. It was, it was, it was Comedy Central, not HBO. Yeah. My mistake. Yeah. He, he, yeah. I he walked away from like $30, $40 million. Of yeah. Yeah. Even, that, even even that so was, like was like part the, of the uh, smear campaign though. That was like part of the smear campaign though. I have a super mm -hmm. legit Dave Chappelle story. I met him one time. It was fucking, really? it was sick. I, yeah. I got a good one too after this. Share it. We were, we'll, we'll give all of our Dave Chappelle we were at, um I, I went to Jimmy Iovine. I don't know if you guys know who Jimmy Iovine is. He, um, he sold beats to Apple with fucking Dr. Dre. He's an absolute legend. He's invested into FaZe Clan. He's family. But I, we went to his wife's birthday party, and this fucking thing was like, I felt like I was a part of the Illuminati. There was, there was fucking, everybody was there. It was so fucking weird. Like, Doc Rivers, fucking Stephen A. Smith. Like, there was just people everywhere. I was like, what the fuck? Dave Chappelle's there, and he was quiet off to the side for most of the night. But then a kind of a, a flip switched for him. He, he clearly was drunk. Starts running around, smacking people in the head with a balloon. Running around, just hitting fucking, like, Doc Rivers in the head with a balloon. Running around. And everyone's like, what the fuck? Dave's fucking crazy. Came over, smacked me in the head with a balloon. I was the only motherfucker who grabbed a balloon, chased him, and smacked him back. So he turned around, he's like... He's like, yeah, I fuck with you. It was tight. Yeah, it was like, but when he was like a little bone. You had a bond. When, you, when he was, when he was <laughs> smacking people, you were kind of like, yeah, hit me two days. Oh, I was so, I was so hyped on it. I'm like, fuck yeah, hit me days. He was fuck, praying man. he hit him with the balloon. Oh, it was yeah. tight. It was tight. He's, he's a real one. He's like a real, he's a real dude. I was filming something um, in LA and this was like, like it was like in that huge period of time where Dave was just gone. Like you hadn't seen mm. him, like season one came out and then it was just like, he was gone and I was filming something. And I'm just like there and there's a lot of people there and I turn around and like Dave Chappelle is walking towards me and I haven't seen Dave Chappelle since like season one. He's got actually Beats headphones on <laughs> and he's fucking jacked. Oh yeah. He so I'm staring at him and I'm like, this is Dave Chappelle. <laughs> but why is he like jacked? He looked like a fucking wrestler. I swear he was huge and he looked like he just came from the gym. He's like jacked up. He's walking and I don't want to be like, Dave Chappelle but like and it's not Dave Chappelle and like so I'm staring at him when he's coming and then as he gets close I'm like that's Dave Chappelle and I get this like it must my face must have lit up because I'm seeing Dave Chappelle and he literally goes like this he walked by me and I'm like well because there was just a lot of people around there was a lot of people if I'm like oh Dave Chappelle yeah, 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 of course, like of it's course. over you know remember so. when Wiz Khalifa randomly got jacked like he was skinny for like yeah. most of his early career, and all of a sudden, he's like, like he starts posting he's pictures. Like he's fucking, he's, yeah, he posted a picture oh, on Twitter and he's dude, fucking ripped. Can I, can I share my Dave story? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, you were next. Okay, I so I I'm at work and I worked at Live Nation in the comedy department, and that guy that I mentioned before, Jeff Wills, that was my boss, and he was like Dave's best friend because he's the one that gave him like an opportunity. Train, do not share this. I'm so fucking ugly. <laughs> but uh, you worked at Live so Nation. I just oh, wasn't this shit. So I walk into work from you my are lunch not ugly break. Bows, okay? I, I walk fucking in. Fine, whatever. It's on my You're Instagram. A beautiful but I walk woman. in <laughs> and my boss is in the lobby and he was like, Hey, uh, Bose, have you met Michael? And I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, hey Michael. And I'm like talking to him for a minute. I'm like, yeah, whatever. And he's like, oh, have you met Thomas? And I'm like, oh, hey Thomas, whatever. Yeah, Thomas fought photographer, whatever. And then my boss is like, yo, have you met Dave? And I fucking turn around and it's Dave Chappelle. That's crazy. So <laughs> and sick. I I fucking freak. I was like, oh my God. So then, because he's such like a close friend of the family, like since then, I've gone to like backstage shows with Dave where like he's just sitting in the back smoking Dijarums and like Aziz Ansari's like in the back, really anxious, doesn't want to talk to any women at all. And like oh, Dave, he'll talk to you like you're a normal person. I remember he just paced around the office and like, just talk to us like we were normal. Yeah. And then I was really anxious and my friend was like, uh, yo, Dave, can she get a picture? And he was like, yeah, of course. Just fucking put his arm around me. I was so happy. You and guys are real dude. Yeah, he signed a little tour thing for me. I was fangirling, but it was really cool. Why did you want to Live Nation? That's so random and cool. Uh, yeah. I was a marketing director there. I've just been in marketing for a long time. And I, I don't know, I, went, I had like a stable job and then did streaming on the side. They must have had a bad 2020, huh? <laughs> oh, I quit in February 2020 and the pandemic hit March 2020.
Yeah, for anybody that doesn't know, Live Nation is like the biggest. They they do the most, the concerts. biggest touring contracts. Yeah, they do the biggest touring. In, I've probably in run any contracts. YouTuber or podcasters tour that you know, <laughs> like out, like crazy. every single one. You guys, you guys got good Dave stories. He told me to shut up, and I didn't even say. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> he told me to shut up on the street. I didn't even say anything to him yet. He's like, shut up, uh, big guy. Yeah, he was like, I don't want to hear anything that's gonna come out of your mouth, and I was like, I already know. I actually saw Jared Leto once, also. Uh, it was uh, it was it was interesting. Um, it was like at Coachella, so I was like fucked up and probably really stinky looking. I heard he's and a weirdo. He's, I heard he's bro. Like big, he's like first weirdo. of all, he had like long straightened hair, and he's wearing like some weird funky gown or something. You know what I mean? And I saw him, and I was just like, oh shit, Jared Leto. And I like walked over like this, like, hey man. And he went. He looked at my hand up, and he went. Mm. And I was like, oh. For sure. Like, I don't even want to touch me. Like, I get it. So then I went like this with my fist. And then he went, uh, and then he put his elbow out. <laughs> wow. And when he put the elbow out, I was like, I don't want your elbow. And that's when I was like, no, we're good. Like, I, like, you just I don't got have the like vibe, this. man. You don't I was like, vibe. high five. I got it. You don't want a high five? Cool. The dog pound? Okay, you don't want it? You're going to give me the elbow? You know what, Jared Leto? I don't want your fucking elbow, bro. Harley, so, like, let's you were just wash it there. That's the thing is like you're a big guy. You think you like, yeah. <laughs> I'm also like I'm like fucked up, so like I'm all like my eyes are like all black. You know what I mean? You probably intimidated like him, I... man. Yeah, he was, intim yeah, he was intimidated. I mean, like I don't guys... know, I just it's just a vibe I got, I guess. Have you guys? Anyway, it's fuck him. Jared Leto has like a cult of women on an island or something. Like <laughs> he has that. He has like a <laughs> camp thing. He has like a yeah. camp thing where he like shows. He shows like you pay a lot of money and you go to like this camp. And he like he 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 visits some of the tents or something and some of the something like that. I heard I saw yeah. I read about it on Reddit and it was like it sounded very culty. I heard some weird. I heard some weird mm. thing. I don't know if this is completely made up. I don't even remember who told me this, but I heard that when he fucks girls, he puts in headphones and like that's, dark sunglasses on and blasts music. That's Leonardo like, DiCaprio. Yeah, that's Leonardo. Okay, I heard that maybe maybe, maybe, <laughs> that is Leo. maybe I'm, maybe I'm <laughs> mixing them up. Maybe I'm mixing them up. Great time. Huh? <laughs> That's Wait, fucking what? sick. That's Fuck like crazy. crazy. That's the yeah, closest weird. you can get. What that's the of, closest you can get to EDM, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> the fuck do you think? You don't put on <laughs> shades and fuck to music like, unless it's studs. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> that's not the vibe. You want to. You want to have like a good cadence. I don't know, you're man. Like, you put on some like Marvin pumping. Gaye or some like. I don't know. No, you know he's going fast. Like, you don't put on sunglasses unless you're gonna be fucking fast. Fandy, yeah, how would you true, how true. would you feel if you were about to like if you're about to go down on a guy and he's like, hold on one second, he just puts his fucking sunglasses and headphones in. Puts I'm like, I <laughs> yeah, how's that, how's that girl gonna react to this? You would go for that? I'd be like, I, nah, yeah. take the glass off. I'm like, you know what? Down here, it's I need a vibe, to go down. You know? I don't know, but it's Leonardo <laughs> fucking Leo, DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah. I'll fuck Leo. I'll fuck Leo. He can wear whatever the fuck he wants. I'll throw it back for Leo, honestly. If I was Leo, no matter who I'm fucking, I don't want yeah. to look them in the eyes 100%. And I don't want them to see my eyes. Shades, EDM, for sure. Absolutely. And I, I respect that. I think that's cool. He's a fucking cool dude. He's my fave. Him I think Andy's right, though. It's a vibe type thing, right? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I could see myself back in the day, right? Like, you know, you know, if she's about it, or not her, but not Fanny, but like, if, if the chick back then is about it, right? Like, <laughs> you put the headphones on, put some glasses on, you know, she's about it, right? Like, there's, like, listen, there, Stop there's. I'm saying she's about it. I'm not about it. No, <laughs> listen, there's. Listen, she's there, about it. There, there is, listen, just like guys, okay? <laughs> Here's what he's saying. Train takes out one headphone and just goes like, "Are you about it?" Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you about it? No, listen. Yeah, just she like, was about it. yeah, just like dudes, right? There are chicks, and th this should be normalized. It shouldn't be like th there shouldn't be this double standard between the two. Just like chicks, there's dudes that they're just there for the hookup and a good time, right? They're not there for a emotional connection. They're not there for anything other than that. It shouldn't be fucking uh, looked down on, right? If anything, all right. Back then, you know, when I was single, I'm about that shit, right? I, you know, you're about I, it. I don't want any right. that bullshit. Well, so okay. I think it's a vibe. Then on the, Tyler, on that note, you know those airplane like kind of little like eye masks that people wear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So say that you were hooking up with a girl. You guys do about a little bit of foreplay for about twelve to fifteen minutes, and then afterwards, she grabs her eye masks and puts it on and puts her headphones on and then tells you to fuck her. Are you just like? 
I'm like, I'm, I'm I'd about probably it. be into some shit like well, that. So no, I mean, that's 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 well, here's well, the I'm thing. Train, train, I'm train, train. train. I think I think I no, 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 real quick, real quick. <laughs> here's the thing, right? That's That would actually make me think that she's dumb. And here's why. If she didn't want to look or see me, just tell me to hit it doggy style, right? It's that fucking simple. Why put on the extra little, uh, you know, airplane fucking mask? Just I'll hit a dog. I mean, you do you guys know what you look like when you? <laughs> kind of a fair point. There's no position. There's no. There's no position a guy can fuck you and not look at you. I mean, there's some weird like porn positions where girls are like on, fucking on their head in a handstand, fucking weird shit. I don't know, but like girls could always, girls could always position in a doggy, handle it that way. Yeah, just don't look at the guy, you know. I think if I was, I think if I was like, if I was fucking a girl and she went and put like a mask on and headphones, I'd probably out loud be like, "I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. Oh, shut it. Whatever you shut want. It. Like, we can it's not like in humor. I don't about. care. <laughs> like, I, I don't shut. care. Like, you could take like I, humor. She'd have yeah, hundred percent. Your fucking pussy stinks. She'd be like, "What? Like, I said you're pretty." <laughs> no, I would you like. Uh, uh, I think, I think, I think. Oh yeah, fuck you, you stupid bitch. She'd be like, "What? Like, you're fucking. This is the best sex ever." All that. Bro, yeah, imagine like, if a chick. The last you know, I think I would care about. Bro, imagine if a chick wanted to like see what you really think about a dance. So, so she puts headphones in, but there's no music playing. <laughs> she's, 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 if I if I had sex with a girl <laughs> and she. If I had sex with a girl and she was like, this is the worst sex I've ever had, I'd be like, I don't care, man. <laughs> that That's not something me. I care about. And I, I don't. <laughs> like, I'm here. Like, I got a perfect record. I come every single time. Like, so if you're not enjoying it, like, I, I'm so sorry. Yeah, like, I'm have so sorry like, for I'm you. Good. Like, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. I I had to I've had, I've had, sex, <laughs> I've had sex with my, I've had sex with my girlfriend. Room. I've had sex with my girlfriend. And I've got off on being like, this is like. <laughs> way better for me than it is for you and i like that part i'm like this is like like oh, this is good like, for you is really awesome i feel like i'm so happy that this is like i'm not you right now because you look much better like this sucks. like i'm having a i'm having a great time and the fact i know you're not having as great a time as i am you know what i mean hey guys not no, to i'm doing your mic it's loud not to fuck up, not to fuck no, up no, the vibe the thing not to oh. fuck up the vibe or anything, but we have a flight at 6 a.m. It's 2 a.m. It's a private I have to cut it here. You tell them when to leave. What? You tell them when to leave. It's your jet. No, no, we have to go. We have to make. Uh, Aiden has to work in Miami for this like uh, TikTok or YouTube fight. We 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 have to hard leave at 6 a.m. Oh, is that this weekend? Yeah, I got to pack and shit. I want to take a shower. My girls on the couch, Who's fucking predictions? tired. Predictions on the fight. All I know is fate, fucking Jarvis phase the fuck up. He's going to beat the shit out of that Michael Lee TikTok kid. I put my fucking dick on it. Any money. Anybody wants to take that bet, Mo? You want to you wanna take some action right now? On, on stream? Yeah, do it. No, do I'll it. Jarvis. I'll take Jarvis. Jarvis is going to whoop that kid's fucking ass, bro. That's all that I know. And that's How all that I'm going to be there for. Up? I'll put an infinite bankroll up every fucking dollar I have. Hold All on, seven crypto it. punks I own. Mo, have you bought a crypto punk yet? I have not, dude. I'm waiting for that. That looks oh, like you. man. So what's, what's that, a crypto Kevin? punk? Yeah, what is it? Like the abs it's like the absolute like Picasso of NFTs. That's really? Yeah, but I thought yeah, it's like the first NFTs ever. already died out, no? Come on, man. What the fuck are you talking about? You guys you guys all you guys do is the fucking internet. Guys, come I bet, like Ready the, Player One. You ever see the movie? Up. You ever see the movie Ready Player One? Yeah. yeah. You guys think that yeah. you guys think that we're moving in that direction? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Oh, no. yeah. Stop, no, we're stop, moving stop. to Mad Max, bro. I'm sorry to say we're moving to Mad Max. Okay, we're, we're not getting, there's, there's, not getting ready, two, player one. You're not getting Star Trek. We're going to fucking Mad Max. There's two times we're, stop, of, we're doing we're a quick pit Max. stop at Blade Runner on the way to Mad Max. It's going to be fast, bro. I know. We're fucked. We're listen, fucked. Listen, 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 okay. listen. And I see people in the chat saying NFT's dead. Now I got to stay for an extra 15 minutes and fucking explain this. There's two types <laughs> of people in the world. And honestly, Harley, that's a fair point. But at that rate, money doesn't matter if, if it's fucking... If we live in a fucking apoc post-apocalyptic society, it doesn't really matter. It's every man for himself. We're going to be hunting again, all that shit. Whatever. That might very well happen. But in the case that we do keep progressively fucking moving toward that Ready Player One shit, then Devin has his fucking, his like virtual home and I have mine, whatever. These fucking original 2017 CryptoPunks, first ever NFTs, freely traded, encrypted, built on the blockchain. I have a crypto punk on my wall in my virtual home. That's going to be the equivalent to a fucking Picasso in the real world. So, yeah. I mean, if you could travel back to the whoa, year whoa, 18. Whoa, whoa, listen, if you could travel to back. You have a virtual home. 
Decentraland. I don't know. There's people. There's. I was just on the. I was just on the. I was just on a yeah. jet mm -hmm. with my boy Olaf. He's the fucking founder of Polychain. He's the first ever. Um, he's the first ever employee of um, Coinbase. This fucking dude is a crypto billionaire, and him and a bunch of other people are working on this as we speak. Okay, and this motherfucker owns a shit ton of. Listen, I tend to listen to people who are smarter than me. And then base what I do off that shit, right? A doctor tells me to fucking eat vegetables and try to stay away from fucking sugar. That's what I do. Because I don't know what the fuck's going on. But that motherfucker sure does, right? So listen, if you could travel back to the year 1860 and buy the fucking Mona Lisa for $30,000, would you do it? Of course you'd fucking do it, right? It's a fucking priceless billion dollar fucking painting. I don't so know. I think you caused you caused a rift in the space time continuum at that point. No one really cares about the Mona Lisa because you bought it back then. You hit it wherever it was. It was never at the Louvre. No one gives a shit about the Mona Lisa as maybe, much. Maybe, it didn't, maybe, you know, maybe. You never caused the space like... time continuum earlier. You said his name is Olaf. And by the way, too, <laughs> NFTs were a fad. Yeah. Fucking Sotheby's just auctioned off, just broke a record, auctioned off one single CryptoPunk, an alien CryptoPunk today for eleven point eight million dollars. I don't right. think right. NFTs are I, I got a question. Yeah. Yeah. I got a question. Right it's absolutely now, not a fad. So, yo, There's no, no evidence Mo, Mo, of Mo, that. Yeah. Yeah. I got. A, I got Mo, a question. Mo, wait, wait, wait. I want to ask Mo a question. Mo, what, what's you that? come from CS:GO, Stewie. Yeah. How am I back here? CS:GO skins. Yeah, we were, part, we were a Talk part of the first F I I say that CSGO skins genuinely are the first ever true like NFT. It's not built on the blockchain, whatever, but it's a freely traded digital item. It has no real life value. I got I got fucking, Listen, Mo, Mo, you can't grab your dragon lore through the screen and take it to fucking school with you. That's, it's on a fucking me, screen. Homie. Right? Right? But we yeah. were fucking I got a, we I got a question though. We were throwing those shits on fucking on CSGO Gamble for fucking for fucking 15 racks a piece. We were fucking, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, that's Thanks. real you, shit. You got to help me out here for a second. Yes, I want to sell. I want to sell my entire YouTube library. Every hey. video, it's a thousand videos. Hey. Some of them are like, you know, hey. like YouTube you legendary videos and control of my entire company. I want to sell that all in an NFT. Can I do that? <coughs> My whole company, my entire library. Like enough could, of this could, bobo could, shit little like pictures. Like let's go all. No, no. The whole, of your nah, company through. All of those are, I, those I, are I've two seen these NFT numbers. I've seen these NFT numbers. I'm saying even like a I'll big buy it NFT. Off you. All of I'll it. Let's it do it. I'll ten, buy it. Ten, meal time ten, right ten, ten, ten mil, I'll, ten mil. I'll dump 100K into it. I'll dump 100K into it. Hire motherfuckers and make the world's largest cheeseburger, the world's no, no. biggest piece of pizza, dollars? and farm yeah. YouTube videos. Listen, you hook it up, you get a little kickback, a little finder's fee, 10 mil, the entire library, one NFT, access to all of it. One NFT, the whole, all the videos, bro. Just sell your you know Big Dick Slingers. Tell them right now. Be like, yo, you can get a legendary YouTube channel on the entire thing. Not a picture, bro, and I'm not trying to sparse it out to get more money. I'm just going to do a one-shot <laughs> 10 mil, my entire library. A before, you get into the NFT, before you get into the NFT realm, I would say I would say beef up the fucking IP a little bit first, right? Maybe hire a few people, maybe dump some money into it, just do some out of pocket he viral shit. He Bro, you bought, he wants you bought a single picture. How beefed up is that picture that you bought, that NFT? I want to know how beefed up that is. I'm coming, you know how many pictures I ever. got in every ever. video? Uh, the, the first, first ever, ever was historic shit, bro. Christie's and stuff. So, so think about this, shit, dude. Shit, the first Thanks. ever, the I first ever it? company sold and I'll, I'll link you. I'll this link you. Be, my, this, is the this is the tell, PR tell splash right here. Mo, yeah, stop interrupting Mo. me. You're not buying this fucking picture. I got you on the dragon. You're not buying shit. Look at Stewie. Look at Stewie. He's looking him up too right now. He's looking up a little bit. Yeah, see, oh, oh. shit, my Cisco <laughs> boys know what's up. That's what's up, baby. That's what's up. I'm throwing it out there. You get here a thousand videos, 10 mil. That's the NFT. First ever entire company sold as an NFT. The but first wait, one. Carly, what, in, this, in this concept that you're talking about, are you talking about completely privating all of the videos and this person would own this as it's like a personal thing? That's up to them. That's up to them. They can do about they but can do whatever just they want. Like selling a company, essentially. No, yeah, it's, it's an two NFT. products. Yeah, and that, it, like, just... that's buying a picture. Come on, it's an NFT. It's not but a but NFT. you just like, on a blockchain. Would you, would you, you like so? There's two Tim different Mill? products here, right? One product is equity in the company, which is like a whole thing, and then there's the idea of selling the videos, and that's an NFT. Like an NFT is like not necessarily like a physical transfer of ownership. It, it could just be like, um, 
fuck, how do you describe it? Like, like, if you wanted to put together, like, ten of the top moments from Epic Mealtime. You as, don't like, have an to NFT. do that. You don't know. Okay, listen, anything listen, listen. anything can on, be on, sold as an on. NFT. Can anything can be yeah. sold as an NFT. Let me jump in real quick because we've actually experimented and talked about, and I'll be completely open and transparent. I don't think this is what we're going to do or even ever dabble into this. I actually don't know what the regulations stop or let you do when it comes to this. But the idea of, like, let's just use FaZe as an example, FaZe Clan. If we came out with an NFT whatever we did we have a really cool artist design something whatever a physical token built on the blockchain that only one person can own at a time and attached it to some form of ownership in phase shares a few shares whatever so that when you bought that it was attached to actual shares and shared ownership in the company so that physical token now represents it's like a plaque on the wall right when you walk into a studio roddy rich's studio you see all roddy rich's plaques on the fucking wall and it's a display a physical display of oh shit this motherfucker went platinum this motherfucker dropped a song and went platinum i'm looking at the plaque right now like that's just information that's displayed in a physical form so you could easily do something with like a digital asset too and that's 100 percent. you could actually sell a thousand videos as a single nft you could yeah, do yeah that. for sure what i'm talking sure. about is and i'm just saying but fuck it at that point you can just own the company who cares about the owning the company part i'm just throwing that in there as a fucking bonus no one gives a shit about that. Like you bought, you bought like, you know, the picture, you didn't buy like any, anything to do with the artist. It's just the picture. So the fact that I'm throwing in the company in there, that's just like for jokes. You know what I mean? I don't, if you don't want it, fuck it. I'll keep it. I would love to keep it, but you get a thousand videos, one NFT who bought an entire YouTube channel NFT. No one. That's the splash yes. right there. Might be too high concept. I don't know, Baze, uh, Faze. I thought you were on the level. Baze, Never mind. I thought, I thought... No, 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 no. Yeah, that's funny. Um, no, but. I mean, why no, is someone, reason. why are someone people saying that it's not making sense? It 100% makes it, they're sense. They're saying it's not making sense because you'd have to transfer equity. Like the, the, your equity in a company is governed by no. the, no, the that's state. Bonus. Exactly. Like I said, that's not, that's not the NFT. That's just, uh, that's like, I literally, I own the company. I'm just giving it to you for jokes. Just remove okay. that part for a second. But, but, You're buying a okay. thousand, a thousand YouTube videos in one NFT. Yeah, okay, so, oh, okay, you could easily do that. Yes, that makes perfect sense. And I'm but just somebody, throwing in the oh, company somebody, so that it's oh, like somebody, a, okay, like, right, right. Uh, you said $10 million, right? You attach a number like that to an NFT and they get every all this, whatever. They need to see the value long term in that. For somebody to buy that, they would have to then go and like do the ROI. Make, make, yeah, no, make, no, there's no, there's the no value long term. Bro, this is NFTs. That's, There's no value long term. It's a collector's item. I went and I buy a LeBron James signed jersey yeah. and I put it on my wall. I'm not like this LeBron James jersey necessarily the value. It's important to me. Oh, no, let's no, say, that's not actually. Yeah, I, not collect, wait, I collect it. things. It's James, not have you thought of it items. at all in the There's sense of like if Harley were to private every single video and then sell it as an NFT and then now that person that owns it has access, the only access to every Epic Meal Time video. In theory, I feel like I kind of get what he's saying there. I mean, there's obviously well, I, I the replication. What, what, what Banks is saying, though, is it, uh, person, people collect things because they expect it to appreciate in value. So there's still an ROI transaction there, right? It's not necessarily true. I collect well, things. Well, is that what you're saying, Banks? Well, listen, listen. At the end of the day, when you, if you acquire something, what you just said about the LeBron jersey actually is not necessarily true. There's people buying LeBron James rookie cards right now with the expectation that in 20, they'll 30 go up years, in price. They'll yeah. be a million dollars. They're spending a fifty thousand dollar bag. A lot yes, of collectors don't buy because of that. A lot of collectors don't buy because they think of the well, money of it. They buy listen, it because they just want it on their wall. I have to disagree. I have to disagree. Now. Most listen, no, no, no. Most collectors, when you collect one, of, let's just use basketball. Um, basketball let's use art. Let's game. use limited. Well, let's edition use art. art. Okay. Let's, I, let's, I buy that art. myself. I have a lot yeah. of them. And I have no intention of ever selling them for my entire life. I don't care what it's okay, worth. Okay, okay, okay. I know it's, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But you, you recognize that that's, there's an actual value attached to the art that you collect, right? Yeah, of and course. If an art piece, and if an art piece popped up that you really fucking wanted to have, you didn't have the liquid fucking funds to actually purchase it, and you wanted to maybe trade two of your pieces, trade up, and acquire a piece of art that you've always fucking wanted. You want to see it in your house so fucking bad. It's your favorite piece of art of all time. And you yep. trade that value, right? It needs to hold yep. value is what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But, well, and, so and, I'll and, tell you this. No, no, if no, I, so, if, so, I, so if there's a piece of, okay. I was going to say, if there's a piece of art that I like very much so, and it's worth less than the art that I have in my possession, I will trade down to get yeah. what I want. 
yeah, even course. though the value is down because no, no, it depends just, what type of collector you are. We're talking about value, the people that collect. I'm just questioning the $10 million value really at the end of the day. And anybody else would too, right? I mean, I made that LeBron, number up. Biggest, I made that number I know, up. The biggest LeBron James in the fucking fan in the world might have all his fucking jerseys, rookie shit, high school shit, all that shit. But he's not going to fucking buy like a used LeBron James condom for fucking $20 million because the value in that. No, but he might, you know pay, mean, he might pay an amount for that. He yeah, was paying an amount for an that. Amount, There's a collector. An no, an amount, but I'm questioning the 10 million. You, you have to, like, what I'm saying is the value, like, you have to, like, attach a legit value to your fucking thing that people can make sense of in their brain. Mm-hmm. Like, that's all I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. No one, but you have to understand. Let's take that for a second. Make sense of in their brain. Nobody, literally 99% of the world cannot make sense of the purchases of NFTs. A lot of people can't make sense of the NFT which that is you're all the more talking reason, about. Which is all the fucking more reason to buy. Yeah. Mo, hold on, time out, time out. Okay, so how do you Mo, downplay Mo, one, wait, but not wait, downplay wait, the no, other? Stop, stop, stop. You said something, you said something, and I need to respond to it. Mo, what percentage of the world under, even knows what a dragon lore is? One, less than uh, Zero, uh, point point zero 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 one percent oh, I'll tell you something, Harley. What Mo, you're Mo, saying Mo, is wait, wait, hold on. If I went to my fucking grandma, Mo, Mo, if I went to my grandma fucking five years ago and said, I'll sell you this dragon lore, explained it all to her, I'll sell you this dragon lore op for fucking 50 bucks. She'd tell me to fuck myself. I was an idiot. It's a picture on a screen that has no value. But Mo, did it have value? Was there yeah. real fucking value? Yeah. Exactly. I think, I think which, is why why what, which is yeah, why no, this NFT shit, which is why the best position you can that? ever be, listen, the best position you can ever be in business is when you know something that most people don't know. But that's that's my only argument. That's, that's, that's the sure. best yeah. fucking that's position. That's an excellent be. vague but, statement. But, 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 that's but, no, it's not, an, it's not a vague It's a broad it's a statement, truth. of course. It's a broad statement, but it still doesn't explain but why you would spend so much money on some of these NFTs. Because Harley, I'm explaining to you. I'm it's, explaining you. Supply, I'm buying supply and demand too, Harley. Like there's people. I, I know. I understand why. I, I I understand. No, I got I got into like, crypto like, very you're early. Right. You're I understand. Right. I've been following 1%. the NFT thing. I'm Listen. just saying that, like right. you know, any you can no. make an NFT of anything you want. Okay. So okay. I'm you like, got caught okay, up okay, on that no. picture. You got caught up on that picture because you said it's the first. That's the first. Let me, you were let me, hyped let me about speak. that. Can, can I respond to what you just said? Of course. You yeah, made yeah, a fair course. point. You can make an NFT out of anything. I can take a picture of my nutsack and sell it as an NFT and tell you it's worth something, right? Just like in the regular traditional art world, that's the example we're using. You have Picassos on this side, and then you have fucking framed Bugs Bunny fucking like like um, posters that you can buy at Walmart for two dollars. They're both art, right? Would you disagree? So with that's that? the thing. You could sell your nuts as an wall. NFT. You different no, content no, creators the Bugs so Bunny, make a lot of money off of that. The Bugs Bunny has to be unique. If we're talking NFTs, then it has to be unique. A Bugs Bunny at Walmart is not comparable to an NFT because it's no. not unique. Oh, that's not. What do you mean? You can sell. You can sell an NFT and have it be okay, okay, limited, so unlimited. So- so it's all limited but numbers. Are but when you're too, buying, you when you're understand. when you're yeah. buying something an NFT, you are buying a unique item, a non-fungible. No, you're not. Token. No, you're not. It means it's no, you're not. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, you own that. Just like if I go to Walmart, I own that one Bugs Bunny poster, and nobody else owns it. I own. What it. makes that? House. What makes that unique one? It doesn't. No. Here's what we're I mean. You could take I any. Take, you could take I five Bugs Bunny ones and bring it to your home. Exactly. Think, NFTs well, is point. a one of one. The metadata no, inside not, of it makes it a one of one. Okay, I'll tell you something. You could have multiple NFTs of the same thing, and they're different, like addition. Like you could have twenty-five of one certain thing. And, but my point but is what this, makes them each unique? No, they no, each no, are unique. The there's NFTs that have literally zero zero value, like like mm-hmm. anything else in life. The value is only attached to what the public perceives it as value. The value like, is what is the public my, will pay for it. Why did a watch? I bought a watch for 20 grand. It's worth 50 grand now a year later. Why did that happen? Yes. I don't yes. know. I didn't do yes. shit to it. I'm, I, I, th- that's what I'm trying to say. You can start. You can gain information about watches, start to fucking do your homework and predict like all oh, that, that green face Rolex. The last time Rolex dropped a green face, the, the, the fucking, the value of it tripled in two years. I'm going to buy that green face Rolex and maybe that'll happen. If not, I have a fucking Rolex that I like. Cause I like watches anyway, Harley, this is, I'll leave you guys with this. This is the, the last thing that I'll say about it. What you said is absolutely correct. Less than 1% of people on the planet understand what an NFT even is, let alone a crypto punk. I see values in crypto punks where you're not seeing it, and that's completely fine. That's not true. Every, I'm, I'm having many, the discussion. Up, I'm up, fully okay, aware fine. of crypto punks. Yeah. I just wanted to point out. I was aware yeah, okay. when you bought the crypto punk. I saw you people... log in right away. It's a big flex. I see it immediately. I understand that. Mm-hmm. 
How many but, people? How many people on the planet when Picasso was painting his paintings knew what a Picasso was? Zero, right? Over yeah, time, yeah. over time, now we live in a, on on Earth in 2021. How many people know who Picasso is? Everybody on the planet, yeah. right? Right. That's where the value comes in is the masses understanding and getting hooked in and getting involved and wanting that and desiring and people that. capitalizing so, on it. So and I'm capitalizing. It I'm capitalizing on the fact that nobody knows what this is yet. I'm buying yeah. them. I think that NFTs and crypto and fucking VR, mm -hmm. AR, all, I don't think I'll it's going you. anywhere. I, I, I 100% agree. I put a lot into crypto every single week for the last seven years. I've been buying crypto every yeah. single week. So I'm saying I understand. I'm just, I just want to, I just want to point yeah. out that like your NFT is a one of one. Well, that's because it's a crypto punk, yeah. Right, yeah, but yeah. NFTs, when you buy that NFT, there is one of that NFT. If Not you buy always, a GIF no. of LeBron James dunking or something, that is a one NFT. Or you have like what? You're saying there's like a series of five, but each yeah, one of yeah, those yeah. numbers, it's one like, of five is different well, from yeah, two yeah. of five. They yeah, are yeah, two yeah, different. Yeah. They might be the same picture, but they each oh, have their the own bug, number. The, yes, Bugs yes, Bunny, yes. the Bugs Bunny posters are all uniquely different because they're literally different physical things, right? Like this only one, if okay. one, no, only that's not true. They have to be on, special. Hold on, hold on, there has to be something Harley, that makes it unique. There's two crunched up water bottles, same brand water bottles here. Are these the same thing or are these two different things? The reason why that's a bad comparison is because those two are crunched up differently, whereas a Bugs okay. Bunny poster I, is the I same thing. I actually agree with you. Uh, yeah. So let's use these shot glasses. <laughs> let's use the shot glasses instead. Yes. Are these different items or are they the exact same? One item? was one was drank out of by FaZe Banks. The other one was drank out of by Aiden. Those are two different, with two different values. Exactly. You're, but they exactly. are two. They're the, they look the same, but they're each different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. They're each different. Just, I agree. Just like the NFTs, you have a series of one of a hundred something. All of them are different. You're right. The metadata, it's unique. You yeah. can see who owns it. You can see who's previously owned it. But at the end of the day, they it's all like, look exactly the same. Har Harley, the NFTs exist like that. There's right. something called NBA Top Shot where it literally it just clips. I, my friend bought the LeBron right? James yeah. one. The uh, LeBron <laughs> James gift. Those Shout shot, out Yoda. Those highlights, those highlights, it's one of like 5,000. And what they do to give them more value is they go, okay, for LeBron James, the 23rd out of 5,000 highlights is going to be the best one. You know why? Because that's his jersey number. So they just attach these values to it. And the, um, if the world agrees but to see it. See that? But that makes, even though they're, that's my point. I was saying that makes that one unique. Yeah, that's I'm, a I'm unique saying, one. But, but, that was but, what my point was even about that. If you that. have one of the exactly. five thousand, there's still value in it. It might not be as valuable. But uh, like to to just talk about what Bain said, I could see value in NFTs with people like like Phase, for instance. Like if they come out with their Phase Crypto Punch uh, something where they're at, they, they have their own limited edition Phase members as Crypto Punch. That to me could have value. That's something I would buy but i would only buy because i would think in the future it's going to be worth more i wouldn't just buy it or at least hold its value it. or yeah. at least hold its i don't want to buy it to just because i want to stare at a fucking crypto punk of mo and stewie mo and stewie mo and stewie just like how fucking cs skins had floats and there was fucking minimal exactly. wear and fucking exactly. factory new and certain you had that um the pink panther what 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 gun was that mm. it was like the um the pink panther ak you had to have that fucking i buy power sticker right on the fucking panther's head like there's yeah. all these little different things that you can like that make things special. It's just like, and that's digital. The value is determined by what someone pays for it. 100%. That's the only thing yeah, but, that determines the value. value. Not what value someone aside feels it's worth. And like all the profits that you, but like, I feel like we're talking so much about like our profits and like what this person gets and whatever. But have you also considered how this opens up an entirely new market for artists who have been like struggling for literally a hundred fucking years? Absolutely. I know, so I know I artists like that have blown up now. Yeah, and almost, and this is a huge market that's going to grow for a very long time. And I feel like people devaluing NFTs, like if it's not for you, it's not for you. But this is a really big avenue for new artists. And the other 100%. thing is, as soon yeah. as somebody in engineering or something creates a explosive way to display NFTs yes. that yes. we can't see yet, like yes. imagine buying an entire experience and somebody in their house has a yeah. projector of a thing yeah. that yeah. doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah. So yeah. when yeah. that click on happens, the wall and see if it's a real one, that's the difference right. between NFTs, so, which actually make it, which actually makes it a little bit more interesting. Than so that's when you can, what go we up, you, can, you can go up and click it and see if it's real, like because of the metadata. 
or, I mean, or just connected. just yeah. the way that it's displayed. So you guys are talking about how there's this less than 1%, but what it takes is a couple of highly influential people believing in something, and then it blows up, and then we get the engineer or whatever that makes the mm. huge display for how to make these more useful, and now we go from 1% to 10%, and then we get the to trouble, 15% and yes, 20%, yes. and the, the people trouble that invested that, in that 1% are gonna really, yes, really profit. Yes, because now the, now the demand is so much greater naturally it's going to be greater the, every the, day someone every day the, um the co-founder of DraftKings just found out what CryptoPunks was and this guy obviously is super <laughs> fucking wealthy right and he went off and bought fucking 10 like super legit crypto bunks and he just found out what they were a week ago and he he's hooked he wants them he wants to collect them he believes in them that's an additional fucking an additional it, person in the market crazy my, my, it really is the cs skin sorry sorry Devin. yes and that's really okay, yeah, I, I, like, skins in the, to the world it's really what it is my, my we're, job we're that is, crazy. is that the um there's no guarantee that the the platform that Bose like envisions, which I think will exist too, there's no guarantee that it uses those NFTs as a baseline. Maybe it uses its own. Maybe like Dude, something else comes along. Like, they're, they're like Devin, right, that's my that's my issue with it. Devin, yeah. if the platform for NFTs was almost a social media platform where people could show off their high ranking mm -hmm. NFTs, that's it. It's fucking yeah. done. Like, 100% like agree. One. That's but it's, it's, Devin, Devin, it's not Devin, clear. To what, you're, to what you're saying, to what yeah. you're saying is, for a long time you couldn't just uh, open C is one of the most popular sharing of like NFTs, right? It's one I of know. the most popular sites of share. So for a very long time you actually couldn't view CryptoPunks because they were made so long ago on mm. OpenC. Now you can wrap your CryptoPunks and display them on OpenC, and it's not actually supported on OpenSea, but you can click it and then, it, you know what I mean? And see that it's so what I'm saying is, so, so banks, like what I'm saying is like, um, where is the, where, what blockchain is this stored on? Do you know, ERC. is it Ethereum? ERC, yeah. Ethereum, okay. So, Ethereum. so, so what if in 10 years, Ethereum isn't even a thing and, and like some crypto labs, like Cardano Lar beats it. Larva Labs has no, has, Larva Labs so, has absolutely no, um, allegiance to fucking, to Ethereum. They could easily wrap it in Bitcoin, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but that isn't it, isn't it a separate, as long as you, as long as you, as long as you believe, at that point, right? no, no, David, no, no, no it you is. could change that I don't, I, I, you, I you don't can. know. And, 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 and yeah, issue tokens, and, it, and it'd be the same thing. So you could essentially transfer them to a different platform. And it would be the same NFT, the same product I bought. Okay. Yes. Are you sure? Are you yeah. sure about that? Yes. Yes, yes bro. Yes. I would yeah. All the way then, back. That's the whole thing. It, it would show the fucking history the, the, of the product. Yeah. It yes. was wrapped and moved. I over. thought you can't do that. Yeah. No, and no, then, you can. Yeah. You, so, you can go from platform. You can go on from the Ethereum to platform to like say the fucking. That doesn't make sense to me. Platform. If it's written into a blockchain, how would you? Devin, unless Devin, you set Devin, up a smart Devin, contract Devin, beforehand. Devin, 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 Devin. Coinbase. Devin, I can move a hundred thousand dollars U.S. dollars worth of Ethereum to Bitcoin in two seconds, right? Uh, yeah, but that's a di but, but that's now it's thing. not. But the it's NFT not is written it's... physically into a blockchain, and an NFT oh, is is a smart contract it's written still... into the ERC twenty network. So, so if you were to transfer it over to Cardano, in theory, you couldn't do it unless that was written into the smart contract. Yeah, so, so I don't know, but that was that was my train of thought as well. Yeah, exactly so, so, so yeah, yeah Devin, this is what would happen, right? If the DRC twenty contract is gonna be like. Everything's going to upgrade over time. Even Bitcoin itself is going to be under a, a different, uh, because eventually, you know, I, I don't, I'm, without getting too like nerdy about this, there's something called qu uh, quantum computing that's happening, and essentially, all the old wallets in the world—it's going to break apart be every, hacked. yeah, every, yeah, every so hash. What's yeah, yeah, going to yeah. happen is everyone in crypto is going to advance naturally to the new crypto, yes. and all of us are going to get upgrades to all our crypto, assuming we're yeah, still in the scene and doing it. So. All these will be transferable into another way, a safer way that's unhackable. I don't but know if that's that right. You, no, that you have to do that, and you are you are exchanging. But you are exchanging, and it's not upgrading. You're Hang making on, that change. Devin, yes, Devin, yeah, you're changing true. one for the other. Hey, no, listen, no, I've, I've put. I will replace the one in a way because the other, the the one that you had won't exist anymore. We're kind of targeting circles now. Listen, Devin, I'll just, I'll, we can wrap this up with Yeah, this. yeah, I'm just curious. Well, you ain't I, fucking I, leaving I, till I get my 10 mil. Stop saying you're leaving, bro. You're not no, fucking no. going anywhere. Okay, I won't, I won't leave, leave, but like, as far as this subject goes, again, Devin, I'm not going to pretend like I know every little intricate detail of how this shit works, mm -hmm. but I've obviously put a lot of money into this shit, and I've talked to all the right people about it, and people who live, eat, breathe this shit, and I, you know what I mean? They're completely confident in it. That's at the end of the day, the people, the big crypto billionaire, millionaire fucking type people are the ones collecting this shit now and buying them all up. And it's mm -hmm. for a reason. And they believe that 
Dude. the longevity of these things. They believe that they'll be relevant. Yeah. It's still Even a shareable. I know you spend a lot of time around people years. that know their shit, for sure. Yeah. I, I, I was just more curious so about it from a technical I, standpoint. I, I, I just want to know how it works. I don't know the tech. Yeah. I'm not a, I'm, I think yeah. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. I, I'm an art collector. Don't I think that. shit's super don't cool. Don't say that. <laughs> I'll, I'll say something, though. Like, if, if CS Ghostkins could have the value that they had and have the market cap that they had back then with no one knowing about it, then I could easily see NFT nfts yeah. being bigger because more of the world knows what nfts are than cs ghostkins are there's a major difference in using the csgo comparison Why? okay because it's easy to look in hindsight knowing that csgo has made it and remained relevant and successful 10 years later exactly right? this like, is like, my, yeah. there's way too many no, variables no no wait wait wait, 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 wait. there's too the many variables no csgo skins Listen, even if you don't know about CSGO, CSGO skins, you can come to CSGO right now and there's a universal use for the cosmetics when you play the game that is relevant. If CSGO dies tomorrow, all of your shit will crash with it. Sure, within the smaller community, will it be tradable? Will people pay a certain price? But it's, n yes, but you're in the greater right. scope of things, you've glass ceilinged it and now you're fucked. There's too many you're variables right. that that's are no, unaccounted that's, for. That's where NFTs that's the issue. got it right as opposed to fucking CSGO skins. CSGO skins utility is capped. Tapped at CSGO, and you're absolutely right. If CSGO died limited. tomorrow, it's limited. Whereas the NFTs are not limited. Yeah. If CS, so I want to ask you guys this real quick. I, I, so I'm going to ask you this. So imagine someone decided to buy a train uh, uh, NFT of a clip, right? And then the next day I decided to go become a fucking murderer and kill everybody, right? That unaccountable variable of me being human and fucking up, wouldn't that crash the NFT entirely? Like, that it would, it would go make up, it go train. up. It would go yeah, up. It would, go up. That would make it go up. It might. Uh, I, no, no, am I, am I, look, look, okay, my, listen, 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 we can use yeah, Michael we'll Jackson as an example. Michael, ja Jesus. Michael Jackson fucking collectibles and shit like that. Obviously, he's a fucking, he, whatever, got caught up, maybe potentially touching little kids, being that, a fucking That was creep. alleged. That was never proven. That's I alleged. know, I know. I said potentially. Not, allegedly. That's... I said potentially. Whatever. But I don't know what that did to the value of his shit, but of course that shit can happen. Of course that shit can happen. I, I mean, I anything can really happen. The, I just believe the kid, it. The kid to that me, said, I the kid... The, Oh, okay. The, I to me, I feel the main discrepancy that's happening is that there are some people that are stuck into the present of NFTs and not seeing the future of it. Yes. Because yes. I swear to God, the minute that somebody creates a platform, like a social platform, where people's NFTs are yeah. ranked, like you're for example, about here's like a team inventory. That's yeah, like doing. exactly. Yeah. And, and it says like you know, banks. Here are his eight NFTs ranked from Highlights, the most expensive show, to least. Show items. Yep. Right. And so then when banks has this number one NFT for years that's worth you know fucking a hundred thousand dollars and everyone sees the banks has this and people are like yo let me buy that let me buy that let me buy that well now this is worth hundred and ten thousand dollars and when you add social pressure and social want to things like this it's astronomical like to you guys it's not real but when you add that want of like oh i own that nft that banks had for eight years that he wouldn't let go of it, it's it's worth a lot more, more than you're anticipating. And the, and the more and more people spend on the internet and inside the fucking metaverse, the more relevant these things are going to be. And as yeah. utility gets added, like you said, <laughs> if we ever do live in a Ready Player One type universe, meta metaverse, and Devin has a house and I walk into his house and there's a crypto punk on the wall, it's the same thing in the virtual world as if there's a Picasso on the wall. This is just I new age. There's, uh, there's no question to me that, that what Bose like is saying, well, there, there's no question to me that what Bose is saying is, is going to happen. What I'm saying is it is it going to be on the platforms that currently exist? Is, is it going to be an ERC-20 like, token? You may have bought, it, you may have yeah. bought, you may have yeah. bought an NFT on MySpace, but Facebook isn't out yet. Like you might yeah. be on the MySpace yeah, level, but you might buy about, into the and, big one. Like there might mm, be something after Ethereum. It's a poor, it's a poor example because I could use my same profile picture on MySpace as I do on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I could flex. Well, I could post. You can't play on, music on, stop, on your stop, profile stop, on Facebook stop, like you stop, can stop, on MySpace. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, that's. I mean, yeah, that's a fair point. We're talking in circles now. I, listen, obviously, I'm in. Banks, I have a question. Listen, I can post a picture of me driving my new Rolls Royce. Look at me. I'm in a Rolls yeah. Royce on MySpace. And sure, MySpace sucks now. Nobody uses it. But now I can post that same picture of me in the Rolls Royce. Look at my Rolls Royce on Facebook, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like the idea, What's right? What's stopping people from copying? So, so like, so let's metadata, say. Metadata, bro. It's built on so, the blockchain. So, you, can't, you can't replicate okay, it. Okay, so, yeah. so, so let me ask this. What if somebody no, goes in, it, What if somebody goes in NFTs my one of my most popular clips? 
What, what happens then? How do I go? Oh, so that that's actually an issue. That's that, an issue, yeah, is that it is not? Yeah. yeah. Can no, everyone not take your shit? Issue. So so earlier. No, 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 that's, so, that's so, absolutely. So, an issue. so real quick. So earlier, we were hearing the high roaded arguments. I use high roaded because I'm a little salty of how much it's helping and expanding for the artists and artists that are unknown, but. Wouldn't we be in a worse situation uh, uh, than people stealing music? We'd be in a situation where people can rip their art and well, literally steal it. Nobody's going to buy and no artist is going to get their own the shit. Nobody's right? going to buy there the Trainwrecks NFT if it's not vouched from by Trainwrecks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no one's going to buy that. It's actually, it's actually more That's not true. Protected. That's not true. No, no, That's no stop, stop. No, 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 no. One example. One example. Thanks. Thanks. One example. And as soon as I sign that contract, I won't speak. Okay. Listen. Shit. Okay. Listen. Here, here, here's the issue. I've, I've proved to uh, why people would buy it, okay? Right now, there is literally a fucking site that is ripping not only my merch, but every streamer's merch on Twitch.tv. From me to Lyric to Summit to Chance. Lincoln all of us, all of us have said it is a scam. It is not us. It's some fucking site that does it. And you go on there and you can actually see there are tens of thousands of people who are buying this merch and none of us have vouched for it so this idea that we need to vouch for it to be sold is hold it's on, wrong no, no no you're you're, it, you're right i mean right? in the sense of collectibles uh, but, though hold on hold on i can fake lebron i can try to fake lebron james's yeah. signature on a jersey right i mean these things are an issue in the real world too and as far as selling your merchandise like your physical like hoodies t-shirts on a website this stuff also happens you, you can mm. go to like pop-up shops i've seen phase merch on like random pop-up shops in santa monica amazon yeah i've literally yeah. walked past the here store and like what the fuck that's a phase logo my <laughs> the, yeah the difference here is like if you bought if you bought a train wrecks t-shirt if you bought a train wrecks t-shirt the, the point for the person might just be to be like, I want to represent that I like yeah. train wrecks. I want to let people know I like train wrecks and I'll pay two bucks to do that. But if you sold your shirt autographed, <laughs> let's say, no one's going to pay. Like if you, if it was a marked up price on your site, but you sell autographed train wrecks shirt and someone else is selling autographed train wrecks shirt, but, but it's not actually Holly, you. But don't you think, not but I, I, I got to interrupt you there. I'm so sorry to be so rude and uh, ignorant. No, no, do good. it. Yeah, I got to Here's why. So, so we keep yeah. talking. So listen, here's the issue I have, okay? And this happens all the time whenever things are looking good. We only talk about the positives of a futuristic world, right? We're already in an area where deep fakes are a serious real thing. By the time mm. we get to a, a, a player one world, believe me, a manipulation of my signature is literally going to take one click of a fucking button. And that's signaturally more realistic than my own signature. You understand? So like the, all these little things are given me. The future has a solution uh, uh, for, and like th that's the, so there needs to be oversight. What I'm saying is, if this can yeah, be successful, well, we need oversight. You can't approach the future scared like that, though. You gotta yeah, act right. like you can't be scared. Yeah. There's actually, gonna be a way actually, to work I actually around think information and metadata actually helps protect that shit more than anything. But if, it, if it, we it can does. connect, like that, that's the whole point of a blockchain is that it codes something yeah. unique onto it. But that is also what defeats this because the the, the problem is that if and I, I was looking this up now um, while we were talking, you can't move something off of the blockchain. I was right. <laughs> so so if if something if something yeah, as, uh, if an uh, NFT starts as an ERC twenty token, it can't be moved to Cardano or anything else. It stays there. So if Ethereum goes out of style or gets replaced by a better technology, assuming that it can't that actually will develop faster, Ethereum will be another version of Ethereum which. Will be able to maybe or maybe no, uh, maybe no, an entirely can different be replaced network by, exactly. in five or ten years you yeah, can't it can know be that. replaced entirely by something um, yeah. else yeah i mean yeah. i mean it's like saying okay i understand it's like saying about. ethereum could be altavista.com no one is searching for anything on altavista.com it was important one day and now it's literally not something anyone will ever use that could happen to any of these cryptos here's all i know uh yeah when, but that's the crypto problem when do general, i get my own crypto punk. problem i, I want to train yeah, tv right. crypto punk Okay. Hey Banks, uh, I want to train Rex TV crypto pong. What is that? Like a little plushie? Is that what it is? Look, watch him sell some shit for a whole bunch of money and then him be all about it. Hey, I mean, I've already done it. I've already flipped. I've already made money on this. Get me, this listen, shit, so. get, get uh, me a little. Uh, this, this for me is a long term play, but it's like. I have a question. No troll, okay? Could I, could I NFT a bag of cocaine? Yes. I mean, you could add, you could add if, can you take a picture of a bag of cocaine? No, no, what I'm saying wall? is, yeah. I call it Trainwreck TV's Booger Sugar. Just like that, one picture only. This is what yes. made my streaming. It's better if you make an actual design, like actually Good. have someone make a Why design is that better? You. Why? Because it, it, it looked like people would be more inclined to give it That's value. That's just your opinion. Sorry, real quick. Holy fuck. Whatever chance one. 
it, because it, because Ethereum is a public network. Uh, sorry, just real quick. I'm I don't want to like hardcore say that you can or can't move it. I need to do like a fucking shit ton more research. Holy shit, this is complicated. Because because since ERC twenty is, is a public right. network, maybe you can actually uh, import yeah. or export things in the future on it. So I don't want to make a statement on that. I I don't know what the fuck well, I'm talking I mean, about. Yet. I think again, like I said, Devin, really I know. actually don't yeah. know either. No, I, I, I think we all. But 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 like thanks, like what you're saying, like that like the people that you're hanging that you fuck with are like that's that in of itself is a big fucking thing because like I, I, when, I when these who guys who eat live and breathe this shit and they fucking like you know what i mean like when they're telling me dude this shit get in now spend as much money as you want to fucking spend like get in this shit now it's legit mm. you know what i mean yeah when they're saying that and they they fucking you know what i mean they've been doing this shit since 2010 most people didn't even know what fucking crypto a bitcoin was you know what I mean? to, to be really fair to you there. banks to be fair to you if someone came to me uh, uh like 20 years ago saying yo man there's this new shit out, Bitcoin, Ethereum. It's going to take over. It's going to replace USD. Exactly. I'd be like, bro, you're a fucking idiot. There's no shot all of these exactly. superpowers are going to let this fucking happen. There's no shot this unregulated coin's even going to... Like, how is it going to get out? No, mm -hmm. Right? And now look at us. We're at a fucking... One Bitcoin equals fucking 30,000 USD at its low. So, like, I 100% can Just see... like in the 16th century, somebody fucking waltzes up to somebody and says, points to, to a guy painting a picture and says, yo... In the year 2020, that person is going to be referred to as the greatest artist ever to exist. That painting that he's painting that, right now is going to be worth more money that ex than that exists on the planet right now. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Pablo Picasso off in the corner, scratching his nuts, painting a picture. Like, it's the same fucking thing. You know I'm I mean? calling this right now. There's going to be th uh, at least three very, very big, well-known NFT artists in the I next five so. years. Well, people, I mean. Yeah, they already... exist right now. They exist right, right now. Yeah, yeah like, but I mean, like, people, I, I mean, like, household names. But this is eight, 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 eight figures. These people are dealing with eight figures. But I don't, I don't mean the billion. financials of it. I, I, I mean, I like, people that are your mother knowing who that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Banks, could it be a good, sound business idea to create something that verifies NFTs? For well, people, no, they're, they're, they're already they're verified. already verified. They're verified yeah, by we, virtue of being on the blockchain. We give it the extra verification badge. The whole yeah, point yeah. of it is it's, it's verified. On the it's blockchain. Whole, don't need yeah, the verification is handled idea. entirely. That's yeah, already. That that's like, that's already pin, there's a pin yeah. in that. Like it's over. It's verified. No, 100%. I'm gonna verify. I'm gonna start a company. Fuck you all. Kill it, man. I'm fucking. You know what? Me too. I'm coming with you. Let's I'll do join it. I think it's fucking. Yeah. I'm ready, bro. Honestly, yeah, listen, guys, guys, guys. To tell you the truth. To tell you the truth. Any fucking utility ideas or anything like that. If there's an idea that's a good idea, there's already a fucking team of Someone's developing crypto. It. Like, yeah, none, yeah. Of us are, <laughs> none of us are moving mountains in that. The creative, the art, that's why the NFT thing is also attractive to me because that is very brand new. And most of the people in the crypto industry are tech fucking nerds. There's not a lot of creatives or artists and I'm not throwing fucking mm -hmm. shade. That's just really how it works. Now there's space in this fucking whole crypto world for art and gaming is coming next. You know what I'm saying? All these things are gonna be tied into this shit. That's what's so exciting. To, How would to gaming tie? Remember. That's actually interesting. How would gaming tie into that? Well, it's just like there, I mean, there, there's already uh, blockchains that have gaming that where you could actually build games on the blockchain. There's actually uh, mm -hmm. MMOs that are, there's a bunch, are there's a bunch huge of on random. this right now. I mean, we're really yeah. what even is a game at the end of the day? Everything's kind of a game, right? Life is kind of a game if you want to break it down. Okay, How much dude, money do you have? Bank life and But, but, but you you could sell your whole all life as goes to the five a.m. combos. All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, crypto punks at the end of the day are just a piece of art but you could build a fucking game on a blockchain where you can like mine for money or fucking develop a world and other people can have to pay access to join your world or you have to be a certain level to do all that shit and it's all tied in and it's verified and supported on the fucking blockchain and it's always fucking there just like all right mw2 nobody's gonna know what modern warfare 2 is in fucking a thousand years they might they might it might be in the history books but you're not gonna be able to like go to my fucking xbox live profile see how many days i have played see what skins i had all that shit but putting it on a blockchain in theory right makes it exist forever and have like a, a genuine timeline and like, imagine you know I mean? imagine being able to save uh actual matches yes, exactly that's exactly, exactly having your kd on the blockchain like yeah, that's a Chase's simple way of best explaining. match of 2021 yes, yes. or something. Like I had like, a yeah. fucking, I had a 10 KD in fucking MW2. Now, that's, you know, that game is relevant. And, and like, ago. also yeah. imagine no, if it's like a big <laughs> event at the end of every year where like at the end of every year phase or not or fucking, uh, sorry, Banks sells his best match of 2021 and it goes on auction at the end of the year. It creates demand, it creates excitement, it generates a lot of money and it's an annual anything. event.
Yeah, you, you can do, do a lot of shit, and you can create demand for almost. You everything don't have to, You also don't people. have to sell it. It's just it's just the verification. That's really yeah. at the end of the day. That's what that's what's so. You could still go. You could still go look at your Halo Two heat maps if you wanted to on Bungie.net. Yeah, Your facts, game but we played like 2004. Like you can still check that out. They got that. That's it's an NFT right there. A sleeper of. NFT, bro. That's what I'm interested in. The sleeper NFTs. Anyways, banks. You got yeah. the contacts. Throw NFT it out there. Be like, I know this guy. Thing? I know this guy that's selling his whole YouTube channel as an NFT. Be like, it's a shit channel and it's not <laughs> worth it. But it's the first one, 10 mil. <laughs> throw it out there. Throw it out there. You get a one mil I'll, kickback if you do. I'm just saying. I'll, bro, throw, I'll throw it out there. I'll throw, I'm just saying, I'll throw it out there. I'll what would you, what would you sell out, epic meal time in general? Fuck NFTs. The actual. Not the for sale. Whole brand. It's not for sale. The whole thing. Just say a number, for, dude. That's, no, that's not for, for sale. sale. It's not for sale. Banks taught me that everything's for sale. That's true. Everyone has a price. Ted DiBiase taught me that. Not banks, but Ted yeah, DiBiase, the million dollar man. Everyone's got a price. The epic meal time's not for sale. But if you want to do the NFT, well, now we can make a little piece of history. I might be interested in that. Sell the whole thing as an NFT. Never been done before. I like that. But you ask me a fucking question and start texting you, bitch? Who the fuck is on the phone? <laughs> you motherfucker. So oh, my God. Can you NFT a breakup text? That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. you can. You can NFT anything. That's a good yeah, you funny. definitely NFT that. You can definitely NFT That's that. That's the problem. I, I, post, I post a bunch of stories on, like, Instagram about it. My... I'm lucky because my fucking my like following and stuff fucks with it. But I always feel like annoying and redundant talking about this shit. It's just not not enough well, you people are, know about it. You didn't tell people that you owned the fucking website. That what website? The punks. I'm kidding. I, I made that up. I wouldn't, bro. I wouldn't be in. <laughs> I wouldn't fuck. I'd be on fucking Mars right now, building a house. Exactly on, where you I'd be right fucking. Now, You'd be in Cabo chilling. I think. Baby, baby. I, I, listen, I, I posted early on. I used to post like on my Facebook, like when I was first learning about Bitcoin. And I was telling people like, oh, you know, you type all this shit. And like, even like, I remember the first time Bitcoin hit 20, 20K, like about two years ago, I went on my Facebook and I was like, yo, I'm the fucking dumbass bacon guy. So don't listen to me. It means nothing. But Bitcoin might never drop this low again and this is when it was peak and 20k was the peak and i said 20k and then it went to like 6k like a year and a half later and everyone's like you fucking dummy blah 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 and i was like yo it doesn't matter if you if you just believe in it which i do mm -hmm. i bought it i put things aside i never touch them never look at them like yeah when it got up to like 70k i was like yo this is crazy but also, the whole point is that like yeah, yeah. this this one might bitcoin if, if things go according to plan then one bitcoin will buy a house just yeah, one Bitcoin yes. will buy an entire yeah. house, and I believe that. Well, it's already that it's already at that point in some like countries and parts of the world. You can buy a fucking you can definitely mm. buy a fucking house with a Bitcoin. Yeah, but you so. know what I mean. I meant like you, like, you, buy, you can buy a, you can buy a cloud yeah, yeah. house. You yeah, can buy yeah, the yeah. cloud house for a Bitcoin. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, no, no, I, I believe that too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip for this one. Sorry for the vibe killer, guys. Damn, what a. Vibe no, it's okay. Killer. I'm sorry, bro. I gotta dip. Guys, I genuinely have to leave as well. I no, love you, you can't. all. It's too I have to pack. Left to I have now. to. I have it's to. It's only one of you. You guys have to fight. Look, dude. Look, pack, my my energy's not there. I'm which a vibe one of you guys right has now. to leave more? Like, does Stewie or Banks have to leave more? Look, I have to physically dip. go to Miami. Banks, let me he has to go. All right? Let me take this one. I'm a right. vibe killer right now. I'll stay on for a little bit. Stay on a little bit for me. Fuck, man. How are you guys doing this to me right now? How did this happen? That's hilarious. All we have to do to keep Bates on is piss him off. I love you, NFTs are dead, bro. Later, Stewie. <laughs> <laughs> Five yeah, no, stars getting good. good. I want to leave on a high note. Running my last out. draws right here. Let me tune in on the next one. I'll be better on the next one. Sorry, train. Bye. 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 Don't be sorry, bro. It's all good. Bye, Bye Stewie. <laughs> Let me know when the next go, one is. Stewie. Sorry, next everybody. Week. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right. Peace out, guys. Bye, brother. How much you want to bet we never see Stewie again? Mo, what the fuck? You were supposed to wingman, dude. Oh yeah! I completely oh, bro! He's he gone. Man. Listen, Listen, no, no, he, he he left Discord. He's going to buy a bunch of crypto punks. He's Dude, hardcore CSGO. Oh, he was googling it the I'm whole crazy. time. I saw the screen yeah, lighting up. He was, he was I sitting there like, wait, what? Pose, you know what I'm, you he's know like, I'm buying this shit right now. You gotta nudge us or something. Train, how'd you forget about that? I gotta fucking yeah, dude. We're we supposed just to like, look at Bose and Stewie. Fuck! Yeah, we just let Stewie fucking sit there the whole time. He was vulnerable as shit. We, we were talking yeah, about uh, NFTs. Oh, do you want to fuck Stewie? I don't want to yeah. fuck Stewie. See, wait, oh, you say, I that's don't what I, I do. That's what I was picking up. From what do you mean? No, nah, Bose is mine. What do you mean? No, uh, I thought you had a girlfriend. Yeah, I... all of a sudden. I was, I was a, no, I meant as a friend. I, I thought you meant me. boyfriend, <laughs> bro. boyfriend. No, no. Oh, boyfriend, Jay. <laughs>
Listen, listen. Uh, Bose, I got you next time. My bad. This was on me. Next time. Okay, next time. All right. What's the next, what's the next topic? On and I'm talking to you. I'll, we'll tell you what to wear. It'll be perfect. Oh my gosh. Can you guys blind date me one time on a scuffed podcast? You cannot you know, tell her what to wear. It's 2021. Yes, Mo. you that can. Is, that bro. is misogynistic and sexist. Guys, yeah, but also, Train, 20, you can leave 20... it to me, man. I fucking, I only got one pasty on right now. I can only find one. That's why my hair is covering this titty over here because I don't want my nipple to pop out, but this one's covered. <laughs> Damn. Wait, what was that? Sorry, I I zoned out. You're like, how do you pay to get separate? Like, does that happen like kind of like with socks where you can find one? And you're like, yo, where's the other one? I just got tired and threw them over there. Somewhere. Are there left and like, ones and right ones, or you could just you could just put whatever whatever side? Bro, I think you could do uh, either because holy don't know if this is left shit! Right what if so, what if a very uh uh dude NFTs could take uh oh my god only, you're still on NFTs NFT could take OnlyFans to the next level. Imagine NFTing. A fucking PC <laughs> from one nipple and selling it on OnlyFans. That's like an evolution of so many different things put together. You you could get that. You could get the actual thing. If you could get the actual pasty, maybe, you know, like uh, you don't need an NFT on it because you, you have the actual pasty itself. Both, are you, you know even what I mean? trying to date anyone out there? Like, what are you doing? What am I doing? You, um, I think you're all no, for the I... longest single person I've seen that's no, actively she, dude, no, 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 no. She I was just, in a five-year relationship. What are you talking about? Oh, before yeah, that, I, I got out of a, 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 a four-year relationship. No, are you on a dating app? It's been like a year, right? I'm not on a dating app. Currently, what I'm looking for are just generally sad boys. I don't want to date right now. What I like to do is I really like to put like a boy that I really like in my lap that's sad and just have him lean into me and like hold him and make me like make him tell me every sad thing that ZFs have like ever been through. Oh, and then it creates like some intimacy that. and then we're <laughs> friends and then it's kind of like whatever from there. Stewie, come back. Yeah. What oh. about you don't, how come you don't get on dating apps to find these sad boys? Um, because I <laughs> really like my work, I guess. And I just have a lot of love to give, but I don't want to date anybody right now. So why, but you don't need to date them. You know, you can just fuck Hang them. Out. I don't yeah. Know. You don't want a stranger. You don't want a stranger. You, you, you want to no, have because sex for somebody. Yeah. Well, because sex is for me, it's more about like the, the intimacy and the to... connection more. So like, I don't want to like. You know, just, you don't have to fuck. Aww. Yeah, I'm not just like over here like, Aww. like I'm like, hey, how how are you doing? Are you oh, good? Why, what? Dad, though, why can't it be like a happy person? I, uh, sad boys have okay. much more passion and in intensity, and I find that people that uh, come from broken homes push me further into myself because they have problems that help me discover my own problems. I see. Damn. And then it makes it's me better out. for the person That's a revelation. that I be with. That's such a good thing to like. I don't even know. You, you thought about this really deeply, huh? Yeah, as I was saying. I was... I've experienced it, and I've been through some really, like, rough shit that I feel like made me better. So as long as you're looking to always make yourself better, bad experiences aren't that bad. You could NFT that speech. Yes, you can. <laughs> you actually can. <laughs> yeah, so right now, I'm really personally just looking for um, sad boys that need a lot of love, that aren't where looking you, for anything serious. Find that? Where oh, they're everywhere. That? Oh, Harley, they're everywhere. They're all over the internet. Are you, you fucking so, so you go it's out a lot of sad you boys. Go, you go out on the internet or you, you go like out in real life looking for them? Generally, and I then. try to like commit to my work pretty hard for three, four months, maybe go on some vacations. And then eventually I meet somebody that I feel like is intense enough that I'm interested. And I'm like, oh, you're going to ruin me. What is this? And I'll dive into it. All right. yeah. This is like, a, I feel like I'm part of a <laughs> okay. movie. That I didn't sign up for, but I'm happy I'm here. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to tell you this right now, Bose. Listen, uh, based on the thing you told me, listen, I gotta give you a little uh, wake up call here, okay? So, oh God. Yeah, yeah. Listen. So, <laughs> since you're telling us, you know, someone that can ruin you, 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 you go into it. Listen, as long as you're aware of what you're doing, I don't want to see a all men are pigs blaming all of Never. us. Okay, I don't want to say anything in two weeks after you decide to date a bad boy and he fucks you over, okay? Don't blame all men for this. I'm giving you a little heads up because I'm going to quote retweet it. I'm going to give this clip right there that you know what you were doing. Oh, okay? no, I, not, a, right. not at all. Like I, because also like I, I have, I have a really cool career. I have like really cool friends. I have a lot of things. So like if I'm ever feeling insecure in like a relationship pattern, I'll usually shift to my career and try to find my confidence again. And then if that person's not feeling great, I, I have enough strength to be there for them. So that's why I'm able to give that nurturing without not expecting much in return. So that's why they're kind of more like, a little like symbiotic, not super romantic, and then we just kind of go from there. 
Yeah, I'm really weird. Bad? I just wanna, I just wanna hold this bad. Is this is a bad thing. Is this a bad thing you're describing? Like an unhealthy thing? Um, I, I personally, I feel like I've found a l much more development out of that than in my entire four year relationship because it was a little too stable, and I was only like 26, you know. Um, but the biggest issue that I find is trying to make sure that I don't hurt anybody in the process, but I often tend to attract like very distant people that are able to disconnect. So I try to be really cautious of that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like so many of those are things you like Stewie or not, like, I don't understand what's going on here. Am I going to fuck Stewie? Like, uh, it's like Messiah <laughs> complex. No. Messiah, is it like the Messiah complex? You want to like save these guys? You want to save a sad boy? Like that's no, what attracts you. Because something I don't, you want to fix it. You find no, I don't want to fix it, it because I don't have the energy. Because the last person I was involved with was a very hardcore addict. Is very very serious addict. Um, I don't have the energy to fix anybody, but I I think that there is a sense of validation because I give them something that they normally don't get from other people, and they appreciate it. So there is a selfishness in there for me too, but they're also getting something out of it. So like, I mean, there's so many well, fucking people that That's what a relationship that are... is, right? It's, um, you get something, I get something. Like, I feel better about my life. You feel better about your life. So we stay together. That could be a friendship though too, right? Yeah, no, of course. Well, friendships are also friendships relationships. Are relationships too. Yeah. The relationship you have with your mom, your fucking dad, your girlfriend, it's all the connection that you have with them and they serve some sort of purpose in your life, whether it's a bad one or a good one. That was one. actually very sweet. I'm going to NFT that as well. I <laughs> found it. You can, you can have all the rights. You can have all the rights, bro. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's about it. I don't was... know. I'm just kind of floating around. I don't want to settle down right what now. What if you did something <laughs> like what if like uh you said the last one was like uh like your last guy was a sad boy? Yeah. So what if you switch it up? I told her to get out of your comfort zone. No, what no, if you no, find no, a no. really happy guy? What if you find a really happy oh, guy? Oh no, I dated a really happy guy for four years. <laughs> Happy oh, I, okay. well, so I mean, it, the, it worked though, right? Four so years here's, is a long here's, fucking time. Kind of. We were pretending a lot and sweeping things under the rug and basically playing house. The issue that I found out essentially is that I came from kind of like a broken home. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of like attachment theory, but they, it's kind of junk science. But they basically say the way you act in other relationships is how you're raised at home. So my father wasn't around, my mother wasn't around very much. So I have a very disjointed attachment style. I never received love, I never received nurturing, protection, care. So as an adult, when I get those things from a stable relationship, they don't resonate with me. They don't feel valuable. Um, in fact, sometimes to an extent, they that can almost like, scare me. That yeah, but, it, and, and it's something I'm working on because I recognize that now, but I've lived over 25 years of my life not knowing I just feel those things, but I didn't understand. So I I'm working through that and I'm not ready for a partner right now. And I'm not going to subject anybody to that. That's the most, um, that's the biggest point, you know? Yeah. Like you said, like, if you're not ready for it, you know, it's a good thing uh, to, to know that, at least recognize it for yourself. Cause not being ready for it and getting into it with someone could fuck shit up with them. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just going to say, if you did use any dating apps, not yep. all of them just to fuck or whatever. I'm just going to say this. Okay, and it's not, it's not an ad. Fuck them. I don't fuck hinge. Fuck hinge. It's garbage. I would just say hinge is actually a good one. Uh, it's like people don't play around on that one. Like Tinder, uh, Tinder is like a garbage can. It's just all shit. You're going to sift through shit over there. Uh, Bumble. I just, I never, I think people forget each other a lot on that one, but hinge the whole question, the whole opening question thing, like putting like, I'm looking for a sad boy type thing. Someone that might resonate with a person. Just saying, I don't give a fuck. Fuck Hinge. Fuck dating apps. But if you ever thought about it, Hinge, that would be a good one to consider. Oh, you I know, they're paying you, bro, because you may I, like. I don't even. I have nah, a girlfriend. Fuck Hinge. I've never even heard, heard of this. It sounds like they're the probably, shit. Like, no, they're, they're probably up. racist. Wait, how they're how probably long racist. have you been? I, I actually don't know about any dating apps anymore. But like, that's crazy that you know, like, you're up to date with them. <laughs> you're fucking married. You have a kid. I hope. I really. I know, I'm just saying. I'm so, just saying. The Harley's in. Who's like, what's out there? I actually, you know, what's crazy is I actually was on, uh, like, like when I was single, I was on um, Bumble and I got banned from it, and I was like, that's so weird. Like, did I say something like fucked up? Like, what did I do? Like, I was just kind of worried about it, um, and uh, 
I messaged them about it and they were like, oh yeah, your your profile got reported as fake multiple times. That, that happened to me on Tinder. Yep, they put me back and they put a verified badge on it. And that's kind of like when I was done with it, I was like, I can't go on here isn't with like a verified isn't, badge. But isn't it's that like, so weird? It would definitely work though. Like that little badge though, bro. It's so it weird. Works. It, People it, it, love it, that shit. It's yeah, so, yeah, it's it so bizarre. And I think the badge is like, is so ridiculous. We were kind of clowning it the last time I was on. The, the blue check is like should it's it's in the new generation holds it so much higher than like anyone who's like my age does like 35 like people hold like i see like some like young kids out there and they're like listening like oh he's got a blue check mark Shh, let's hear what this guy has to say i'm like yo bro some of the dumbest fucking people i follow <laughs> on the sure. internet <laughs> I have, have a blue, blue check mark yeah do not hold the blue check mark to a high regard at all what are, it can, what it's just verified starting. they might be like yo yeah. this guy's verified an idiot like they, they like yeah. don't think that the blue check mark is holding any weight of value. It's not. Um, and I definitely didn't want to be on like the dating app with the verified check mark because then it looks like I called up and I'm like, I'm not getting enough pussy out here. Do you put like a little check mark? It on looks like you paid something? extra for the verified mark or something. Exactly. Well, that's when you exactly. bump it up to Raya. You guys ever hear about Raya? I've never. Been I do. On, I'm, I'm on there. It, but I, yeah, I almost. Did you hear not... the Ben Affleck thing on Raya? That was, shit was yeah. pretty funny. That that, that person. I think that person got banned for that. By the way, <laughs> I because you can't do that. One time I screenshot on Raya and it was it literally sent me a pop up and it was an accident. It sent a pop up. Oh. Said one more screenshot and you're permanently banned. Oh shit! And I think I could get banned for saying this. Actually, so I won't even name them. But I saw a, a particular uh, older woman who was in a excellent TV show about a superhero, and she played the superhero's wife. And I saw her on Rhea swiped her. She didn't swipe back though. But if she so did, I I don't know how I would have handled it. I would have been out for dinner with her. I would have been out for dinner with her and been like, "You're thinking of you thinking about Superman?" I bet it was Superman. It was the girl from Superman. Oh, I, I don't know if I would have had that. I'd be like, yeah, you. I saw you make out with Superman on TV in 1994. Probably thinking about that right now, I bet. Wait, this is the app where you have to pay a membership? You have to get invited or something. Yeah, oh, you got to get approved. Yeah, you have to get approved or something. I'll know. tell you a little I'll tell you a little secret, though, to getting the, approved. This, essentially, what it is is it's just people like in the industry or fucking people with... I mean, people who don't want their shit out there. Like It's, it's for, like, literally, like, the rich... Or famous, yes, or just yes. someone eyeballed you and thought you were hot enough. Like just, yeah, facts, and facts. I'll tell you a little secret. If you ever do apply, here's a, a secret to get in: is it knows your contacts. You have to give access to your contacts, depending on how many people saved in your contacts that are also on the app, will boost you up to being approved. So let's say uh, Banks, what? do you want to invite a friend of yours? Send him the contacts of like the other people you know that are on the app, yeah. and the app will be like, "Oh, this guy's connected. He can yeah. be approved yeah, to get so on the app." Why the everyone... fuck do you need the app then if, <laughs> if you have everyone on your phone contact? Think about that. No, oh, oh, the network is, network is like... bigger than just your network. It's extending the network. It's not right. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have the. I don't have the fucking app. Can't do yeah, that. I've never do. done that. Yeah, I've never yeah. done that shit. I've never met a girl through fucking Instagram DMs and like with the with the hopes no of fucking. No shots. Fucking with them. I swear. I swear. Say it. Say it. Try and you're thinking it. No shots. I swear. I swear. <laughs> I, I, uh... I just need that like physical, like, uh, like just even like a conversation. You know? I mean, this, I would, I would constitute something like this as physically meeting someone, by the way. Like, you know what I mean? Like we're all fucking sitting here having an actual conversation. Like I feel like I yeah, know you sometimes, guys. Sometimes, like, sometimes Tinder feels like you're swiping through a pussy catalog. Yeah, that's what you I'm know saying. What I mean, like yeah. it's not like someone should have just made an app called like Pussy Catalog and like just had it laid out. Like uh, a vibe is a big broad. thing. Like a pair of fat yeah. titties, fat ass. Like a hot girl's one thing, but then you fucking kick it with them and it, they're just weird. Like it doesn't matter. Like, oh yeah, matter. that. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm sure everybody in here's met an attractive person who they just did not fuck with. You know what I mean? It's just you're. I've. In, in my days, out. in my days of yeah. being on there, I was very quick. If I if I felt like I connected with someone in a couple of Bro, messages, and we I, were like out for coffee very quickly after that, and if it was not a vibe there, it was over very quickly. Bro, I, this I was chick, like very methodical. Yeah. I this I chick, speed run shit onto it on Tinder. Sorry, I had this chick back in uh back when I was like senior in high school, where uh like she was she was like really cute, you know, good looking girl, and I don't know what happened when I actually like met her and hung out with her. I just was not like finally like you know I got into it right finally I, you know I got a moment where she was you know at the crib and I don't know what it was but she, I got this like sibling vibe 
And I just did not well, that's, fuck yeah. with her yeah, at all. Yeah, like that. That, ha- like, that shit happens all the fucking time. By it's the just way. so like, weird. You meet somebody. You meet somebody who potentially you could do crazy business with. You're like, holy fuck, this person could change my whole game, and I could change their whole game. We probably should be friends. And then you sit, take a meeting with them. You guys don't vibe, and you don't do business with them because of the vibe. You know what I'm saying? It happens all the fucking time. Or a family member. Yo, you're going to come meet your cousin Joey who lived in fucking Wyoming your whole life. You meet your cousin Joey. He's fucking, he's weird. You guys have nothing in common. Yeah. Well, I've, I've I'm met. It's like, well, you're my cousin, but I, don't, no, but I don't really fuck with you. No, nah, cousin's yeah. a little oh, no. different, bro. I have this really hot cousin, bro. Low key. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> chill, chill. I, uh, I, I've met people. I've met people on Tinder, and, and actually, like straight away, I'm like, yo, this is like a bad vibe, and we fucked. <laughs> we still yeah, fucked. I don't, I don't, it was a bad vibe. Like, I don't care. <laughs> all, yeah, yeah. It was bad vibe. It was bad. It was all bad. See, we're, we're circling yeah, back to the to the headphones and the sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, uh, I, I do Leo DiCaprio cool. style. We'll take I, I, I'm not quick. handsome enough to pull that move. Real quick, I, I gotta, I gotta say this: the that earphones and sunglasses that you or like the the, the airplane uh, 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 eye cover thing that could be like next generation type shit. Hear me out here, right? Listen, imagine if a dude were to give you a blowjob, <laughs> Banks, and you had one of those uh, uh, airplane masks on. With ear use me as the example. Would you, you know? Me. Would you it's know me. a dude just giving you a nice fucking? I mean, if Harley jelly. was bl- if Harley was sucking my dick, I'd probably know his his shit would be scratching on my shit. I, mean, I would imagine, you know, Terrible. he may maybe take a deep breath. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm like, what the fuck? This is either a, this is either a dude or a fucking animal. Like, I'm like, uh, uh, and either uh, way, I'm not cool. Uh, with it. No, uh, there's a there's a Black Mirror episode like that, right? Where they like Black Mirror has an episode tapping. for everything. Yeah. Yeah, they could tap in like the dude's fucking oh. his wife and his eyes are like blank yeah. and her eyes are blank. And they're both thinking about fucking somebody else and like, I don't know. Or rolling back their memories. But I'll yeah, train I what you were saying before, bro. the the like the uh, the headphones and the eye mask or whatever, it's, it's a form of sensory deprivation. So for some people, especially those with intimacy issues, it can heighten the feelings, the physical feelings themselves because you're not focused on the eyesight and the hearing I aspect thought, of it too. I, 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 thought, it was, I thought it was... We're such guys. We're like, yo, what a fucking power move, bro! Blasting the EDM, and yeah, he's just yeah. like, he like just needs this to get off because it's like he's listening to some yeah, nature yeah. sounds, some <laughs> rainfall. Like he's <laughs> trying, to, he's relax, he's relaxing for his feelings. Or it's just like, so you get a little bit insecure because maybe he's into that. Like that would work on me. I mean, maybe I'm, like, I'm going to perform freak. my best, sir. Sorry, maybe right? Oh, yeah. you yeah. get intimacy issues like you can't get hard. That's like taking the whole like be a dick to her, pretend like you, you don't mean? care. Like that's taking it to a whole nother level. No, intimacy issues, like you don't like to make eye contact. You're really just there for the feeling. You don't want the connection. You're just there for this like so just sex. Hit it doggy style. Hey, bi- straight business. Straight business. So just hit it doggy In- style. Thank you, Tyler. No, because even the back of the head is something you're looking at. <laughs> Maybe he's okay. not into that. Maybe he just wants to be elsewhere. Back of their heads. You know, you never know. Sorry, yeah, I, I knew I knew someone and they had a, a terrible, terrible tattoo in the middle of the back. And I was just like, this is not good. I don't like this. I, it, was the ta- it, it was no, no, it was ages ago. And it was just like it was just a tattoo that said, I am me. <laughs> oh no! I was like, I got caught up. I got caught up in like, like I'd be sitting there and I was looking at the tattoo on the back, and I'm like, I am me, and I would get caught up like thinking like, is this for whoever to see it? Like, is this for me? Like, I am me because it can't be. Like, like, he can't, he can't see it. Like, yeah, yeah, they can't see it. So it can't be a reminder for her. She, you know, she knows she's her. So then I thought maybe it should be like, you are you on the back. Cause like, she can't, you know what I mean? I so then I'm sitting there and I'm like thinking like right now, like my dick is soft and it's just like mashing against her. Cause I'm like caught in my brain. Like what the fuck? does this mean <laughs> anyways yeah a, okay. a tattoo could throw me off tattoos could throw me off so insecure because i have a tattoo on the back of my neck that i never see and i just like had like a flashback of my ex being like oh, i'm gonna move your hair over here what is nah, the tattoo showing. as long as it doesn't say i am me on it i think you're <laughs> fucking <laughs> as long as it's not a it's so it's low key i could see you convincing aiden and getting one of that i am me tattoo i am me i right? could see on him his doing fucking that. for on his forehead 
What, it, what, Aiden, is, what, it, what does it say? Aiden, yo, Aiden shaved his whole fucking chest before the trip and just left his back super hairy. No! This fool's a run around, right around Cabo with a fucking fully shaved chest and a hairy back. Like, this kid is out of his mind. Why didn't he, like, why didn't he shave his back? Or why didn't he get someone to do that? I asked him, he said, bro, fucking, I don't know. I don't see it. I'm like, yeah, bro, but everybody else does. Like, <laughs> Man, fuck it, whatever, bro. Let me suck your dick. Dude, what's nuts is I don't I don't understand. Like, for me, back hair is such a phenomenon. Like, I don't have I any have so back hair. Right I don't I get have it. So much. I, I, shave. I have zero back hair. Zero. I have no that, like, it's, that's weird I, to me. I don't have any arm hair really. Bro, like, I <laughs> have yo, look at my face. I have no back hair and no ass hair. I have no like, ass hair too. I don't understand all this on shit. it. People will comment on it. Like, like girls will be like, do you shave your ass or something? You, you know and I'm like, like, it's just weird. It's just a thing. Who am I like? <laughs> it's the, what's I can't that wait. fucking movie? What's that, that movie with Mark Wahlberg and uh, Will Ferrell where he they meet the guys? The, other guys. The other guys where the guys like, you guys probably think I'm hairy all over. Nope. <laughs> yeah that's it that's, that's it. funny wait do you guys have like a lot of chest hair though i don't think i've ever I encountered a lot I do. of chest hair i got a lot of chest hair i got a lot of hair white though now like my chest hair is actually turning medium white amount. wait but but like how much like enough that like it creates texture underneath the t-shirt oh, I'm, I'm or super hairy yeah i can't show it right now because tos but uh no, you can. trust me you can you can okay well i don't want to yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, me? Yeah, I'm a fucking. Ba I I've got. I'm like a fucking hairy. Ba Look at my arms, dude. Like, like this. I've got. I don't know if you can see it. I've got like hair everywhere. everywhere. Like chest hair. Are you exfoliating yeah. people, or is it just like a little subtle? Like <laughs> it's, it's bad. Okay. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. All right, guys. Listen, we're getting into we're getting into danger zone on the flight and the packing up. I gotta pack this whole oh. setup up. I gotta do all this shit. I gotta shower. I really actually do have to go. I'm sorry. I stayed like a full fucking hour after. I did. I was yeah, no, oh, yeah. We're deep. We're deep. Did. We're deep. Hey, I had a great fucking time. You guys are all fucking awesome. Yeah, good time, Train. Brother. Yeah, brother. Thank you for fucking. I 100. I 100 understand you piecing out on my chest hair. That's a great time to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, "Yo, this is the perfect time." Listen, I'm fucking out of here. And now the girlfriend's fucking texting me like I got like I. You know what I mean? Oh, I gotta, you're in, gotta you're get, in, you're in danger zone. I gotta go now, or I'm gonna, she's gonna end up zone, fucking yep. putting headphones in and sunglasses on when we fuck. I don't <laughs> want that. We're gonna bounce. <laughs> gonna gonna bounce. Gonna bounce. All right, Banks, it's a good time, bro. Man, man. man. Take it easy, so guys. Enjoy Love the rest. Peace, man. Peace. Later, Rick. I posted basically just as a reference point. That's how hairy my chest is. What I put there in the chat. Oh. That's Will Ferrell. I feel shirtless. like that's not that bad. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's just ugly. It's like furry. It's like furry. Well, it's my, not. I think it's like my stomach's hairier than my chest. Does anyone have that problem? No. Nope. Uh, question for you guys: At what age did you start getting pretty hefty chest hair? I haven't run into that at all. Uh, I don't remember. I remember well, I had a little. Uh, what is it like that little uh, trail first? Happy uh, trail. Fresh yeah, trail. Happy trail. Right. Hey, that's and a I big trail, man. Don't, don't say that. It. I remember my mom told me, "Don't shave it. If you shave it, it'll grow back more and uh, heart like stronger." And I was like, nah, she's, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She's a lady. You know, like, I, it's not going to grow back like that, right? I shave it, and I swear to God, maybe two weeks later, everything just started growing everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so I my, like, it was kind of crazy, actually. Your mom was right. I uh, know. I don't know how she knew. Well, I started shaving dick hair at, like, 13 years old. I don't know why I did that. I, I trimmed like, it. We're getting ready. I a lot. I was like 13 years old. I was like, any day, I was like, someone could suck my dick today. It's got to be bald. <laughs> I remember being like 13 so or 14, relatable. trying to get my mom to let me shave my legs. And she said the same shit, Mo. She was like, no, you can't because it'll grow back eight times hairier. And I'm like, Ugh. bitch, I'm 13. I need to shave my legs. I'm in high school. Yeah, I have yeah. to. Otherwise, I'm going to have yeah. a fucking breakdown. Like, I need to mm -hmm. shave my legs, you know? My mom didn't yeah. let me tell. I was in like high school too, so... <laughs> I was like, I don't lie. Yeah. Hairy ass legs. <laughs> yeah. That's like the biggest turn turn off for me is like when I meet a girl that has like super hairy arms or hairy legs or something like that. It, it could be a really hot girl, and she just has those hairy arms. I'm like, why the hell are her arms hairy still? Bro, and everything else is well kept together. Mo, 2020 fucked me up, bro. Like that entire phase that we went through for like, like, like some people had to like prove themselves, right? So like. Girls started doing like the hairy armpit thing, bro. I was fucking losing oh, appetite left that. and right, that. bro. Like I was really, like, I was losing. Like I'm not talking a little bit of hair. 
I'm talking like a full on like fucking uh, liberation red... bush. Yeah, like <laughs> it's like if they're That's doing that, what would it like down there? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't mind. A little I don't bit care about down, down there. there. It's just like yeah, armpits got to go. There, armpits got to go. Armpit, nah, you arm, could have you could have a mad hairy pussy. I don't care. Yeah, I don't give. Yeah, like, listen, uh, label me what you want, but like, the, 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 what about armpit, asshole though? Do you want that hairy? Shut your ass up, bro. Yeah, honestly, if it's a hairy ass, I, I might I might not bother with it as much as I would if it was shaved and bleached. Yeah. But hairy pussy, like I'm good. Hairy pussy is fine. Hairy ass. I'm gonna go down there with this face and be like, why is there so much hairy here? Like I can't. I don't get that. I don't know how to do that. Too much hair there. Yeah. No, but I got. The I'm coming hair down there. Fine, you know? Too much hair at that point when you have a beard like ours. Yeah, y'all. Nah, I don't good. think. I don't think the hair is even that bad. You know, I'm not. I mean, I kind of like it even. It doesn't even have to be a landing strip. It could be like full on, like like it's crazy. Bush. You know, like a yeah. Because I'm like, yo, I'm with a woman. Hairy yeah, pussy about, woman. Hair? Like I don't need it. I don't need it. I mean, like <laughs> listen, like what, I can what, think of girls. I can, I can, I can, hold on, Hardy. What won't you fuck? Is what I want to know. A man. Mm, I don't even know. But you just said you would fuck true. train. That's different, and it's different. That's a different scenario. That is different. That's a different. Yeah, man. there's obviously there's exceptions, but I'm just saying, like for the most part, like yeah, that's where I'm at. You know. Hey man, how are you? Hello, how are you? No, I'm just like bouncing here. My fault. I was like, I was like, I had two cameras, and I was like, I didn't know which one was on. No, earlier when Harley talked about train brought something up about his cousin. And then Harley started talking. I thought Harley was say, gonna say something. I forgot what you said right away, but I thought you were gonna say something like, "And I fucked my cousin," like just randomly. I, I thought. No, you were I never. I never fucked. I never fucked my cousin. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't. I would never do that. Wait, wasn't that Tyler? I would never fuck my cousin. Yeah, no, Tyler wanted to bang his cousin. That's weird. You're if it's Tyler a distant, I know. I don't like that train. If it's a distant cousin, is it okay? Yeah, that's good. Like that oh, no, oh, sorry. Good. No, no, no train. Train. Cousins, you called him train is good. Okay, my no, bad. I... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it's <laughs> <he said it's laughs> about the cousin. Okay. If, it's some, it's, if it's like a cousin that you've never, like, you haven't met since you were, like, infants. Bro, I'd be mad like at my family. Old. If I accidentally fucked a cousin, <laughs> my mom was like, that's your cousin. I'd be like, yo, introduce me to every single potentially hot cousin out there. Like I'm out in the city, like fucking people, and I'm related to some of these. Like you can't. the family photos. Have, I need a yeah, full yeah. fucking album. If I'm like, like, yeah, like you got to tell the me the ancestry if I have DNA any results. Members. Wait, you y'all saw friends? Like you know they were related. Uh, what's it, Monica and and Chandler? Like they're actually like related in real life. Like that was wild. I was like, what the fuck? What? Yeah, Wait, no, what? They, no, like I'm not even joking. They they came out with like a an article, and and they're great. Grandma and great grandpa were like brother and sister or some shit. <laughs> what the like, and they're just like, like making out. They're just making out and shit. No, no, no. no. Like you can look it up. You can look it up. I was like, it was like trending on Twitter. Not like, David Schwimmer. No, Chandler and and Monica. Like like the the ones that were actually like dating, like in yeah. the show, and they like made David out. David Schwimmer. David Schwimmer. No, 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 no. He Schimmer was the one that dated Rachel. Matthew Perry. Yeah. Matthew Perry. Oh, okay. Matthew Chandler. Perry. Yeah, Chandler. Okay, okay. I yeah, was I'm, like, that was I'm wild. Perfect. I was like, yeah. damn. So they like really like made out and they're like second cousins or something. Oh, fuck. Like, hey, they're getting the bag though. <laughs> what happened? David yeah, Schwimmer but now... made so much money. I just can never stop thinking about it. <laughs> wait, what do you mean? How much? Wait, wait, yeah, I was going to say, they made like, they made like 500 mil, all of them. Didn't they all make 500 mil? Dude, I feel like they make like. 50 oh. mil a year. No, like, and the re Friends no, Reunion just came back. Funny? I saw the thing that was trending. They were making like uh, every year, every like season, they made like more and more, like several hundred thousand. And towards the end, they were getting paid like, I think over like 10 mil an episode. Like it was like you insane. Yeah. Two, two things happened on Friends. They, uh, one, they uh, negotiated together. So they all banded together and did it mm -hmm. as one, which is a big deal. And another thing was they made the, uh, the Friends... Like on set, there's lots of rules and stuff to different, like how you interact with your coworkers and everything. But there is a friends clause where it could be like in, in defense, like this person is my friend. So the things or jokes that you might say to your friend would be taken into account if there was ever something in the workplace or something like that. And apparently that's called the friends clause because it was from friends. Like they were, they were, they had different relationships with each other personally. And yeah, anyway, there's this thing called the friends clause. Oh. Like, like if there was like, uh, sexual uh, harassment going on, it's okay. Yeah, it's something, it's yeah, like oh. something like that. Like it's more leniency because the people were friends or they are That's friends it. when they're That's working. Cool like if I said, yeah. if I, if me and Train, podcast. 
It is. It's automatically in place. It's automatically in place. <laughs> it's automatically in place. Yeah. No, no offense. No one can take offense to anything. That's right. Dude, no, can you, you, take, can I don't you think imagine the fucking problems they had over, what, 15 years of a show as a cast? Anytime that you put a whole bunch of people together that don't know each other and you're like, hey, you guys I mean, work yeah. together now and you love each other. Have fun. I mean, if you're it's, making a million an episode, yeah. I think that might get work. But I think they're I, actually like all good friends like in real life. Like, I think it's they are. it's probably through a whole lot, but I mean, like I can only imagine the second or third season. I remember when I worked in touring, we had to regularly hire um, mediators for tours. So like I heard that, I guess I shouldn't say any names, but there was a very large podcast that makes over $15 million a year. The two hosts fucking hate each other. And we had to put into the budget a talent mediator that would go on the road with them for each show because you never yeah. knew when they were going to get into a fight. And then there's also a very, very large metal band that, okay, fuck it, it's Metallica. Metallica was pretty well known to have to have to like have a mediator between like all the shows because when you get to the point where you're making millions of dollars per year, you stick it out, but you may not be happy and you may not be happy with the people around you. Mm, very yeah. real thing. Way to put my talent on blast like that, Bose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be sure to follow yeah, the uh, well, attorney's the fees, fees Devin, to Bose. <laughs> Might as well follow the podcast. <laughs> nah. But that, the, it's all, it's all, she says, trains podcast with Devin. <laughs> but that, it's that's changed my perspective a lot, too. <laughs> and I feel like some of you guys, too, like there's, I mean, so many of us have worked in the industry for a while. There's so much shit that's happened that you just never talk about. And so it's hard yeah. not to see other groups and things and be like, what's really happening here? You know, it's it's super interesting. It's always something, too. If you if you do get into that in circle, there's always like another story going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And plus, you can't be like friends with like every, you know, like there's always going to be like one or two people that kind of like disagree or butt heads about something and like it just it just is what it is like you got to just kind of mm. go through it but that is interesting because i'm like i know a lot of like tv shows and movies like people literally left like the like mostly tv shows but they left the show because of that like they like oh, argued. Yeah, sure. i was like a bunch even yeah. the big ones, like like main characters, like main characters, like left because they like didn't want to be in it anymore. That happens just happened with time. frenemies. It seemed like it happened almost like within like oh, a yeah, span of a week. Fren I saw the frenemies thing. That's kind of crazy how that happened. But I don't know. I don't know I what that is. What is a? It's a it's a podcast with a with the H three H three guy Ethan. Yeah. So... And uh, that Trisha, what's her last name? Trisha. Trisha. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. well, just to so Frenemies was a podcast that started probably like a little bit less than a year ago. It was started with by H3H3. He brought on Trisha Paytas, who was another YouTuber. And within like a couple of months, the podcast absolutely blew up. Frenemies was average or H3H3 was averaging like 900,000 to a million views. Frenemies starts getting two to three million views because they have this weird dynamic, crazy, energetic woman, and then just kind of like low tempo man. And it worked incredibly well for a while, but then within a week, it just exploded and the main talent left. And now the show's just over. And the public knows probably a portion of the story, but like not everything. And that's just the way the industry is. What mm -hmm. don't we know? I think we do know a lot about that one. I feel like they both shared their parts and that's Harley, a lot. Harley, no? you've been here for a long time. You know that there's <laughs> oh, NDAs, true. True, yeah. there's contracts, there's non disparagement, and nothing. I just, is what I, it seems I literally to watched, e I watched Ethan's video like this morning, and I thought like so much of what was said. I was like, yo, this is like a lot of shit. Like I personally, I have a show. I had a show, Epic Meal Time, and I had characters on the show that were popular and were good. And then we have debates and we have issues, and then I've had people leave the show. And it's actually, it's been things where it's like, okay, you're not happy with where you work. All right, goodbye, you know, or, you know, we have that, that, that's what happens. But the difference is on the internet is people can go and like say things mm -hmm. or share their side of the story. And then other people are like, oh my God, I like how that person portrayed themselves in the three minute videos once a week. And they said this and, you know, all of a sudden people have opinions, but mm -hmm. I never went and shared the inside of all that. But I thought Trish laid a lot on the table in the podcast. And I thought Ethan shared a lot after the podcast. I mean, I feel like if there are NDAs, they got to be past that point. Like the, a yeah. lot of the shit that they said was like, so like, you know, they were sharing, like, don't like, we know how much Trisha Paytas makes on the show. I, I think That's pretty frenemies, crazy. 
I think Frenemies was a very interesting case, though, because we had a very strong personality like Trisha Paytas, who wasn't afraid of that non-disparagement agreement or that NDA or anything like that. And she's so determined to protect her own brand and her image because it's going to go on that she feels like she has to put out this side of it. And, and I do think you're right that a lot of it was very true. But overall, then we have like there's some situations where there's somebody that's like more meek and doesn't want to speak up or maybe they're scared of the agreement. Or we have somebody like Ethan that maybe doesn't want to share every part of it, whereas Trisha may be more open. So like you just can't assume that the public knows everything. Like why would they want us to know all of their dirty laundry? The, cr the craziest thing about Trish Paytas was this was a person that I actively, and this goes to the podcast too, this was the person that like I didn't like. It wasn't, I was like a creator that was not for me. I was not about, I'm like, this girl is too much. And uh, she, there was even like one clip of her that I happened to like. It was in a, a Shane Dawson podcast. She was like, oh, I hate Epic Meal Time. I hate the Epic Meal Time. And Shane was like, what? Who? Like Epic Meal Time's a group. It's not like one person. She's like the guy. And he was like, oh, Harley. And she was like, yeah, he just looks like his cum tastes bad. And I thought that first of all, that was 10 on 10 comment. <laughs> Hilarious. I agree. It's for sure is horrible. I wouldn't know, but it's definitely not good. Um, but I never, I was always like, this person's too much. I don't like it. But then watching her on Frenemies, it was the biggest like turn. It was like fucking an anime. She was like, literally like, I was like, <laughs> I, I was actively like, I like Trish Paytas now. This is a person I did not like. But just watching her, certain people yeah. could bring certain things out of other people. I thought they had a great dynamic. It was it was awesome. I watched Frenemies. I didn't always watch the, the other podcasts, but I caught that one. Um, then when shit blew up, like, I hate to say this because it's just not right. But, like, that's the type of content I live for. Like, she started yeah. going off at the end. Last 10 minutes, by the way, to people in the chats, the last 10 minutes of the last podcast, it's still up there. Oh, I'm she just starts, like, going off. They're saying shit. And I'm, like, watching it. And I'm, like, <laughs> Did you see? Did you see the John Mahor? Yeah. Like, but Harley, Ethan uploaded that yeah. shit uncut. And he knew what he was doing. because So mm -hmm. he didn't go out but and make a public statement. He, he just he let after. the video so much. I literally, here was, my, here was my mentality right after. After it happened, the shit went and hit the fan. It all happened. She's like kind of crying. She walks off and I'm like, yo. And then I calm down for a bit. You know, I get high and I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know what? Fucking YouTube scammers. It's a fucking game. They already renegotiated. They already sorted this through. It's already done. We're moving past it. It's nothing. I'm like, I can't believe I bought into the hype of it. It's like fucking Floyd Mayweather and Logan. They all, it's all a business. Fuck it. And then I saw her video and then his video. And then I was like, oh, hold up. I actually think this is real. <laughs> I mean, yeah. her and the David Dobrik thing too. I was like, I feel like she just has a lot of drama. <laughs> like just from what I've seen, I'm like on the internet, like there's always like some drama around it. Well, did you yeah. see his video on, on the situation? Like how he like, he pretty much showed that she was contrad like she would approve stuff. And then on the podcast, she would complain about it in front of him, even though she's the one who said she wanted to do things and he was just so confused that's what really got me there was i was because when she says her side it's like whatever all right she's complaining about all this stuff but then he shows that she's complaining about stuff that they literally went over multiple times before the podcast and he just he was just so confused about even stuff that was her idea he's like wait a minute we did this because you asked to do this yet you're shitting on it publicly now and it's crazy and Th that's what I, I think. I, I think she was just having like a breakdown and he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time with her. And he, he made some comments that triggered her. And I think that's that's really one of those things where unfor it's unfortunate timing. But I think it was just a ticking time bomb waiting to happen. Yeah, I think he's a very patient guy. I think he's like they were a perfect match. She he was what she needed. And I mm -hmm. think she was extremely uh, important to to him and to the podcast and like yeah it blew up his channel way more and when i first heard the podcast announcing i was like yo he's crazy for that one i was mm. like damn people are desperate for views that's what he's doing and then i watched it i was like oh they're great they're actually great together i'm like this is a good show i was wrong about this at first i think I've it's like the episodes too i thought it was good too the crazy dynamic is also another thing is is that some people that are trisha's pan fans can see themselves in trisha and then some people see themselves as as ethan but if you see yourself as more of an Ethan and Ethan accepts Trisha, then you're like, oh, she's not that bad. So, like, I feel like they made each other more palatable to their audiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so, true. I'm going to watch an episode or two. I've never seen it, like, at all. Like, I didn't know they it's had actually, a podcast. It's actually good. And they no, did, like... No, you guys are making it sound juicy. So I'm like, I, I want to see that last episode. 
they did the steamy awards watch that one it's like they're 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 like raspberry awards for like shitty internet things for the past year it's a good one to just jump in everything else is too topical it's like this is what happened with david dobrik this week and it's like from like eight weeks ago so mm -hmm. it's not it's not mm -hmm. interesting right now yeah no, really that'd be a good one to pop into yeah oh. all right well on that note thanks for the topic list devin you had some great topics today i have a topic list we're doing fine man it doesn't need to go in every time let me see it all right, Why hold on. Imagine he's like he's talking. You hear him I was about to say I didn't get I didn't get it. <laughs> no, I actually. I, I actually want to see you rambling. fuckers never read it, and now the yeah, one I time did. you want it, I always read it. I, I always, always read the doc. I read really? The I just don't comment on it. I yeah, actually. I, 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 I ended up. Everyone appreciates your topic list. Oh you my god! Like oh shit! Devin, your topic list updates me on what's been happening. <laughs> oh, like, oh, it's shit, most newspaper yeah and i'm like day. damn the amazon's oh, burning down like, like oh shit, Wait, this is a great Devin, topic have you been making these every week because i was like oh Devin hasn't made these anymore he's checked out he hates no, us he no, no 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 i make them every week yeah you have yeah to send them um, to us. Yo, Dude, I was, what the hell is this i was um I was I was feeling super shitty last week even and I still made one. Yeah. Uh, make them every week. You I mean like uh Oh, how about I, Facebook 100% I try to split. I try to help train wherever I can even though he does most of it. So, or all of it basically. Oh, but, Facebook like, I, said yeah. we don't need that money, huh? What is this? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that was that was crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Like Mark, but what's actually really crazy about that? So that that one is uh Mark Zuckerberg himself tweeted that. So that that's like kind of crazy too cuz like that's like the equivalent of like Google CEO tweeting about YouTube gaming, right? Like it's oh, like yeah. a big deal. So he basically said um, all of the revenue from Facebook for any content creation is going to be 100% till 2023. And then after that, they're committed to making it less than Twitch and YouTube. Yeah. Well, you Note know on that, because I, I think... could be wrong, but didn't they just cut a whole bunch of their Facebook gaming streamers that were getting about like five to fifteen thousand dollars a month? No. So clearly now Facebook they have is for Facebook is revving up their uh, their support no, creators. I, that they... No, I got I got priced out. Eee, what do you mean? Securing a bag. <laughs> So they so they cut hundreds got, of thousands of dollars I was, budget this I year was and not, afford this. I was not I was not cut, but the uh I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this shit if I get sued or something. Um but it was just uh it, it, it was it was a specific deal and it was always a deal, and then the most recent one was very much not even close to being comparable to the previous one. So it just made no sense. So uh, I, I didn't commit to it. Um and uh it's funny that this is like where where the money is going and it could be smart because why pay someone let's just say someone like myself when you could just instead try and lure new people mm. maybe maybe that's maybe that's the play there yeah um, but i i went i went from having a guarantee every month to uh getting something that was just absolutely not comparable or interesting you, whatsoever your situation could be anecdotal though right like like that, yeah, that a lot of people 100%. got cut harley do you know a lot of people that got i cut understand but i have really i i, I okay never yeah, okay yeah there's the no, insider, i want to hear that insider. what is that say okay that, that doesn't Zook matter is Zook's yeah. not listening to the podcast when you think Zook, listen to train wrecks come on you can go tell us uh i i don't I have really good reason to believe that I don't think support for Facebook f funding for uh, is is reducing uh, for creators on Facebook. If anything, I think uh, I, I would say it's like 10 X scene. I he knows some shit. All right, <laughs> but but it, yeah, it's 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 whatever. Yeah, we're talking maybe about they're ads. Re strategizing. They mm -hmm. I think they did the same thing for about two years. Maybe it just wasn't working, and they're re strategizing. Yeah, I think that too. I mean, like you go on Facebook. The one thing that I noticed is like I'd go on Facebook and. Um, I go to the front page of gaming and it's a vertical video with a picture of a hot female streamer that it is not their stream. And the top part of this vertical video square is like some fucking mobile, uh, like battle Royale game. And people are yelling in a language that I know is not English, French or Spanish. Cause I don't fucking know what they're saying. And that's <laughs> Facebook gaming. And it was never, it was just random. It was like, what you got there was random. I went to Facebook specifically because when I saw the other creators, I saw Stone Mountain, which is a person that yeah. I've watched. And I was like, oh, he's there? This is real. 
Um, but when I went and I started checking out, like I'd go to the front page of Facebook, I'd be like, what the fuck is going on here? Like literally like a picture of a hot girl, like not straight, like she's not there. And it's just like playing some shitty cell phone game. And there's like 33,000 people watching and there's no money culture <laughs> to the Facebook gaming. So there's not a lot of donations coming through or subs or stars. They're just like chilling. Like, it's what's just, your it's goal? different. Well, it's well, different than here. Doesn't Facebook oh. pay you like just if you're a top streamer, you're actually getting guaranteed money from Facebook to stream? If you if yeah. you are, if they made a deal with you. I mean, if they're COVID, um, I'm, I'm, they're, they'd be dumb not to make a deal. No, COVID they're already changed. there. They're already there doing it. Why would no, they make I, a deal I, I with them? Well, because they could just threaten to leave them, and then they'll be okay. And you're gonna go stream your vertical mobile battle royale game mobile in in in, in Hindi so on bigger. Twitch. Mobile games are so. I know on YouTube actually. Mobile games on YouTube have They're more huge. viewership than anyone yeah. on Twitch. Well, yeah. even if you got like a third of the viewers, and let's say you got like 10k, as long as you're streaming on YouTube or Twitch and you're actually getting a lot of revenue from it, compared to something like Facebook, wouldn't you still end up making your loss? Uh, the difference, you know. Especially if some, if on Facebook, you know, you're not getting any donations, any subs. Yeah. Like, well, if you're streaming if you're on, on YouTube or Twitch and you have thirty thousand people and you're using a picture of a girl streaming that is not you, I think you'll have it'll be a short ride. Oh, you mean it's one of those something will happen? Of, yeah. It's oh, like, yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, I agree with that for That's sure. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. doubt. If anything, mm -hmm. people would go that, on on yeah. Facebook. People would go on Facebook and like stream a. A, a feed of someone's game. Yeah, no, never That mind. is not them. It's, it's an old if one. If it's a legitimate person that's built up like 30,000, I'm pretty sure Facebook would 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 pay them to stay on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, my favorite part... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, because you were going to talk about the COVID point for a minute now. Yeah. Uh, COVID changed so much of the streaming ecosystem. It's, it's like really nuts. Like all the data... We had to throw out all the data that we had um, because like uh, about a year ago, it looked like YouTube was really gaining steam, uh, um, but Twitch increased their viewership over double. And now they claim, I don't believe this. They claim they have 750 million, um, active users. I, 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 it, the website doesn't feel monthly active users. Uh, it, the, the website doesn't feel like that, but I, 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 at least as far as like trackable API data goes, the, the, like Twitch has doubled literally doubled in viewership in, in less than a year. And they're so far ahead of, of Facebook and YouTube now that I don't know if anybody can actually compete with them, despite making all these crazy mistakes they're making. The 750, is that what you said that was Facebook or Twitch? It's Twitch saying that they have 750 million monthly why, active users. Why don't you believe that? Because the site doesn't feel that way. Uh, oh, so, so like, which I know is like kind of anecdotal, but I, I can also support it empirically to some extent. Like by, by But like, if you, if you take... A How sample cool size of the YouTube? streams. It, so, so 750 million users, like, would be what? Let's say divided by 30 is 25 million a day. Does this website feel like to you guys that it has 25 million people a day on it? Watching? Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. Like, like, um, what I'd say, like, how many streams start. that were like 100,000 people plus would you need to like make that happen? Right. We've got a few, but like, I don't think it's enough to constitute well, a number well, like that. Is there it just depends on lurkers. unique, it depends they're on counting unique lurkers. viewers. Is there a place on Twitch where I could see every single channel in terms of from the highest viewers to lowest live? Well, Devin, real well, quick. Or is it Devin, 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 real list? quick. To be fair. No, you can go to browse and live channels. Devin, to be fair, yeah, shows you, oh, the only reason I can oh, believe nice. that number is because where do you think all the Trump supporters went? <laughs> Just kidding. All right, continue. The, uh, <laughs> there was that Thank most you, watched, there was the most watched monthly clip last uh, podcast someone pointed out and I went and I looked it up and it had mm -hmm. like 550,000 views and I do think a site with a lot of traffic I would expect a higher view count to, to what you're saying Devin I was like oh that's the most watched clip on Twitch only has 500,000 views that was I totally interesting agree. to me it did seem like low traffic amount they to like the most well, watched the, that, that the other problem is what doing. The other problem, and this is something that no one fucking talks about on Twitch ever, but what the fuck constitutes a view? How many of the people are actually real viewers, and how many of them are in beds or like or, or like weird exactly. other stuff? They're, yeah, they're counting but, shit that doesn't really. Shouldn't yeah, count. and every platform does this, like not just Twitch, like Facebook and uh, well, YouTube's gotten a lot better about it, but like but, but like Facebook, like for sure, like they're live streaming, like it leaves like something to be desired, like to understand, like are these like real viewers? Like what exactly is this? I, I, sometimes like I see things that are like up to like 40 or 50% of some streams are not real viewers. 
I think also Facebook fucks up the anonymity. The anonymity people have on or, Twitch. An I, anonymity. There we yeah. go. <laughs> you know what I need. Thank you, sir. I, 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 but like that's part of what's fun on being the internet. Not even being a troll, but just being somebody new, somebody different, somebody other than yourself. And Facebook mm -hmm. makes you yourself. As, as so a creator, I like that a lot, though. As a creator, I, there's yeah. something like the Harley, chat Harley, comes Harley. in. How did you not catch yeah. that? What? She literally just, her, her, her quote, her saying was literally the tattoo you read on the back. It makes Oh, me I am me? <laughs> oh. I am <laughs> You are you. I am me. You are you. Yeah. Um, the, the thing is about Facebook is like, I'd be streaming and someone come in and be like, oh, this, like, like, look at this ugly motherfucker or something. And his name isn't some random thing. And I know, I know we could just ban him, but there was like this great sense of like, like I, I am dirty and you shouldn't do this, but like someone will come and be like, look at this ugly motherfucker. And I would like literally like click his profile, click his, like, it'll be like his siblings. I'll like, or click that. And now I'm on his dad's page. And now I'd post a pic of his dad in the chat and be like, oh, this is your dad's an ugly motherfucker. And that for me was like, that was like this That's shit awesome. where I was like, people are like, oh, and now that guy learned a lesson and maybe he won't go and talk shit on the internet because I was able to clap back on a level that I couldn't do here. I'm like, yeah, uh, someone time that guy out for 10 seconds, please. Yeah, yeah, he called me ugly. But on Facebook, it was like, no, listen here, your first name and last name. Yeah. You're leaving yeah, a digital, you're leaving a digital footprint in my stream right now, motherfucker. And we're going to make sure it's a big ass footprint. And it'll stay here for, and I, I did like that a lot, but I'm not saying it's like a good thing. Like, I'm not saying it's good. Like I got an Oculus quest and then I get in and I log on and it's like, add all these people on. Cause you have to have a Facebook to use the Oculus quest. Um, it's like, here's all these people that have the Oculus quest. And I'm like, damn, I don't want to be on a list. You know, I'm Jewish. I'm uncomfortable being on lists. So I didn't like that. Like these are all these people now know that I have the Oculus quest. I thought that was weird of Facebook. So I am team anonymity. But at the same time, as a Fuck creator, no. from Listen, the creator perspective, I did like knowing those motherfuckers. I gotta say two things. First, yeah. thing First thing is, Harley, legend, I would be there with you. I'd I, I do a deep dive CIA style in that shit. That'd be content for fucking months for me. Two, second, <gasps> uh, what a sick shirt. I just noticed that shirt you were in classified. That is fucking sexy. That's two. Yes, sir. Oh. Three. <laughs> Bro, it is so much better having... A little bit of accountability behind people's names for their fucking stupid bullshit comments, right? I had this one guy. Mm. I actually didn't. So usually when people are toxic, I usually just permaban them because I'm at a point right now where I just don't give a fuck. Like, it's just not worth my fucking uh, 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 mood change, right? But this guy, he actually had a video and a, and a, a live video feed of himself on his Twitch channel. So this guy, I didn't even ban. I left him there because, you know, that in itself, I'll give a fucking W for that. But this motherfucker was calling me a cokehead. So I go over to his fucking profile page. Okay, on Twitch. Man, this dude looked straight out of fucking Breaking Bad. Like he was cooking up meth, cocaine, and every other fucking white speed substance. And he's sitting here calling me the cokehead. I fucking showed this motherfucker on screen. I fucking roasted his bitch ass. And we ain't even allowed to do that. But since he came at me first, we are allowed to do that. It, and it's just the best. It's like... and. I haven't heard him say a fucking word since. That is what yeah. we need. As yeah. soon as there's a bunch of kids, right? Back in our day, we all went through that, right? So we learned a little, a little bit of shame. We learned a little bit of the kind of, you know, you want to talk shit, then you're going to get shit talked back. If I make fun of Fandy's uh, big uh, no nose, then I should Whoa. make, then make fun of my big nose, Whoa. right? <laughs> right? So we oh, need, fuck, Tyler. I think we need that in this world to a certain degree. The problem is in today's day and age, right? Kids are growing up behind a computer. There's no interactions. So in a way, there's no physical interaction. So in a way, that they're growing up and seeing the world in like zeros and ones, right? Ones and zeros, right? And they're being disconnected. And they're, they're losing the, their, human, their humanity, right? So now they're saying a bunch of fucked up shit they're not being held accountable for. They need people like you and I, Harley, to, to, to step up and give them a couple fucking, you know, uh, uh, metaphor... Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 you know, m metaphorical slaps in the face, right? To really wake the fuck up and, and help them grow up a little bit. Now, with that said, we have to differentiate and, dis you know, distinguish between the slight kind of shit talking and actual bullying, right? Actual bullying is an okay, right? To the point where we take them down to the level where they have some serious mental fucking side effects later in life. 
But I think the surface level of, you know, I think there's a little bit of surface level bullshit that people need to deal with in order to, you know, really become a man or a woman. Does that make sense? Absolutely. I mean, I, I have a terrible take and I'm going to say it and I hope I don't regret it. Oh boy. Um, I think people... <clears throat> Jewish people specific. No, I'm joking. It's a joke. Um, I think people, I think bullying is a little valuable. I personally have been bullied in scenarios in my life growing up, and I have come out better from it. Like there is an element where I'm like, someone, someone else has got to tell you like what you're doing is just so fucking bothersome or whatever. Like I might like I I used to love. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is trying to bring back bullying. Yeah. <laughs> no man, I, like, dude, I vibe with that. Bring back bullying. No, I, I, I would I, even. I like the consequences. Like, consequences, because like I, I knew when I was younger, if you said a certain thing to somebody, you 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 risk getting your your act like slapped, punched. Like, do you yeah, guys have? I, wait, I, do you guys have friends? On top of that, there's. I would actually even say that, like, I think that minor violence, minor violence, like nah, if you say some know. dumbass People shit, I, oh, and you get it, it, and, 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 or something. I'm, I'm with. Well, well, yeah. okay, so, on so like this no. shit. I wouldn't say minor. I'll tell though. a story. I'll tell a slapped. story real quick because hey. I, I like. Here, here's what I. Here's what I mean by that. Okay. Um. There was this kid in my college this one time, and he would just. He was so fucking rude. And and he would uh, he would just like say just the dumbest shit to people and 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 like everyone's like hey man like that fucking sucks and he would just like he would always get away with it and one day he was on a class trip down to Mexico and he went to a bar he saw this British guy and he's like why do you fucking talk so funny British guy got up and hit him in the face so he did whatever like entitled American did and he called the the police but it's the police in Mexico they come and they say what happened and he, he says well I called he said, I said he had a fucking funny like he talked funny and he hit me. And they're like, dumbass, don't do that. And they went and they went away. And that guy, like, I swear to God, like for the next three years he was at the college, he changed as a person. He never did that shit again. Can you imagine if the police had arrested that guy and he felt like, oh, now this is this is exactly. just what I do. Yeah. 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 And then he got reinforced in that. And then that was uh, his narrative. Some yeah. people can have epiphanies, I think, for sure. In Russia, we got beat like straight up. Like yeah. in school, <laughs> like if you Is came, shit? no, yeah, it was like if you came unprepared and like you weren't in your uniform or like your your script on your I, notebook I wasn't good. So much for my they took a ruler and like just beat your like fucking hand. Like my, they they played zero games there. We, we used to have a supervisor. I went to I went to a set. I think fifth, sixth, seventh, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade in Dubai. That's where I lived there for three years. And my teacher, we had a supervisor that would kind of like be in the he'd oversee all the teachers but he'd he'd have like an office in the middle of the school almost right like in the in the hallway it was just like a glass office in the hallway and we would get sent to him all the time and he would open up a like a, a cupboard and it would be just a bunch of different sticks and and, <laughs> and some had spikes on him some had barbed wire it was literal just like bats and shit like literally just pick up he, the would, day, bro. he would he would he'd have us pick which one he was gonna hit us with so we would always pick the little, the little, the little steady one, thinking, "Oh, that one. Well, that's the first mistake you make. The first time yeah. you go, you pick the little one. But the little one's one of those like very uh, flexible, flimsy ones, and that shit hurts it's the most. So, so by the, the end, one with the barbed wire, end, we were always picking the one with the barbed wire and the spikes on it because that didn't hurt as much oh as God. the one that just fucking. Jesus. I know, but it was. They, no. they I'm not to, trying they to advocate, by the way, for we like children to get beat. It was just so mellow. Yeah, that's not what I meant. Be, children not get beat with a fucking spike log. Like holy fuck. It was a private school too. We were paying a tuition to be at the school. Like I had to wear a uniform. I'm going to distinguish. I'm going to distinguish the two types. Okay, listen. It's very simple. And let me finish this all the way through. Okay, before. I get uh, before you guys add. So okay. there's th there's two types like th that needs to be distinguished between. Okay. So there's senseless bullying. The senseless bullying has no room at all in school, yeah. in today, in society, in in anyone's life. The senseless bullying. You know, examples of this are you know back. I'm sure Mo dealt with this the same as I did during 9/11. Right. Just for being the brown kid, our parents were blamed, or and we were blamed for uh, being the terrorists in the plane. And we, we got beat for that shit, right? That's senseless bullying. Get, you know, p having pimples, walking around, minding your own business, and getting called names and all ugly and ew out loud. You know, that, that shit I dealt with, that's senseless, right? Now, the things that I think are, that, that need to be part of life, it, it's kind of the cause and effect. It, it's the, you know, it's the 
uh, 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 like success and failures or the trial and error, right? That kind of helps you grow as a human is if you walk up and you shit talk somebody and they just smack you in the face right there. I think that shit is necessary, right? If you walk with someone Mm -hmm. and you start some shit with them and you think you're going to hide behind rich daddy lawyer and he smacks you in the face, I think that shit's necessary for some people to grow the fuck up. And in today's society with computers and you can hide behind a screen and you face absolutely no consequence and you, you leave your room and your parents have no idea what you're doing online, so they treat you like an angel and you're literally just getting this, uh, this, this just absolute this thing's getting perpetuated in your brain where you can just continue to do this. There's nothing that you're ever going to face. It's ruining people, right? It's no. ruining motherfuckers. And that's why I think the world is getting crazy. And, and if, you look, if you think about this, here's the perfect comparison that proves what I just said to be true. Look at some of these Twitter uh, uh, younger viewers that are very, very hardcore fans of some of these creators. Look at what they're willing to do, right? They're willing to sit there and tell people that go against their creators to kill themselves and themselves. They're ugly. They're pieces of shit. But as soon as you say one thing back, what do they do? They Try to cancel. No, no, yeah. They're they fold. They can't handle even one little fucking reverse. They'll delete every tweet. Their account name change. Their handle. They're done. That they can't take it. But then they'll come at you with every little thing. And this is a result of that. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. This is the result of the internet. So I think. That shit's 100% necessary. And that, that's why we're living in the fucking time that we are right now. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah I totally yeah, that's agree. Like, that's what I say. I, I feel like the bullying yeah. is kind of like, because the way I look at bullying, that's like kind of like just attacking people that haven't done anything is kind of vulnerable. But like the mm-hmm. consequences of you getting slapped the shit, like, you know, you say something and somebody slaps the shit out of you or punch you and shit, that's like just facing the consequences of your action. I feel mm-hmm. like nowadays people are just so coddled and protected. Mm-hmm. It's just like they, they don't face those consequences, so they just go around feeling like they can just do what whatever, say whatever. Say and, whatever the hell they know, want. Yeah. That's actually, Abdu, that's actually why I have, uh, so when people ask me if I watch you know MMA or if I watch any of these fights, boxing, it's actually why I've, over t- I've built this animosity and spite toward it. It's, it's not the sport itself that upsets me. I enjoy it. It's the fan base around the sport. And here I'll, t- I'll tell you why I've grown up to grow animosity toward the fans of these things. And I'm not talking about people who go there for the actual technicality or the, the, the technical uh, uh, shit, right, regarding the sport. I'm talking about people that go there just to see people get their ass beat, like the movie Gladiator. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, right? The it's I've no- in general. I've, yeah, I noticed, I, so I noticed this growing up, right? The kids that always pissed me off the most in school were the fucking instigators. Do you understand? The ones that started the fight between you and someone else just so they could watch you do it. But as soon as you confronted them, they were always the ones that went to their dad. Always the ones that went to the principal. Always the ones that went to the police. Always the ones that wouldn't do what they set up every single time. Ooh, it's like, and protect is, me from what I just did. Yeah, and that Like, is let exactly, me do all these bad things and then get saved. And I've noticed that that is exactly the type of people who, 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 who watch the boxing matches that aren't there for the technicalities of the sport or the actual art of it. They're there for that. Mm. And that's why I have such an animosity toward them because I grew up around those kinds of people and they were always the biggest fucking pussies and I hated it. I hated it. And, and you can always spot them out from a mile away. Tap out shirt, fucking motocross hat, shirt. bent, yeah. built up. That's the funniest right? thing. The tap it's, out shirt was the funniest. Yeah. Always those so, motherfuckers. You know, on, on that oh, on that whole topic, I have a little bit of a. Oh of, no! Of a oh no! Wait, classy smiling. You have a tap out short, classy. No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you just first started, when you first started, you're like, I hate instigators. I'm like, that was me. I was starting beef. But like, that's I, Mo I, too. I like, Mo's I an instigator too. I was actually starting like beef. No, like, like actually be two people. In, like, on the podcast, I lived. That's not I lived, real beef. I was like a yeah, drama whore. Like, I lived to see like one dude and another dude beef, and I'm just sitting in the corner like, ooh, swing first. Like, I'd be like, oh, he talks shit. Like, I'd be the one yelling just on the side. I'm like, oh no, he didn't. But like, it, I don't know. I was like, I didn't really think it was a big deal. But like, they would like low key like sometimes. Sometimes it would like cause him to like do a little extra stuff. As the one that pulled out his phone in 2013 and was recording the fights and shit. I mean, if you're Bro. about that, all I'm saying is be about it, right? Like if someone comes up to you, you better be ready to throw down too. But like, oh, if no, you're I not. Never, I never got, I was a skinny fucking, I was, I never got involved. I was just like, I see it. And then it, it came in. Now, yeah, I was like, it came and bit, <laughs> bit me in the ass once because these two kids were fighting and my nosy ass like try to go look. I'm like, oh, like what's going on over there? 
And and I'm not gonna lie, they were both like this was fifth grade, and they were both kind of chunky, like they were like big kids. Yeah. And one of them pushed the other one. Of course, my dumbass was behind the other one, and there was a metal <laughs> like metal cage like behind me, like uh. And I, he pushed him right into me, and he slammed me into the metal cage, and I broke my collarbone. And you weren't like, you weren't even in the fight, and you got knocked out. Well, wait. <laughs> Yo, I the Damn! Out. I broke my collarbone. Yo, I gotta I gotta <laughs> advise this guy. This guy, I, I have to advise this guy in chat real quick, uh, because he's about to get absolutely roasted. Give me a sec here. Uh, wait, give me a sec. Okay. <sighs> So he says, have you, have you seen soccer fans? Dickhead, soccer fans are a perfect example of what I'm not talking about. Soccer fans will literally involve themselves in the fight. They'll fucking stab you just because you say their team is bad, okay? Those motherfuckers are hardcore. Do not, give, do not compare soccer fans to fucking boxing fans that literally couldn't even last 10 seconds in the ring before they have a fucking cardiac arrest. Okay, mm -hmm. so don't give me that bullshit. Soccer fans will literally, man, have you been to the UK during a fucking uh, uh, club game? Motherfuckers will break a beer bottle and shank you if you say Arsenal sucks. Do you understand? <laughs> don't, don't give me some Girl, bullshit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they're comparing I'm just imagining two. two guys listening to Grime with a knife asking you what you just said. Like, that's fucking terrifying. No, soccer obvies on Twitter are the scariest motherfuckers. Too. Like, it, yeah. it's always them in the replies that are talking the most shit on any tweet. Yeah, like, those are the scary replies, bro. Like a, a soccer obby. <laughs> It's a picture of Messi with a fucking flag and he's just cooking Wait, my shit. Wait, oh my god, you guys should just go into Castro stream and say some crazy shit and just see what happens. Wait, have, are I'm any of you guys- my, I'm gonna get my grocery list right out loud, bro. <laughs> no, I are, you, are you guys, uh, are any of you guys from like a really small town? Because I recently went back to Virginia um, and I literally fucking forgot that like where I grew up, it was just straight up trial by combat. In Virginia, <laughs> if you talk sh like Southern Virginia though, not Northern, if you talk shit at a bar, somebody will follow you home and pull out a gun. It it's just like- What? Jesus. I sh Virginia? Shit, oh, shit you not. I shit you not. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe that's a lot of people I grew up around, Tidewater area in Virginia. Absolutely, I had a time where um, I got into a lot of fights when I was growing up. And I think one of the, like, the last ones that I got into was I was like at the mall when I was 14 or 15, had some MySpace, MySpace beef with this girl. I catch her in the arcade and I like we talk some shit and then I walk away and she calls me the N word. And so then I like feeling like a big bad bitch turn around and like I hit her. And within 30 seconds, I was on the ground in a completely submissive position. And not only that, but this girl had this like bracelet. It was like one of those thick metal bangles. And she flipped it over her fist and was hitting me with yeah, brass she knuckles. knuckles. Yeah, she, she fucked used my shit knuckles. up That's like completely. I got banned from the mall. She got banned everything. And like, I pro yeah. I've probably been in like two or three more fights after that. Like in Virginia, people just fucking I, 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 in, in, in Arizona. <laughs> in, in Arizona, Arizona residents all know this, okay? Because I, I lived in Arizona. I lived in California. Uh, I lived in California for like four years. In California. If you drive like an asshole, which everyone does, people just roll down. They shit talk the fuck out of you. They, they, they do about They act like they're going to get out of the car. But in Arizona, everyone knows if you see an asshole driver, you don't say a word. You breathe in your car and you drive on. You will literally, you will literally get a goddamn fucking semi-automatic AR pointed at you through the fucking window. And I feel like place. that's how Texas is. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Like in Texas, Texas like, like that. Arizona is like known for serious road rage. Like people have like, if you look up Arizona road rage, people, motherfuckers over like some dumb shit, they like get out of the car and kill each other. It's some fucked up heat. shit. In Arizona, you do not, yeah. In Arizona, you do not uh, 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 shit talk somebody. They will pull a gun out and shoot you right there. It's some stupid, it's fucked up, but that's just how but it is. It it's character building to remember that there are crazy people out there and you need yeah. to be careful. Like you can't just be saying shit to everybody because you don't know. I, I, I do want to. Oh, you can go, my bad. You can no, no, go. I spoke a lot. Here, I'll go you're, instead. You're, Someone you're, said in chat, Florida uh, is also crazy. Nah, Florida is a different kind of crazy. Those motherfuckers will fuck. Florida's a different breed. Yeah, those motherfuckers. Is, yeah. <laughs> Florida is different, okay? Florida's Trump. some shit where like we have, you know, in every other state we have fish tanks with fucking like fish. Flor Floridians have a pool with a fucking crocodile in it, and they fucking feed them like, human remains. Florida's crazy motherfuckers. They're sniffing. Florida is the simulation. I'm yeah, Florida honest, is growing weird. up, growing up, growing up in Brooklyn was kind of like it was kind of rough too. Like we had like in our high school. I, I'm sure it's like a little better now, but like our high school was like pretty bad. Like there were like stabbings and like motherfuckers brought like pocket knives to school. Like we literally had everyone was late every day because 
we had metal detectors like we like hey. i don't know if your high schools had them but like we had metal detectors where you literally had two lines every morning of just Jesus. like you have to throw your shit in the metal detector Damn. and like walk yeah. through it like i felt like it was going to it's, it's like you're going to airport but like for four years Jesus. But, I, I mean shit. Like, no more stabbings like, after that was just stabbed <laughs> y'all was checking people the, all I, day I, huh? I, I, no, and, yeah like, yo abdu abdu before yeah. you go i want to say this to uh uh class here bro i have your flavor here man <laughs> this is really fucking good all right bro i had enough of the tiktok comments on bro, not the YouTube, sour bro. Chug rug, bro this flavor is really good classy i bro. love how they made it after you yo go bro ahead, every time i post a tiktok face carpet <laughs> fucking <laughs> No, but that, I mean, that that's kind of like where, because, you know, I grew up in, well, I grew up in the hood, so it's like, people went with, if you said sh like, if you talk shit or you said something, it didn't even matter if you could beat the person up. It was like, you didn't do certain things because you knew you would have to fight. Even mm -hmm. if you, because I, I'm telling you, when you know you have to fight somebody, even if you can beat them up. It's just knowing that you're gonna have to fight him, even though you can beat him up. It's a like, damn process. It's like, oh my mm -hmm. god, like I, I gotta beat the, then I gotta beat him up again. Like, so you know, people <laughs> didn't say certain shit to people, like, even if they could, you know what I mean? Because everybody's tough, you know what I mean? I agree Nobody, with that, Abdul. Like, because in Virginia, yeah. we just we just didn't really talk shit. Like you might like start some beef and get in somebody's yeah. face, but like you don't disrespect people. Like yeah. you just don't do it. And so it's amazing to me in LA the amount of like entitlement disrespect just yeah. obliviousness i'm like y'all have never been hit before ever yeah, I, i've seen crazy i mean i've seen shit like where it's like people fighting somebody instigating somebody like if it's like you see how train was saying like it, it don't really be instigators like that either like if it's instigators it may be like on the low like they probably said something to this person and then they just sit there quiet while the fight's going on but if people talking during the fight like i've seen people talk during the fight somebody come out and know they slap them shut the fuck you know like just yeah, slap that's it. how it should like, be. Just yeah. slap them and like, yo, shut up. And then it's like, yeah. So you it, know, it, I, everyone has egos. It, 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 it's, it, it, yeah, it's crazy. I did want to point out a story initially about the whole bullying thing that was a little bit less of a, a little bit more of a gray area than standing up to a bully. It was this scenario. My my friend's kid, um, is like ten years old. Yeah. And he entered like he's like he takes break dancing classes. And he took a break dancing class. Um, and at the end of the year, they couldn't, they take the break. They take everyone and they put them one on one and they have like a little show. And I, I watched it and it was just my friend's kid came out and the other kid was pretty good. He was doing some cool moves or whatever. And then his kid did this dance like he was very bad and it was so terrible. It was just so ugly. He was like doing like when you're like in, you're trying to move your hands fast like you're a fucking stupid kid and you can't dance and you can't <laughs> exert your energy properly so you do something dumb like this and that was his dance moves and he was there in front of any everyone and he did that and the other kid like was actually dancing and they did like three rounds and he kept doing that and even one of the moves was like he was going on his back foot and then going to the front foot and it was like this weird like this move and he did that and everyone clapped and like at the end they were like great job and I was there, and I was like, yo, uh, someone's got to fucking tell him he sucks. Okay. <laughs> someone's got to tell him he sucks because he's yeah. going to go, and he's going to put himself in. He's going to graduate uh, elementary. He's going to go to high school, and he's yeah. going to be like, last time I was in a breakdancing contest, everyone clapped. And now he's going to go on stage in front of everyone and do this fucking stupid-ass dance, and it's going to be bad. You know what? That's real shit be us, because can. because that fucking happened to me. Okay, the way I became oh, a fucking shit. competitive dancer, real shit. I danced exactly like Harley's fucking saying. Uh, it was in front of my. I'll never forget it. It was in front of one of my ex girlfriends and her best friend. I like. I was like. I, I did like the fucking white person dance. I was doing some dumbass shit, and they were like, they were like, never ever dance again. You were fucking terrible. And I got so fucking mad. I practiced every day for five years until I could compete, and that's how I became the dancer. I am. I've never told that story, yeah. but that's it's a, like that's a make, it's like a oh, make it true. It fucking no, motivated no. me. Where's that? Where's no, that? Like, yeah. Where's that? Where's I'll be, I'll be honest, Where's guys. I don't have that motivational of a story. Here is my story. I uh, <laughs> one day uh, I was watching like music videos, and I was like, I was young. I was like, I, I forgot what, maybe thirteen, fourteen, or fifteen, maybe even maybe even twelve. I, I was young. That's the point. And I was wondering, and my mom like, I was. My mom was like in the car. I'm like, this is like, it's so cool how they like kind of choreograph, choreograph whatever the fuck the dances, right? Like in the background. And she got the wrong idea. She thought it meant like I wanted to do that. 
So for for summer classes, she signed me up for something called uh, it was like hip hop and R and B dance, right? Some shit like that. And she figured since it was like you know whatever, and I'm like the fuck? I'm like okay, fuck it, right? So I, I walk into class. It is all girls, okay? And they're staring at me like I am this just just freak. Like, they're wondering, like, what a dude, right? Like, a, a lot of people, like, in today's day and age, in today's generation, they kind of see things as black and white, right? If they're looking at me that way, then they must be sexist because they're, they think dance is only for, right? People in this generation don't understand. Back in the day, that's what it was, right? If a dude walked into a dance class, uh, everyone assumed, man or woman, that you're either gay or that's it, or you're in the wrong class. That's what it is. As a man, you're either gay or you have to be a girl. Like, th that's what it was back then. Like, like, at least in Arizona, that's what it was. So I remember like I got, I, I didn't have the same motivation as Devin. I got bullied out of that class. Okay. Like 20, 20 <laughs> girls pointed and laughed at me. I never fucking went back in that class ever again. And I didn't touch dance ever again. It was fucking insane. So that was my story. So good on you, Devin, for coming back and, uh, you know, Wait, is that video you linked? Is that Devin? Devin? I am is like, that Devin? Bro, I was wondering. What <laughs> Wait, Damn, Wait, what the fuck? Damn. Are you famous on TikTok? Devin? Wait, what? Is are that, a, is that video TikTok? him? That's 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 oh god! Oh, are you famous on before you, before TikTok? You show the video, how how oh, yeah. can anyone watch this video and think this is a day die dancing? No, look at Devin move. Wait, hold on oh. a second. Are you famous on TikTok? No, this oh. is just no, he not. dances. So what do you just yeah. you you know how to dance? I just, and it's 2021 and you don't have 500 wait, yeah, followers wait. You, you should be TikTok. using TikTok. I don't advertise it, no, yeah, it's, it's a whole You should just be getting I, some I people to edit you, some music you, over I'm this. I'm actually furious with you right now. Okay. You get <laughs> that sweet <laughs> little moving <laughs> ass <laughs> on fucking TikTok <laughs> and show <laughs> these fucking kids what's up, bro. <laughs> Did you guys not this know is that sick. You, you guys didn't know about Devin? This is no, my respect is like the roof right now. The guy's like fucking vibing. This He's is moving. Sick, bro. Yeah, that can be a Fortnite. Now dance. I under. Now I, I understand the, the emoji. Time. Now I, I understand the, the emoji. Time. Yeah. He gets hyped. He does the yeah. little. Yeah. Dev, Dev, don't get it twisted. Dev can still dance. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm that. Um, I yeah, can like that, years after that video <laughs> for sure. Bro, you're like so much hotter right now. Wait, wait. Just say, just that's you. Read my last man. Yeah, that's actually you. You fucking did the flip, bro. Like what? That's crazy. Dude. Yeah, we, uh, I like we did all kinds of different variations. Like I, I started in this style called Tektronic because I loved like seventies disco. So it's like bigger moves. And then, uh, and then like I got into like breaks. So I threw in that kind of shit, like aerials. Is Tektronic and, and flips different and from Tectonic. Uh, Tectonic is the uh, is is the yeah the same thing. Yeah, so, ga like like Milky Way Galaxy is like the big like like uh, it was like um. No one cares about this shit, but the, like the lore is like there was like a French dance team that started doing it, um, uh, and it was like it like got to America, and it's like a super cool style. So I I like did that. I learned that. That's sick, bro. That's sick. Also, on the same thing about bullying, like I've seen some people like, like I, it even goes. You could be successful. You could be on YouTube, and you got so many views. And like you're uploading some particular shit, and I'm like, no, this person's fans have to bully them for this one. Like their <laughs> fans have to let them know. Or like I'll see someone show up, and they'll be like wearing something, and I'll be like, this person doesn't have good friends. Like I've even gotten like mad at my girlfriend. I'll be like, yo, like yo, that's your friend there, and she's like, yeah. And I'm like, you like, I'm like, you see what she's wearing, and she's like, yeah, it looks like shit. I'm like, well, that's not your friend if you're not gonna go there and be like, bitch, you're dressed yeah. like a fucking idiot right Dude, now. Just imagine yeah. them at the club doing this. There's most I, <laughs> I used to, I to I, before he got started talking about it. I used to have um uh, so there used to be these like um this is gonna sound so fucking dumb, oh my god, but there used to be these like pretty good parties at like esports events, like I like after IEMs and shit, and that was like the one time I got to do it. Uh because I'm not like a club obviously I'm not a club person, right? Look at me. I'm like a fucking nerd that play I'm, I'm playing Final Fantasy 14 right now. Nah, like I'm not. <laughs> nah, bitch. That's what I thought. I thought you were Final Fantasy 14. No, you're yeah. a fucking club person. You are a club person. Like, no, you I'm are. Not. Like you, you are. are. <laughs> what are you talking about? You better fucking honestly, when this shit's over and clubs are opening up, you better get your ass fucking in there, bro. If we're speaking, I don't know how to leave my house, Harley, man. If we're speaking of what people look like, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I love you, but I feel like I've I feel like I've seen you on a you know episode of you know, Duck Dynasty, or maybe one of those bass shows at 6 a.m. in the morning, teach me how to fucking reel in a bass. And I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. 
I like it <laughs> yeah. a lot. Yeah, he looks Thank like you. Olaf. Doesn't I'm he? liking it a lot, dude. That <laughs> beard is it. It's the color of your beard. It's the color of your hair. What is that? Is that a caramel brown? What is it? Like it's a chestnut. Chestnut. A chestnut brown. I like that yeah. a lot. Like you don't see that color much very often. Think about that. See, that's, it's that's like, also hyping people up oh, is good too because I'm gonna get off Bid this bonanza, bro. That's him. I'm, I'm, Both I'm, of them I'm, can be good, yeah. But but I yeah. agree with Harley like a hundred percent. Like when you like tell a kid that they did like a great job and and they did like a shitty job, like I feel like that like it's just it's either setting them up for massive disappointment mm -hmm. and conflict mm -hmm. later on, or it just yeah it does them no favors. Being sure. honest my, creates like that make or break moment, time. you know. I'll be honest with you. I'm not telling my daughter or my son anything negative about what they do. It's gonna have That's to come cool. from train or somebody. Well, for you can what? raise some losers. Like raise losers course. then if you my, want. I think my brother- Raise some soft ass losers. losers. My brother will do it though. I'll have him. I gotta be the nah, good guy. Nah, dude, your but brother- Your brother is the result of uh, of what you're trying to do. No, Not I've to... literally, I've only brought him down over through life. It's, I've never I've only brought him down. down. I've only, yeah. <laughs> Your brother, dude, your brother reminds me of every, like, Middle Eastern uh, little brother. Like, just, like, mm -hmm. shameless motherfucker, bro. Like, th th that day when, like, he was in that call with us. And, like, like I I'm cool with you yelling at me, Mo. We know each other. But as soon as your little brother yells yeah, at me as it, like, like yeah. I'm a 30-year-old man, boy. I'll smack the <laughs> shit out of you, you talking like that. No, I was actually mad. I was actually mad at that. Like, what? I hate that, right? Th th that's another consequence of... Uh, uh, of new generations right no they don't they try to, well that's my brother trying to be me he you can't know, yeah yeah you know people I mean? don't understand like, context and like you know different exactly, situations if mo exactly. can if mo can like walk up to me and grab my dick and say yo train fuck you you're wrong or whatever the fuck fuck you bitch right it doesn't mean every other motherfucker can right mo yeah. can because we're close right but if someone mm. if a stranger does that thinking he, he can imitate what mo did there's a difference but here's the thing they don't understand that difference people these days don't, don't understand that because they, they see things so black and white if mm -hmm. he can do it, I can do it, right? If he says this, mm -hmm. it must mean this. There is no in between these days, and I don't know if that's a parenting issue. I don't know if that's a schooling it's a issue. It's a society it's issue, society bro. Issue. It's everything. Yeah, it's it's, it's a result of the internet, fun. I think. The internet has really kind of fucked you, up a lot of things. Um, I think you got it. I don't think we're hardwired to to deal with the internet, like our brains and all of the well, social we come, stuff. We, we're definitely old not. <laughs> we're old definitely enough not. to where we we've experienced life before internet enough to know. Yeah. Whereas the younger generation has never experienced life before internet, so it's completely different for them than us. You got us. I remember. I remember when the internet w was a became a thing. I was old enough to be like, "What the fuck's the internet? What's this? Oh, cool! I can do this." Like before that. I, I would leave my house and I would somehow know that I wouldn't even have a watch or anything. I just know, oh, it's time to go home right now. And it, it, I don't know how I the even street got lights came when on. The lights, the street yeah, lights the street on. lights yeah. came on. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's just nighttime. <laughs> it, it, I got to, or, or dinner I, time, you smell, you know, it, it's crazy because I would go to my friend's house. I would know where to go to places without having google maps without having anything i would literally Same. know how to walk there map quest print yeah. oh i printed yeah. up map quest. Yeah. Oh, map quest yeah i would map quest for sure i would actually have the printout and but it's crazy we went through all that so we we have a different appreciation for shit we do where people that haven't gone through that really Dude, I will never get to experience that i had a i had a crew like all of us had the bmx bikes right before our go peds we had the bmx bikes we, we had a neighborhood crew of just like 10 10 year old we're all like 10 11 right just a crew, we'd roll around. We go to the, the there was this place called I forget, what was it? Water and Ice. I don't know if you guys have this. Water and Ice. It's a place where every selection of candy, anywhere. This is the biggest selection of candy and like slushies, and everything is like one dollar, right? We, and they had smoke bombs as well. And we'd go there, get stocked up on candy. We'd each get a drink. We'd buy a bunch of smoke bombs. And we just go to the canal area in this green belt and sit in the canal. It was emptied. And we just fucking eat our candy. And then, like, we'd act like CIA agents and throw these smoke bombs and bike away. Like, that was – those were the days. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, like, around 5 a.m. when the lights when, – when, when the sky was getting darker and the street lights were coming on, as the closer you got to home, I remember, I would smell my parents, like, steak barbecuing on the grill, right? And like I knew it was dinner time. I'm coming back right on time. I ate dinner. Then I went right to Diablo 2. I would play Diablo 2 the rest of the night oh, until I had to go to bed. That's awesome. Like that was like that was the that was my shit. Life was simple back then, dude. It was simple. Mm -hmm. It was a perfect oh, was. amount of everything, right? You had the interaction socially, 
And then you also came back and retreated to the internet because you, school didn't go your way, right? You were bullied in schools and the internet was your retreat. You know, your games were your retreat. Mm -hmm. So you had a little bit of both and that's what kept us fucking even. These days, every, people are using the internet as their entire life, right? Their entire yeah. identity is the internet. And because of that, they're not learning consequence. They're not learning what reality is about. And everything's getting harder and harder. And the problem is we have people making excuses for them, right? We have people mm -hmm. making excuses for them. And on top of that, people are too scared to call it out because mm -hmm. they think it's gonna, they're going to get canceled over it. No and one has the balls what? to say shit. Mm -hmm. and you I know what? Other... I... Oh, you can go ahead. No. <laughs> no. Yo. I think the other Yo, thing about it soon, too. By the way. Just want to make that clear. <laughs> Which I gave it to her, Mo, not you, okay? Her <laughs> turn. Um, I think the other thing that's really scary too is like as we transition into like, oh, internet and Zoom works. Okay, less school, less work. And one thing that really pushes us is working with people that we don't get along with. It pushes our boundaries, mm -hmm. it forces us to compromise, mm -hmm. it forces us to learn how to communicate. But online, we tend to surround ourselves with people that think and feel similarly yes. to us because it feels safe. Um, and so the more we do that, the less we're gonna push our boundaries and grow as people. And that's something mm -hmm. that's really scary to me. I see you know that with a lot of content creators too. Like, I don't know, like that's yeah. just me. Like that a lot of people, like they're, they're too scared to like step out of their circle to like meet other people. And I'm like, I'm like in like the grand scheme of things, I'm like, I don't like stuff like this, like where I don't know, like I obviously like some of you know each other, some of you don't, but like it's cool, like meet and like step out of that boundary zone of like just meeting other people, talking about like experiences, like stuff like that. But like nowadays, it's just really just tight circles, and they only hang out with like the same people that I already know. And I'm like, oh, there needs to be dude. more, like more of this. After and then, like, do you know how many fucking dinners I've been invited to in LA with a bunch of people just because they're all popular. And it's like, none of you are breaking down your boundaries. None of you are being real people. You're just all congregating. The worst part. Because... That was the worst part about living in LA. Yeah, fuck With the that event shit. after event after event. With a bunch of people that don't care about each other and they're only congregating Facts. because they all have large numbers. Facts. And exactly. fuck mm -hmm. that funny. shit. It's funny because you, were, uh, you were on Smosh Games, but the thing is, I actually, when I was doing a big meal time and all these... These events, event, event, every week, mm -hmm. every week, every week. I was always like, I remember like seeing like the first like uh, original Smosh Games group. And I remember trying to meet everyone, everything. And I'd like walk away from this event and I'd see like one of the guys from Smosh Games and be like, that's so hinky. But then I'd see someone else from Smosh Games and I'd be like, that's also so hinky <laughs> and then like whenever i would describe an event like to the to the rest of the guys i'd be like yeah we're going to this fucking stupid youtube la event and they'd be like who's gonna be there and i'd be like uh so hinky and that meant it would be all of smosh games and like all of the groups that like would be at these types of events but it was much smaller than to what you're than to what you're referring to now mm -hmm. and i obviously know that so hinky and joe and Chai are all different people and all that but at the time that's how i described events it was like so hinky to me and it just meant like it was going to be all the people that i was like ha ha hey me too we yep. have subscribers man hey. yo when are we gonna hang out for real not this shit anyway yeah okay when are we gonna collab oh, like i don't want to fucking collab with you i want to sit on the couch and watch netflix and not talk for two hours and check our phones like that's what i want to do but nobody nobody's here for that shit and i gotta point this out it's so important to every kid that they smoke weed every kid has to smoke let me explain something to you okay and not like a kid obviously but you know I disagree, like when you actually. get to like that age i want hold on i want to tell you why it's important okay, just ahead. from my perspective okay yeah i i have an older brother and sister and um <clears throat> i would sit down and i would be eating breakfast and my brother would go shut the fuck up and I'd be like, what? And I'd be like, and my sister would be like, shut up. I swear to God, I'm just eating cereal. I love cereal. I would fucking eat it so fast. And they would be like, ooh, ooh, why are you making these noises? Ooh. And I'm like, what's he talking about? Anyways, one time I got high. And then I was like, I was like 17, 18. I'm like, I got high and I ate cereal because I was so high. And I was eating cereal and I no joke. I, I, I heard myself. I was doing this. I would eat and I would go. Oh, 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 oh. So weird. <laughs> Never knew it. It was like some weird muscle memory shit. But as soon as it went in my mouth, I was like, oh, and I heard it. And I was like, I make this fucking noise. I make this fucking noise even weirder. And I probably wouldn't share this story if it wasn't like on the train podcast. But like I was like 17 years old and I was like so high and I wiped my ass and I was bringing the paper up and I stopped and I was like, what the fuck? I was about to smell the paper. I was about to smell my own shit. 
<laughs> and I never thought about it. Because when I was like, you know, nine, I'd wipe my ass and be like, my shit smells like this today. I'm a dumb kid. Never thought about it. It became like a muscle memory thing. But now I'm 17. I wipe my ass and I was bringing up. I was like, oh, I was about to smell my own shit. And only now that I'm high do I have the self-realization to be like, you guys smell my own shit? What am I fucking crazy? I didn't realize that. I used to have these sweatpants. They had like an elastic bottom and they were really like, I felt like they were form fitting and they were cool. And my mom would always be like, you got to change your sweatpants. I'm going to buy you new ones. And I'm like, mom, these are my favorite sweatpants. Never want to change my sweatpants. I got fucking high, was walking out of the house, caught my reflection, stoned. And I'm like, bro, I look fucking stupid. I look fucking stupid. You get high enough, you'll catch yourself bullying yourself. Second guessing some of the shit that you thought was nothing. And I'm like, I feel like I got high and I would sit down and be like, these are all the things that I do that are just fucking unbearable. And now that I am high, I realize how I can improve myself and be better because I never had that outside look on myself. I was always like living life, running around screaming. You know, I'm not saying you got to smoke a lot, but like, I just like got high. I'd be like, Harley, lower your voice. Be chill. Before I ever blazed, I had no chill, bro. I'm fucking moaning while eating cereal and smelling my own shit. (laughs) Oh, now you're living me. life to the fullest, to be honest. Like, you got yeah. lost out. Yeah, I'm just with this. I'm about to bully myself wrong, right though. now. I'm saying, I mean, seriously, low key. every kid should get high. <laughs> Bro, yeah, well, not every kid, but... <laughs> well, no, Any listen, kid that's listen, smelling listen. his own shit, that's what I, I meant. I, 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 understand, I, understand what you, I, I understand what you, what you mean when you say that. Like, when you say that, I get exactly what you mean. I just feel like we live in a different generation, and it's just going to... People are just... It's just different now. But back in our day, I agree, right? Like, but anyways, hear me out here. Here's how I know 90%, and that's just a completely arbitrary number. Here's how I know 90% of the internet doesn't have actual face-to-face interactions enough. And it's literally their reaction every time you see any streamer get annoyed of each other, right? All of us who have ha- ha- gone out and we've had the interactions, whether we're, you know, inward or outward, it doesn't matter personality wise. We know that even if it's our best friend in the whole world, there will be weeks, maybe months where we don't talk to each other because we are annoyed of each other because we're mad at each other because we don't like each other. That is normal. But in this internet world, if I call my friend Greek annoying, There are six articles, seven threads, how one of us is the bad friend, how this isn't okay, how this is too mean and fucked up, how one's a fake friend and one's a real. No, that is what a relationship and friendship is. You set boundaries constantly. You get annoyed at each other. It's literally human nature. Do you understand? Having two humans interact and and, and stay cool long term, that, that is a goddamn miracle of its own. And the fact that every time I see one streamer should talk another and it hits news as if, it's, as if it's this crazy thing, a reflection of their character, tells me how disconnected from reality so many people on the internet are. And it's actually fucking scary because who I don't know what it's going to lead to, right? Eventually, it's going to yeah. lead to something and it won't be good because part of our humanity is that interaction human to human. And it's we're just getting more and more disconnected from it as we go on. But we'll I, see. I think the worst part is when they like when the public makes them feel like they did something bad and they make like an apology for something they don't yeah. even they they're making apologies for stuff they didn't even realize they should be apologizing for, but they do it just so like the public's like, oh like it's cool. Like you know what I mean? Like just so like they the public thinks that it's nice for them. I was like, I thought that was like a little because I've seen a, a lot of that recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean I yeah, I've told them I'm like, listen don't fucking apologize right like instead i mean i've said this so many times i've said it for the last like probably year instead of get like i understand people are listen this i think this from the content creator perspective stems from parenting and it it stems from like self-identity issues right i don't think people know who they are enough to love who they are right and know themselves enough and that's why i think they fold and apologize right because even if you're trying to save face in order to maintain and still keep a large fan base, right, and st- remain relevant, I still, I, st- I still don't think that's enough. If you truly know who you are, 
to apologize for something you don't believe in you did wrong, right? People need to learn like that when they're in control of a huge fan base, they need to understand that it's either they're the fucking wolf or they're going to get wolfed. Do you understand? It's, it's either them eating or, 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 they're gonna, or, or getting eaten. Do you understand? So you, you, need, you either need to be the leader and set boundaries and explain what's going on, right? So maybe an apology is too far unless you did something that you believe is actually wrong. But they need to sit them down and be like, listen, I understand how this is being perceived, right? I get the, I, I get the effect of it. This is not what I meant. We need to be able to look at things this way. Like this is the way it needs to be structured so that these younger kids understand what's going on. Otherwise, like this thing where, you know, it, no one's doing it. Everyone's so scared. I don't know what they're so scared of. I mean, I guess I do, but I don't know. I think, uh, I, I think the biggest problem with this is PG-13 creators. And here's why. I think when you prop yourself up to be this perfect, good thing, which let's say it right now, if you are a human being, it is not possible. Like one trait of a human being is literally imperfection. It's literally having skeletons in your closet. It's literally making mistakes. It's literally doing things that you regret 10 years later and learning from them. It's because they're propping themselves up as, as the, and setting these unrealistic standards that they know deep down they cannot meet. And every time they get off stream, if you notice, it's always the PG-13ers that have the worst like issues, right? When it comes to anxieties and, and, and just mm -hmm. depressions. I'm not talking about mental illness. I'm talking about the cause and effect kind, the, the kind that is, isn't a mental disease. It, it isn't a chemical imbalance. It's the cause and effect kind, right? You do something, the effect of it is a sadness, right? If you notice, it's always that type of streamer because... You're setting a standard that you yourself have to meet that is unrealistic and, and unmeetable. And I think what happens is they're scared to talk on certain things because there is so much dirt on them that could ruin that perfect image, right? And I feel like if one day we all just came out and just put the image out there like, listen, I've done things, I've said things, here they are. You know, if you choose to stop following me or something, then hey, do it. But I'm gonna continue doing me. Like these are the things that need to happen in order for us to get to a, like a place that isn't so far gone as now. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, they only, I think they only do that when like someone actually reveals it. I know I don't think I've ever seen a creator say like like oh I've done this this unless like someone already brought it up to attention and that's like a big deal too. Like no one's really like out here trying to that. say what they did wrong before it gets exposed by somebody else. You know what I mean? Like they kind of just like if they did something yeah. wrong they just wait till it's exposed and, and then, then they it's do like. It. Yeah. Imagine you put out your giant twit longer of here's everything I've ever done. I'm absolved. And then like everybody that was involved in each one of those instances says, oh, well, that's not how it happened. And now you have six dramas at once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, but that's in this not day and age, you could use that strategically in this, in this, uh, the way it is yeah. and the, the culture of everything. But if you have something coming out and you want to like get this big thing and you're like a scummy creator, you could be like, what type of thing can I admit to doing or drama could I get involved in that I could also control the narrative and get away mm. with it, mm. but have people talk about me? I look at creators now and I see the creators that play the game and I look at some of them, I'm like, oh, scumbag. Oh, I see yeah. it from a mile away. <laughs> yep. I look at what some of these people do and I have Cloud friends they come... I have friends that come over that like yeah. barely like pay attention to YouTube stuff and they're like, yo, man. You know, be sick for a comeback if, like, why don't you, like, do this or that or whatever? And I'm like, bro, I'd rather fucking fade away to obscurity than play some of the YouTube games that these people play or these yeah. club chasing games that these people play. Like, I, I just, I'm not about it. That's but, why I stay And alone. people are. But that's, the, but that's also yeah, I'm, you, I'm you being kind of true to yourself, Harley, in that sense. What Tyler was saying earlier about how, like, there's the PG-13 content creators that feel sad later. Well, imagine you're doing that for four years. You start when you're 15, but now you're almost 20 and you've had to work in this very adult industry, work, running your own business. You're very mature at this point. So now you're 20 or you're 19 or 20 with this 10 year old audience, but this is what you've built up and you can't just shift your content. So it's like you've created this prison for yourself that you can't mm -hmm. get out of. And kind of what Harley was just saying is he's like, I'm not gonna go back to, you know, being 25 on YouTube. Like, this is what I'm doing now. This is my veteranship. These are my sponsorships. This is like the next step. And a lot of people are scared to take that because they just wanna hold on to the past or the money or the ego or the fame. Well, two things. Uh, yes, that's correct. First thing I want to clarify is what Classy said. Uh, I think 
I don't think that's necessary to do only for this reason. I think all that matters in the situation you brought up of like absolving yourself and admitting everything you've done is one thing. When it does come out, stay consistent to it. So if you didn't bring it out from before, because to you, it's already done or you don't find it to be that way because you know the actual context of it. I think as long as you stay consistent and you don't suddenly like uh, backpedal and get defensive and apologize, then I think it's fine. But if you like tried hiding it and it comes out and you try pulling this bullshit, you know, I'm playing the, you know, oh, that's, that wasn't me, this, that, right? I think that's the issue. Like that, that's why for my tweet, a good example is my tweets, right? I have some tweets of using, uh, uh, like with my friends, you know, rest in peace uh, uh, to the individual I'm referring to, but to my friends, I would use, you know, on Twitter, N word soft A, right? And there was a time where I had, you know, the Minecraft kids, they tried pulling on me what they pull on pretty much everybody, right? And they, they, they were retweeting that, you know, to current day saying I'm this way and that way. And I'm sure they, they're expecting me to delete it, right? And fucking fully go into my fucking uh, uh, shell. No, I, I left that up, right? Not because I'm saying it's okay, not because I'm saying it's fine to talk like that, because that was a different time and a different me. And I understand why now it's not okay, why now it's wrong, why now it's perceived and yeah. is that way, right? But then it wasn't that way and it was a different time, right? So I'm not gonna delete that, right? I will make a statement that now I am this way and I understand what's wrong with it in this day and age. Does that make any sense? So no, I think no, as long as you stay consistent with who you are and what you're about i think it's fine does that make any sense it does and that's mm -hmm. probably one of the most annoying things now it's like people don't give room for change these days like they don't like they, they they're like that same person like that's who you you gotta be like they'll that, see a four-year-old tweet were. and they're like that's yeah. that person like, yeah, yeah and they're like they, they never like, even speaking a word you, to you in your life you expect someone to change over the years or like to be like a better person to show like the difference between like this this was that person but now like how many years have to pass two five ten like until they realize, wow, this person actually saw their mistakes. They got better. They're an overall, like, better human because they saw what they were doing wrong and they made it better. Mm -hmm. I deleted a tweet I once. I deleted a tweet once, and I, I, I bought, tweeted the tweet that I deleted at <laughs> Keemstar. <laughs> so if I delete something, a bot will tweet Keemstar my deleted tweet. So I was just like, okay, I'm not even going to go look and do any of this. Fuck it. It's just, <laughs> who gives a shit? You know, let's hope God, no, one, no, no one goes looking for it. I hate that for you. <laughs> that is, yeah, that that is actually, us. that's terrifying. <laughs> that's yeah. what the fuck? You're in Twitter prison. Oh, yeah. God. I, I can't imagine. Like, someone... Oh, sorry. Uh, I can't imagine some of these, like, these younger creators. It's like, you know, you go through all your shit when you're younger and you learn from it. Like, being in front of like so many people like being so scared to like fuck up and have that like there forever and then people just like not ever letting you like get past it like i just i don't know people that is, like... our age are the most fucked you have to understand that yeah. like, listen i'll say it straight up like the shit that these content creators are apologizing for today man <laughs> these motherfuckers were putting <laughs> yeah. in fucking guantanamo bay back <laughs> in my day and age yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah. We were doing some yeah. degenerate shit for in our times, like, like yeah. you know, nothing evil, but like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like just the, what the day and age was. Cancelable, like, never evil, but cancelable for sure. Yeah, yeah, never evil, mm -hmm. but definitely, definitely cancelable, one hundred percent. Like at that I, time, no one thought of it like that. Does that mean like it at was that a different time, time? Yeah, that's what it was I'm saying. Different like, time. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. It that's, was. That's, I mean, it was. I mean, even that story what? I gave about walking into the dance place and the girls kind of bullied me out of it, saying, you know, are you gay? Right? Like, like that right even now. That, yeah. If I don't even give that context, I promise you, I'd get canceled, and someone will connect that to me being homophobic, let alone the girl right like it'd be the like those days were crazy do you understand like there was it was some crazy days and it's crazy to say that because like, at the time i didn't think it was crazy but now i feel old and it sounds like i'm coming from 1920s but really the, Tyler, we know you did some crazy shit fuck yeah i did man i was uh, man shit these days today man if someone's you know doing some you know if you're wifed up and you do some shit you're done you know what i'm saying back in those days you know, I mean, it, it was considered a fucking award, a medal you got if you're fucking your girl's best friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are the days we came from. What? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I actually was a, a teacher before I did all this stuff. I was a teacher. So my perspective on children and the school ground is just something that I, I'm always like, like I was teaching 
um, when, you know, social media was a thing. And I thought about like, damn, like, I'm so happy I didn't go through high school with like Instagram. We're like the popular yeah. kids have like a number above their head about how popular they are or whatever. Ooh. And I'm so happy that's not the scenario, but I can't help but think about like the certain scenarios that could occur. Like imagine a kid who's like, you know, uh, a, a freshman and he's a loser and he's uncool, but for some reason people like his content on TikTok and he blows up and how that would fuck with the power balance of high school because the uncool mm. kid has real life clout outside of high school and the kids that want to leech off that or whatever. But then I think about like elementary school, kids that maybe watch like Logan Paul or Jake Paul and they don't know anything of the context of it and someone does something and then like amongst the cool kids being like, cancel them, you're canceled. And I thought, oh. like, yo, there's probably, like, elementary classes where a kid is canceled amongst his classmates. Oh, my God. And it's, like, low-key probably super painful oh because being God. ignored by a group of people is probably really <laughs> hardcore. And I was, like, I'm so happy I'm not teaching with kids probably canceling their classmates and shit. And then imagine I, you have to move like to shunned. a different class. And it's, like, oh, he just got here because he got canceled. He got oh, canceled oh, at his last school. You got just straight bullied or, like, beat up. Yeah, you have the worst sad. rumor like, at that point. He tweeted insane. this hashtag. I'll tell you what, honestly, I'll, just beat me up. I will tell you what's <laughs> insane about that. And this is what a lot of the kids that engage in this behavior don't understand. And I think it's the same denial that high school bullies are in, right? In our day and age, the kind of, the more physical and mental, uh, sorry, the physical and verbal torture, torturing bully, they don't understand that this is the cycle of bullying, right? So today's day and age, it's the internet, it's canceling or it's, you know, uh, 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 bullying on the internet to the point where you tell people to kill themselves. They, these groups of people, they, they strongly and truly believe that they're in the right. They think they're seeking justice. Do you understand? But they don't have all the facts. They haven't done the research. They just know this feels good because they saw one thing and this is the result of that one thing and they're the fucking enforcers. But they don't realize this is the very denial that a lot of the bullies are in when they're bullying in high school, right? Oh, this kid's doing this. He's probably freaking that girl out. Let me fucking uh, push my way and be the hero. Like, it's the same kind of mentality and the same kind of justifications happening. And what happens here is like what you just said. If someone does something and gets canceled in a group of friends and now they're bullied and shunned out and ignored, that individual is literally going through the same things that a kid that's being bullied. Like, it is modern day bullying is what I'm trying to say. Do you understand? Yeah, bullying to beat bullying. Like I know what you mean. Like you're just as you're 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 not problem solving the way you think you are by handling no, no, no. it in bullying, that way. No, no, no. Bullying to bullying to beat bullying, I think sometimes is necessary. That's what I'm referring to. What I'm referring to is the reason so the no, individuals that are the, the individuals that are doing this kind of th thing, they don't consider what if I'm wrong. You understand? They whole they wholeheartedly believe they are in the right. That is the problem. This is why the issue won't be fixed. You learn that either from being raised correctly and being pressed by your parents, or by being pressed by friends or strangers that you interact with randomly or socially, right? But mm -hmm. when, when, when you don't have that and you're behind a computer screen, right? You're never going to learn that. And what's happening is. These people think they're in the right. They think they're serving justice. Do you understand? And that's a dangerous fucking denial to be in because you're pretty much justifying this mean shit you're saying to somebody in the name of justice. Do you understand? But what I'm trying to say is that is a bully's state of mind. That is, they're doing, like, they're doing the same thing, not realizing the effect of it, right? A lot of bullies, they come from some fucking household trauma, going through some shit, and they project it onto others. In their mind, it's a completely different thing going on, right? So until people realize and turn around, look in the mirror and realize, okay, have I been in this situation? Have I done this? Okay. Was it actually that way? If it would have been seen this way in the public, would they have thought this of me? Probably. Like, it need, you need to insert yourself into the person that you're pushing these narratives onto and realize maybe, is there a chance that this didn't happen? No one's doing that. Everything's so black and white in the cancel culture world that no one's giving it a second, right? To think and to, you know, understand how dangerous what they're doing is. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess I'm kind of ranting.
And I'll, no, be honest, it I'll be honest, halfway through, I lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> I'll be completely real with you. So I'm not even sure if I completed the same sentence of the same thing I started with, but we'll hope I did. Hey, listen, I'm not going to lie, dude. I, didn't, I, I understood what you said, but I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Are you reading chat? That's nice. No, no, no. I'm falling asleep. Dude. That's what so chat literally go. spammed for me the last three days of my stream. Yeah, Mo was How talking about some yeah. damn I gotta go about an hour ago. Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> this guy said it's gonna be a short one today. It's five hours in. So I gotta actually do so. I love you guys. It's uh, I'm too old for this right now. No, Mo yeah, call you know, you boys? Know Holy, I want you here every week, dude. Okay, name the price. Yeah, I know. I, uh, Devin, what did uh, I have to talk about? Whatever should pay this gets paid on a frenemies. I feel like I want 45% plus highlights. All right, I'll tell you what, uh, Harley. I, I will give you the uh, Devin will remain co-host. I'll give you co-producer of the show. Yo, don't even worry <laughs> about it. Just yo, just hit up Cash App and let them pay me. Just don't even get bothered with it. Honestly, it's Cash App. Just tell pay Cash App to do it. Cash App, I need you to pay Harley. See, give me a number, us. bro. Give me a number. Let me call them up. Let me talk to them. Be right. Like, yo, I I'll don't know if you, you heard. Uh, I'll we're, connect me you. Me and Trey and our internet friends now. So, yeah, I yeah. fuck with. And them, then you'll just know if it worked out. I'm not like going to lie. So I, before you messaged me, I just finished downloading Ratchet and Clank, which I've been so excited for. I just finished downloading it and I saw your text. I was going to stream it and then you messaged me. And if it was anything else except for you in this podcast, I wouldn't have done it. This is an excellent vibe. I've always liked it here. It's very chill. The times that I caught your stream, even that first time I saw you uh, doing your stream and I jumped in there. Swear to God, I was like, it wouldn't. If it were anyone else, I wouldn't have done it. I would be like, I nah, nah. I'll, I'll tell you what. Why don't maybe you, uh, Moist Critical? Maybe if he hit me up too, I would also Moist Critical. Yeah, maybe. I, yeah, I, I, I had I a good time on his podcast I too. Still to, so. I still have to write a uh, erotic novel for him, and same with Will Neff. They both. Will Neff thinks that I have a uh, imagination and voice for erotic novels. Will Neff wants me to write him a Fifty Shades of Grey. Bro, he thinks I'd be good you at should it, do so. audiobooks uh, like yeah. that us one of those seductive audiobooks i could okay. hear you whispering my ear yeah i'm gonna have to classify sure. next week you can come too i want you here for a longer time harley why don't you go live right now i'll host you <sighs> okay an after show you know like a 30 minute hour after <laughs> yeah. show or if you're too tired you can pet them. you know just Bro, what? Clank, clank, playing ratchet and clank though yeah, yeah that's whatever. the funny thing people come they're like they come on my stream, they're like, yo, man, you were awesome on Train's podcast. And I'm literally like playing Battlefield 4, missing snipes. Like, <laughs> it's, bro. it's like yeah. completely different. It's not the same thing. But, you know, I come here and just, uh, we get to, I don't know, you, you bring out the fucking shit up aspect in people, I feel like. So, yeah, that's what I try to do. It's, I mean, I think, like, here's the way I see it. Here's how I envisioned the podcast when I first created it, right? Or when I first stole it, whatever the fuck you want to say. It's, I remember a time back with my boys where we used to shoot the shits and these are the times that would 100 percent be canceled right 100 percent, and that's what i wanted i didn't want a podcast where it was a show right where we're all kind of doing this thing and we're kind of just doing it for the bag right i wanted a podcast where we could shoot the shits like the 1990s days and talk about real shit while at the same time shooting the shits right where it's like does that make any sense and and this is what Wait, it is you guys are doing bags no, but like a lot of people just uh, they make a show because like right a lot of a lot of sponsors. Yeah, okay. See, even my jokes aren't funny when I'm tired. I gotta go, dude. All right, finish. <laughs> but anyways, this yeah, I'm, out. I love Harley, you I'm gonna I'm gonna host you guys. Love to everybody here. We love everybody in this call. Twitch thoughts versus Fandy. She's getting married soon, so get your tier one subs in there and have your last chance. Maybe maybe you'll maybe she'll <laughs> run away on the altar. You know what? Who knows? Oh my hey, God. Those tier threes be hitting. Yeah, Yo. get those tier threes in, guys. Get those tier threes Jesus. in. You hey, you never know. You might, hey, maybe a tier three might change your mind. She might be with you instead. Tier three sub, guys. Make sure to go over to twitch.tv says Fandy. But don't be rude or give her any comments or harass her. Or I will find you and I will give you a perma ban in every chat in the world. Also, twitch.tv says Devin Nash. Twitch.tv says Big Boss Bo's Mondays. She does a criminal night. It's pretty Oh, yeah. Wait. All you motherfuckers have been watching that JCS shit. I do that shit every Monday. A whole I love dedicated... true crime. Thank you. I do a whole ass true crime show. I've been doing this for five years. Come on now. Thank yeah. you. And, and as we said before, make sure to go to her stream. She watches true crime and does all kind of analysis. Right? So... You know, if you want to learn how to, you know, yeah, I don't know. Go to, just go watch her. Big Boss <laughs> Just do it. Big shout to Abdu to Beastie. Abdu to Beastie needs to be a regular. He pretty much is, but, you know, some weeks we just kind of lose contact. But whenever you want, Abdu, I'll talk to Cash. I will get you a bag too. Twitch.tv is Abdu to Beastie. 
Yeah, if Cash App wouldn't give me a bag, I'd be on playing those time. No, I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll t- I don't know, but I'm- <laughs> Abdu, I'll tell you what, dude. I'll tell you what. Uh, don't worry. Abdu, I, I, no, no, Abdu, why don't we do this? I needed okay? subtitles for that, bro. Abdu, I'll tell you what. Why don't we do this, Abdu, okay? It's not much, but we'll start with this, okay? S- S- uh, do you stream often, Abdu, or no? No, I don't, I don't really stream. My okay, so, 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 so since you're not really getting the exposure aspect from the podcast, well, why don't we do this? We'll, we'll start small for now, okay? See if we can build some consistency, then we'll up it, okay? Because, you know, obviously, you and I have talked, but we'll, we'll keep that between you and I. Why don't we do 500 a week, okay? You come on the podcast as a regular, I'll, I'll, I'll throw you 500 a week. That's 2K a month. We'll start there small, you know, just to build the consistency up, right? Get you some juice from here for yourself during this fucked up COVID time, right? We'll do that. And you have to be here every week. I need you here as my hype man, dude. You're the only one that thinks I'm funny. Yeah, you, that's you, not you true. Funny, bro. I, nah, true. Call, nah I'll, dude I'll, keeps I'll, him I'll, grounded. I'll, they, they like, they're yin and yang. You know, Abdul's my nah, boy. I, I fuck I, with this guy. Nah, I'll come through it. Yeah, I'll be here, bro. All right, good. 500 a month. Just send me your PayPal. I'll send that over. Big Boss Bose, shout out that love. Classify, we love you. We'll see you next week as well. I'll lock you in for next week. If I'm even, I have to figure out when I'm moving, but I think I might just take these next three days off. And Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm, uh, yeah, I just got to figure out the times and dates, but I am. Uh, Where are you moving? I don't want to say just yet, but let's just say I'll be joining you, Harley. You moving out of Texas? Oh! Tyler, you're coming to Canada. I'll be Tyler. joining you, Harley. Yep, I'll be in Canada. Oh, baby. My boy, my boy. Where? Oh, yeah, bro. Where? My boy about to get Tyler. married. That's the, that's that's what's next, huh? No, I'm not. Oh. I'm not going there to see my girlfriend. You you you, just, you genuinely just like want to live there? No, 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 I'm going there for business. Rubet, yeah, what? It'd be gambling, no. baby. Oh, not moving? Rubet. Nope. No. All right. No, 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 not Rubet. Steak all day, but it, it has nothing to do with any of that. I'm going there for a separate business, and uh, I'll announce that a little later. But you're going to live there. Rick. No, I'm not going to live there. That's I'm a just, good move, bro. Uh, no, you're no, visiting. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm consulting some things over there. I'm consulting some uh, properties and good stuff, and you know, uh, I'll talk about that a little later. But uh, Harley, where do you live in Canada? I live in Montreal. Is that clo- What's that close to? Uh, it's on the East Coast, like six hours north oh, of uh, New York. Why are you going to Vancouver? I am. Is that where the falls are? I have family there. Listen, bro, you come into Canada, you're you come to... here in Canada. Harley, you Harley. let me know immediately Harley. that you're in if Canada. If you're going to Listen. Vancouver, you're about 30 minutes from me, by the way. Wait, de- what, what do you, oh, you live in Seattle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Harley, hold on. Harley, I'm going to give you my number. Text me. I'm going to show Flight. I, I got to show you something real quick, okay? Uh, text me right now, okay? I'm going to send you, when I send you this place, you are going to want to come live with me. All right. Text First me real quick. on Discord? S- no, yeah, yeah. No, I sent it to you on Twitter. On Twitter DMs. Go to Twitter and text oh, me, okay? Twitter DMs. He's setting up the sneaky link. Yeah. Go to Twitter and DM me. I'm going to I'm gonna send you some juice that's going to make you come in your pants. And you're going to look at it live no, on stream. Yeah, you, no, no, yeah, you, you promise. He, he, he lives in Canada. He's like, I need a side piece in Canada. You know? But don't leak. But <laughs> don't leak anything, okay? The 2 a.m. you up text. <laughs> Come don't, on. Don't leak Come the on. place. Don't leak the place, though, okay? I'm not going to leak anything. Don't leak the place. That's all I ask. For now. I'll probably leak it myself later, but don't leak it yet. Don't Just... tell anyone this phone number. I've had this phone number since, like, high school. I have the same phone number since fifth grade, too. Don't worry. Fifth grade. Whoa. Your parents trusted you. Is this you? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Jew. I'm texting okay, cool. you, Jew. <laughs> yeah, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Click that. Just click that and look through the pictures and give me a reaction right now live. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what a show off. Yeah, you like that? Clean high. <laughs> yeah, what you want to come off. over? You want to come over or what? So yeah. Over. It's already done. Yeah. Okay. You want to come over? I have over? family here, by the way. Yeah, yeah I am. You I am that, coming over. You see that walk-in closet? I'm going to fuck you doggy style right on that. Okay. And I'll let you take turns yeah. on me on the other side. You this looks like a good man. This is a good man 69 over here. Yeah. Uh, oh, 4,000 square foot gym. Yeah. Nice, huh? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Going? Oh, it's fucking clean, huh? Even, ah, I don't bro, even know. I'm going to send it to you later. I'm going to send you guys yeah, yeah, later. Yeah, send me that shit later. Send me that shit. We'll talk. We'll talk. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yep. But anyways, great time. Twitch, Twitter. Yeah, I went, I went live, Nash. by the way. Good. Twitch. Live, Devin Nash. There, Make sure to follow him. We love fellow as well. Twitch.tv is fellow, guys. Make sure to go check them out. 
He's a good friend of mine and we'll have him on soon again. We'll get him into more conversations. My bad, bro. But, uh, <laughs> Dude, you're good, bro. I have to be up at fucking 10 a.m., but it's okay. All right. Well, hey, we love you guys. See you later. Bye. Thanks for this podcast. Later, Thank guys. you, everybody. Bye.